Ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between, welcome one, welcome all to the Sin Shop Livestream special presentation of Scars May Metal Massacre. I'm of course the Mighty Pong and on today's show we have got two full flipping days of robotic combat, the likes of which you will never see until tomorrow. Uh, real quick, I want to let you know this is all brought to you on behalf of the Sin Shop, sinshop.org forward slash discord for more information on the shop. Donate if you want to donate to the shop. Watch us every Monday and Friday at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Time, twitch.tv forward slash sin shop. And with that, we have a, a driver's meeting that is going to be happening imminently. All right, Pong, are you ready for us to get started here? Let's do it. All right, so folks, welcome to May Metal Massacre 2024. We're glad you're all here. Uh, so first of all, we're going to do a brief driver's meeting. The, the main reason for this is to try to make sure we've got everybody in the bracket, make sure everybody understands the rules. We're gonna be running full combat everything here, folks. There's no sportsman today. We save that for tomorrow. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about how the matches will run. Matches are three minutes. Matches can end in one of four ways. The first way a, a match can end is by a knockout. A knockout is when one other robot is no longer able to move or function. You will hear the referee, judge, or MC count and at that point the match is over. The second way a match can end is by tap out. If you wish to tap out, please be clear to us, you know, make a lot of noise that you wish to tap out and we will stop the match right then. Uh, the third way a match can end is by going the full time. If the match goes the full two minutes in the ferry arena or three minutes in the 30 pound or in the 12 pound or one pound arena, then it will go to a judge's decision. The judges makes decision, the judges make decisions based on three criteria. The first criteria is damage. How much damage did the other robot inflict on you or did you inflict on the other robot? The judges are very to self-inflicted damage versus other robot inflicted damage and we take that very much into account the second criteria is aggression are you actively taking the fight to your opponent or are you just showing very little control and kind of sitting in the middle and not really doing much of anything and everybody's not happy about that all right so show a lot of aggression to impress the judges the final thing is control are you controlling the match? Are you utilizing your strategy? Are you pinning the other robot? Are you showing total control of how the match dynamics play out? Those three criteria are what things are judged based on. We have five points for damage, three and three points for control. We will have three judges for each match. The judges will confer at the end of the match, make the decision, and then we will announce that decision over the, the microphone. Sometimes it takes five ten minutes for challenge to update so if you don't see your score right away be patient and if it doesn't appear in five to ten minutes then then come let us know uh there is a fourth way matches can end the fourth way matches can end is by a we'll call it a safety issue trend right um if a battery is ejected from the robot if your robot catches fire in a way that is not amusing or spectacular all right um then we will have to stop the match at that point when your robot catches fire, I didn't say if, when your robot catches fire, we do have a procedure by that, for that. Um, there are metal cans by each of the arenas. Uh, if your robot is small enough to fit in the metal can, please put your whole robot in the metal can and then take it out as the smoke comes out the lid, right? If your robot is not small enough to fit in the metal can, we'll try to get that battery out and this will be in the 12 pound arena. Trent will be handling 12 pound safety. All right, and we'll get stuff kind of out onto the dirt, concrete as fast as possible, so we're not gassing everybody with fumes here. All right, so that's the fourth way matches can end. Um, logistics, again, folks, um, we will have match lists posted up on the TVs here. You also have them on your phone. Please be ready. The matches do go in order, and uh, on the stream, you will also see a list of the next matches that are happening. So please help us out. If your robot is ready, as a general rule, bring it out, right? If you can find the person you're fighting, put the two robots next to each other, and then the cures can know that that's a match we can run right now. We will try to go in order, but we really need to keep matches moving as quickly as possible. All right, so folks, SCAR runs modified double elimination. What does that mean? You will fight, and you will fight, and eventually you will lose, unless you're one robot, okay? When you lose, you go to the 
We call it the loser's bracket, because it is, all right? And you will fight and fight until you lose again, and then you will get ready for the Rumble. And we have Rumble trophies this time, all right? So, um, so it is double elimination. You can you lose twice. Some people strategically drop to the loser's bracket as soon as possible so they could face a weaker field. Sometimes all the best robots do that, and then all the best robots are in the loser's bracket. There's all this meta strategy here. I'll let you worry about that. It's modified double elimination. What that means is at the finals, there is a robot that has never lost, and there is a robot that has lost at least once. Okay, or exactly once. We only do one finals match. We do not do two. We do that just because it adds a half an hour at the end of the day, and it means we have to push the whole match that much faster. So we run modified double elimination. There's only one finals match, and the winner of that wins the competition. Pong, we're gonna start this event. Are you ready, Pong? Let's do this. And actually, if the driver for Gemini is around, Oh, man. <laughs> a noise interrupt us. Uh, let's try it again. That's the one I wanted. You have won an achievable. What in the world is an achievable? Well, an achievable, my friends, is uh, something that has happened. And something has happened, and that's that nothing happened. Uh, so uh, if the driver for Gemini can make his way over to the audio booth, we have an award for you. And it may be the only one we have time for today. So, you know, do that. All right, we've got a fairyweight fight starting up here. We've got Haladi and Subdivision. Haladi is an exciting horizontal undercutter. Subdivision has got a big vertical blade. Subdivision, uh, the driver of Subdivision with Dino Nuggets took third at our our uh, Oak Middle School event. Now, of course, the driver of Haladi winning Plastic Pandemonium, or as I prefer to call it, Plastic Fantastic. <laughs> I like that name better. All right. Honestly. Angel, are you ready? Dino Nuggets driver. Lauren, are you ready? All right, Pong, take it away. All right, on your mark. Get set and fight. And off they go. This is Both a robot spinning up. Now this Here is comes a subdivision, but Haladi getting him into the corner. Haladi trying to stay lined up. This is oh, and tearing. The front wedge and the weapon. This, we might have to do a count out. Five, or ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. And we have a tap out. Our winner is Haladi. And that is the match. All right, we're going to let our drivers remove their robots from the arena. And also Haladi. There it is. Haladi, if you could make your way to the AV booth at your leisure. Jim and I doesn't get one. They didn't show to check in. They didn't even show to get the badge for not showing. What's the deal with that? I don't know. What are you going to do? If there is a Haladi, please make your way to the AV booth. Or don't, you know? No, do. Definitely do. Haladi? Is there Haladi? Oh, right this way. Right this way. Grab yourself a, a headset real quick. Super fast. Here we go. Okay, so we do achievables here. Hello, Hello there. Hello. We do, uh, we do, can you, can you talk? Uh, it's all right. Uh, Come on, man. So we, we do these things called achievables, and basically you get them for random things. Not necessarily for winning, that whole thing should rotate. Okay, we're good, excellent, lovely. Okay, so what I wanted to do is make sure that I gave you this award, this award, the Gone in 30 Seconds Award, <laughs> for being counted out within the first 30 seconds. Thank you so much. You're very welcome, you're very welcome, thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. And we're gonna have, we're gonna have those all day long, so. Um, We'll, and we'll see you back, of course, in the uh, second chance bracket, right? Outstanding. All right, so Attackums loading into the arena. Now, folks, you'll realize Attackums is a unconventional mobility robot. It does still have a wheel, 
but it primarily uses its spinning blade for propulsion and to damage for the other robot. Attackums is known for aerial attacks. It likes to lift itself up off the arena floor and slam down into the attack of, into the top of their opponents. Uh, it, it requires very high precision driving. We don't have the usual driver for this robot, George. George has spent literally minutes practicing driving. Um, Jeremy, of course, is a champion fairy weight driver. Uh, his robot Ditto was the national champion for 2023 uh, in the overall national competition. But he has moved on to challenge himself more by driving a copy of Attackums. Um, all right, Jeremy, are you ready? Jeremy is ready. Andrew Hedge has got uh, has got Cruncher. Now Cruncher is completely unique at the competition. There's no other robot like it, and um, it's orange. We'll never see another one this color. Aww. All right, Andrew, are you ready? All right, we're going to start this match. Pong, are you ready? I'm ready. Take uh, it away. On your mark, get set, and fight. Two minutes on the clock. All right, it looks like uh, Attackum's having some trouble spinning up, but he's very carefully carefully lining up. Attackum's needs to attack him. Uh, hey, attack him. And Cruncher delivering a hit on Attackum's, but Attackum's... Uh, Oh, and we saw a few spins there. There we go. All right, Attackums has spun up. Here it goes. All right, but some definitely and some speed control sync issues, it looks like. Here it goes, and there it went. Cruncher attacking the feet on Attackums. Uh, I believe that George has up upgraded to carbon fiber rod this time. Mm. It's always been carbon fiber rod. Okay. Um, so whatever black rod they sell on Amazon at the lowest price is what's on Attackums this time. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's how that ended up in my shopping cart. What? So we got uh, just Cruncher about a minute left to on the clock. up and chew away at the wheel, but but uh, Jeremy having to use that wheel offensively, it looks like. Jeremy's still showing remarkably good mobility for only having one wheel. Uh, here comes Attackums, bullying using that using that wheel. Now that wheel is really a, quite a sturdy wheel. Forty-five um, seconds remaining. Look at that. This. That, that wheel is mighty. Uh-oh, this could uh -oh. be it. We're gonna have to count Attackums out in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Our winner is Cruncher. And that is the match. So a quick bit of housekeeping there. On the screen, you're gonna see a three minute timer no matter what, but these events over there in the A-frame, those are indeed two minute, uh, two minute matches. So your eyes did not deceive you. Uh, it's just planning. You, you, you guys are great. <laughs> hey, these are gonna be two minute matches. Oh, they are, oh, okay. <laughs> They told me that. Yeah. yeah. No. no, that's all good. Okay. So anyway, let's see. Let's take a look at. Uh, let's see if we got our challenge issue there. Okay. There we go. We got Super Pee Wee is coming up in the fairy weights versus uh, what well, that guy? Oh, Bladio Raider. Raider's handwriting. Oh, okay. Oh, Oh, Bladio Raider. Man, you guys, you guys, you guys like those names. We got Cruncher versus ATACMS. We got Dino Nuggies versus Pancake. I like that, Dino Nuggies. Uh, we got Meteor versus Warm Hug. A warm hug. We've got Mirage versus BATACMS coming up in the Fairyweight Division and much, much more. Great news, folks. The Antweight bracket is up. Chalanja's servers have rebooted. They shifted to Ecuador, I understand. Yeah. Uh, so we need Python, Ram E, Subdivision, Naughty List, Saurian, and Beta Decay to the queuing table right now. Get those robots to the queuing table. We're going to start some Antweight fights. Python, your opponent is loading into the arena. Ram E, your opponent is loading into the arena. Subdivision, Naughty List. Saurian, Beta Decay, to the queuing table. Let's go, folks. We're going to start these fights. Hi. Where were we? Got it. All right, we've got Python and Rami in the arena. All right. So we're gonna have three minutes of ant weight action here. Three minutes of ants in your three minute pants. All right, I've got one ref. I've got two refs. All right, Python, are you ready? Python is ready. Rami, are you ready? 
Rami is ready. Pong, are you ready? I am ready. We're going to start this fight. On your mark, get set, and fight. All right, a little bit of uh, Python starting a little bit before the mark here. Rami getting ready to do some ramming. The two robots going head to end. We've got a pin by Rami. Rami uh -oh. tangling up with Python, but Python breaking the pin. It's going to need to get out that compiler, I think. All right. The, Python, you see. I, I got gotcha. you. I thought Rami was uh, was not Rami this time. Oh. All right. And it looks like we've definitely got a battery connector coming out of Python. Now, you could tell Python is the one that has clear plastic so you can see the snakes inside. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Rami trying to get and guys getting a little bit of a pin on Python. Python coming around, though, breaking the pin. And Rami showing some limited mobility there in the corner. Python trying to get the pin, trying to line it up. We have two minutes remaining. Two minutes left in this fight. Okay, here comes Rami for, oh, and going for the pin, trying to keep him there, but not able to keep him there. Python breaking free. Oh, and Python going for the pin. Python holding him for five, four, three, Two, one, and Python backing off to free Rami. Rami still stuck in the corner, but breaking free. Here comes Python pushing from behind. All right. Both robots. Oh, and dancing around in the corner of the arena. Minute and 30. Get another pin. Both robots trying to get an angle on each other. One of them up against the wall there. We've got a minute and 15 seconds remaining left on the clock here. Python getting another pin for five, four, three, two, one. Backing off. I right. oh, we may he may have stuck uh, Rami. We're gonna have to count Rami out in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Show movement, Python. Three, two, one, our winner is Python! And that is the match. Python goes forward. All right, we're going to queue up our next Antweight fight right away here. We're looking as soon as we get, George is going to help us unload the arena, and we're going to get Subdivision and Naughty List into the arena. We need, I'm sorry, Subdivision and Naughty List. Hmm? Maybe that's not working. All right, we've got over here uh, Obliterator and Super Micro Peewee. Division. Oh. Super Pee Wee and Obliterator. Okay. All right, I don't. I don't want to think about you know the the driver of Obliterator planned to be an, a urologist, but that didn't work out. So oh, yeah, no. it's a very successful career as an artist. Oh. Um, the driver of Super Pee Wee is still trying to find a career. All right. Well, maybe they can work together. Maybe not. <laughs> All right, Obliterator, are you ready? Super Pee Wee, are you ready? All right, Pong, take it away. On your mark, get set, and fight. You'll notice that Super Pee Wee starts off driving backwards. Super Pee Wee employing a unique driving style this time, trying to use his. Um... Oh trying to use the front end of his robot as the back end of his robot. Uh, Obliterator looks like it was designed to have a weapon, but uh, but time time pressure meant that wasn't going to happen. Folks, since this is the Fairy Weight Arena, we are going to be opening the pit at the one minute mark, and we're very fortunate to have Logan here as our pit opening operator. And that's going to happen in just 25 seconds from now. All right, both robots jockeying for position. Super Pee Wee trying to get the Pee Wee poker. Oh, but Obliterator getting a brief pin. Super Pee Wee breaking it. All right, so the Obliterator with a little wider stance there. That's necessary, as I yeah. understand. The pit's going to go down in 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, the pit is now open. So Logan opening the pit for us. Obliterator using his... Oh, and Obliterator is flipped upside down by the Super Pee Wee. We've all been there. All right. Oh, and two rope. Oh, he's grabbed Super... Super Pee Wee has grabbed Obliterator, but Obliterator backing off. Obliterator showing some, a few little bit of traction issues in this upside down con configuration. 35 seconds remaining. 
I, I've been told that uh, Obliterator drives better upside down. I'm going to have to go. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh -oh. Super Pee Wee. Here comes the Obliterator. Obliterator trying to push Super Pee Wee in as we come to end. <laughs> Our winner is Obliterator. And that's the match with 15 seconds remaining on the clock. <laughs> there it is. All right, in the three pound arena, in the one pound arena, we have loaded subdivision and naughty list. Yeah. All right, subdivision loading into the arena. Naughty list, final call for naughty list. Your opponent is going into the arena. Final call for naughty list. We need Sarian and Beta Decay. Penion Clubber and Butterface, Kitu and Striker to the queuing table. Butterface. Penguin Clubber, Butterface, Kitbo or Kitu and Striker. All right, Subdivision is in the arena. Final call for Naughty List. We've got the door open, waiting for Naughty List to come in. Naughty List. Naughty List is inspired by a robot named Baby Nautilus uh, that fought at the LA Maker Fair event. Um, so Chris has built this up as Naughty List. And Subdivision, of course, we see this robot getting better and better. Subdivision, are you ready? Subdivision is ready. Naughty List, are you ready? Yeah. All right. All right, Pong, are you ready? I am ready. Subdivision versus Naughty List. On your mark, get set, and fight. All right, Naughty List not spinning up yet, but Subdivision definitely spun up. And Subdivision with a giant hit on Naughty List. We're going to see Subdivision upside down. Is Naughty List dead? We're going to have to count Naughty List out in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and a giant hit by Subdivision knocks out Naughty List. Wow. In our quickest not at knockout yet. Congratulations to Subdivision. We're going to unload these robots and we're going to get Sarian and their opponent into the arena. Sarian and Beta, De Beta Decay loading in. But meanwhile, over on the Ferry Arena. <laughs> Someone in the chat said, hit them so hard they got sent back to the start menu. That's, that's accurate. What's, what's the third fight, guys? Let's see, can we see that real quick? I think we can. Yeah, so we're watching the instant replay right now. And look at this. One hit, and that's all it took. <laughs> let's see. Let's, go, let's come back a little bit. Yeah, one hit, and this is it. That's the hit. Boom. Look at these, look at these sparks going. Bam. Up against the wall, and that's all she wrote. Uh, speaking of the order here, I see. I think we've got a uh, another uh, a list here, and that one should be uh, should be working. They vanish in one frame. Yeah, absolutely. I want to see that photo. Yeah, we'll we'll definitely have uh, that. Might be the thumbnail. I don't know if that's going to be the thumbnail or not, but it might be. We'll see. But we have got a uh, list that I believe is refreshing. Dino Nuggets and Pancake into the Ferry Arena. 
and then Meteor and Warm Hug. We need those two fights. We'd like to be starting them right now. All right, we've got queued up in the Antweight Arena. We've got Sorian and their opponent, whose robot is named something very clever, Beta Decay. All right, so Beta Decay, a unique angled horizontal or an angled vertical, no one can know for sure, versus Sorian, which is a vicious horizontal spinner, which the driving has improved substantially. We're gonna see today just how much the driving of Sorian has improved since the last two outings. I have been told by the driver of Beta Decay that he notices that Sorian is upside down to better counter the angle of the blade on Beta Decay. Sorian, are you ready? Ready. Sorian is ready. Beta Decay, are you ready? Beta Decay is ready. Pong, take it away. On your mark, get set, and fight. And off they go with three minutes on the clock. Both robots spinning up. Here comes Sarian delivering a big hit to Beta Decay, but Beta Decay proving very robust. Sarian's driving really looking a lot better. Sarian has only hit the wall once so far this match and has mainly managed to stay in the middle. All right, Sarian backing off. Uh-oh. Now let's see. Beta Decay, can uh -oh. you move? We have a tap out by Beta Decay. Oh, no. All right. Our winner is Sorian. With two minutes and 31 seconds remaining on the clock. There they go. All right, we've got a fairyweight fight that's ready to start All in right. the fairyweight arena. We have two robots loaded up. We have warm hugs, and we have the unique meteor. All right, there is no other robot in exactly this color and configuration. Aww. All right. It's a warm hug. Actually, there are two of these. There's Meteor and Titan. Take it back. All right. Warm Hugs, are you ready? Warm Hugs is ready. Meteor, are you ready? Meteor is ready. We're going to start this fight. Are you ready, Pong? Take it away. On your mark. Get set and fight. Off they go. All right, Meteor, a very fast robot. Warm Hugs, though, is a very effective control bot. We've seen both these robots do very well. Uh, we saw these robots facing off at the LA Maker Fair, and there goes Warm Hugs! And Warm Aww. Hugs has captured... has captured Meteor. Meteor and, Cr and Warm Hugs stuck together briefly, but breaking free. Warm Hugs going in for another hug and trying to stay lined up, but Cruncher, Cruncher doesn't like hugs. That's what I've been told. Or Meteor doesn't like hugs. Uh, Meteor trying to stay out of the warm embrace of Warm Hugs. All right. So, uh, oh, and, and another hug attempt. Oh, we've got a partial hug here, folks. That is a two and a half point hug, but part of the hugging equipment has been removed. That's a danger. When you hug a, hug a critter like a meteor. In a mere you are... five seconds, the pit will be open. All right, Zach is going to open the pit for us. Zach, please open the pit. All right, the pit is opening, and here it goes. Zach has opened the pit. All right, Warm Hugs now has pinned Meteor for five. Oh, and Meteor breaks the pin. All right, Warm Hugs trying to get in there using what's left of their grabber. And Warm Hugs never stops hugging. All right. Well, he's going to have to stop in 30 seconds because that's all we've got left of this match. Uh, we've only got 30 more seconds of hugs, folks. I can't tell you how sad that makes me. All right, they're over by the pit. And oh, no! And we see Warm Hugs driving into the pit. Our winner is Meteor. Oh, man. That's, I know which one. All right, we're going to remove Warm Hugs and Meteor. As soon as we do that, we're going to load in the... Uh, the next two fairy weight fights, but while that's loading, we're gonna go right back over to our next ant weight fight. Also, warm hugs. Come on over. <laughs> Penguin Clubber and Butterface, we need you in the arena. Penguin Clubber and Pe and Butterface in the arena, please. Butterface, final call for Butterface. Butterface, if you intend to compete, bring your robot to the arena. Butterface, final call for Butterface. If you are Butterface, bring your robot to the arena. I feel like I should have a joke for that, but I don't. Yeah. 
Also, if you're warm hugs, by the way, there is still an uh, achievable here waiting for you. Final call for Butterface. Oh, is that warm hugs? Are you warm hug? Yeah, you're warm hugs. Come on over here. All right, we gotta make it quick. Here we go. Okay, so you had that match for most of that match. Oh, I had the match. You had the match, and then you didn't have the and match. Then I didn't have the match. You so know what it is? What's that? It's the pit. Yeah. I can't stay away from the pit. The pit is. It opens, it's just so enticing. The pit. She is a fickle beast, and that's why you are the receiver of the official Sin Shop live stream. Call the sheriff. I was robbed. Award. <laughs> All right, awesome. we've Thank got. You so uh, You're very welcome. You're My very name welcome. is Chris Miko. I'm a middle school teacher. Oh, that's awesome. I'm building curriculum around this. Oh, very cool. We've got Penguin Clubber loaded back. in. Yes. If their opponent does not show up in the next two minutes, we're, they're going to win by default. So Penguin Clubber will continue its penguin clubbing ways unless their opponent, Butterface, can come to stop them. Butterface, you need to get to the arena before we finish this next match. But we're going to start up this match featuring Paincake and Dino Nuggies. Paincake, are you ready? Paincake, Paincake, let me see your robot move. All right, Paincake moves. Dino Nuggies, let's see you move. All Both right. robots locked up on the squares. Uh, Dino Nuggies is ready to go. All right, Pong, take it away. All right. On your mark, get set, and fight. Both robots spinning up. Now, the difference is Dino Nuggies' blade is made of steel, and... Pancake's blade is made of Syrup. PLA plastic. Oh. All right. Well, may as well be. So PLA plastic versus steel is not going so well. Pancake can, Pancake's still moving, though. I'll tell you what, Dino though. Nuggies. Now we're going to have to count Pancake out in 10, 9, 8. He needs to move outside of his square. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Our winner is Dino Nuggies. <laughs> All and right, that, we're going to make sure we get all the pieces of Pancake out of the arena. Uh, that is the match. There you go. Somebody brought PLA to a uh, to a metal fight, and uh, well, there it went. All right, do we have... All right, it looks like both robots have arrived. We've got Butterface. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any jokes for that. Butterface is in the arena, as is their opponent, Penguin Clubber. Will we be coating our club penguins with butter? We're about yes. to find out. <laughs> Referees, are you ready? <laughs> Penguin Clubber, are you ready? <laughs> Butterface, are you ready? Yeah. All right, Pong, take it away. All right, on your mark, get set, and fight. I and like butter on penguin. I've never eaten a penguin, I swear. That wasn't a penguin, it was a dolphin. All right, here comes Butterface. Nope. All right. Butterface but trying to line up. Penguin Clubber. Oh, and popping Penguin Clubber up in the air. Penguin Clubber trying to self-right and trying to self-right again. Butterface not letting him slow down. Oh, and popping the wheel of Penguin Clubber. Penguin Clubber successfully knocking over the butter. Will the Butterbot be able to self-right? We're going to find out. Sometimes Penguin Club you. All right, Penguin Clubber kind of tangled up with Butterbot over there. Uh, Butterface still still barely moving. It looks like Butterface is definitely look, moving slower than we've seen it before. But we do have two minutes and five seconds left on the clock, so this is still anybody's game. All right, we're going to count this pin out in five, four, three, two, one. Back off, Penguin Clubber. Back off. I sure you hear that a lot. All right. So I had a nickel for every time. Is that a win? Mm -mm. All right, so Butterface still in it, but having increased mobility problems. Penguin Clubber trying to line up again, but not showing. Okay, and, and slamming their, their Penguin Clubbing snout down onto Butterface. Come on, Penguin All right, Clubber! The two robots lined up. That's, that's my bot. Ah. I'm really sorry. Going for another pin for five, five four, four, three, three, two, one. Back off, Penguin Clubber, okay, back, back off. off. All right, Penguin Clubber, back off. And Butterface, we're going to have to count you out, Butterface, if you can't show movement. Butterface barely able to move here. Hit him All again. right. And Penguin Hit Clubber, him backing off. Penguin Clubber, you can get back in there. But Butterface, we need to see some movement in 10. And we are done. Our winner is Penguin Clubber. All right, stop riding the Butterface there. All right. 
So we're going to get Butterface and Penguin Clubber back out of the arena, and we're going to go over to another exciting fairyweight match. What have we got loaded up in the fairyweight arena, Jim? Let's see who we got over here. Let's see. Uh, let's see. We got up upcoming matches include uh, such elements as Python versus Rami, Super Pee Wee versus. O I think we did that one earlier. I don't think it's updating. I think Challenge is feeling sick again. All right, folks. We are loading Kitu and Striker into the end arena. We need Kitu, Striker in the arena, Neutrino and Night Force to the queuing table, Captain Crunch and Morb. Dylan, I'm calling you now. Put Morb on the queuing table. You are facing Captain Crunch. Neutrino is facing Night Force, and we need Kitu and Striker in the arena, please. Here we go. Let's go back over to here. Is that where we're going? No, we're going back over here. <laughs> yeah, buddy, buddy Jeff is 100% correct in the chat. Yeah, that is that is exactly the situation. <laughs> All right. So we've got over here, we've got Mirage loading into the arena. Mirage's opponent is queued up and ready to jump in behind him. Daniel, Daniel we need you to the arena to run your fairway. I've been informed that we have a uh, we have a 12 pound fight ready and Ryan is driving a robot all right what is the name of this robot Ryan corned beef all right so we have corned beef versus their opponent I think this is named Avenger known Avenger all right we've got known Avenger versus corned beef in the 12 pound arena yeah, I know all right that. trent are we ready all right we've got our referees we're gonna start this fight pong take it away on your mark get set and fight and off they go corn beef versus the known avenger all right i know that known guy. avenger with a big start slamming corn beef into the arena wall corn beef up and over known avenger Corn Beef trying to stay pointed. It looks like those floppy wedges on Known Avenger being very effective against Corn Beef. <laughs> We're gonna hope that Corn Beef doesn't get opened like a can of Corn Beef. All right, Corn Beef is able to drive upside down. I'm very happy to see that. All right, Corn Press. Beef upside down. So remembers he has to reverse his remote and pushing away upside down against Known Avenger. All right, we might have to count out Corn Beef here. Oh, it looks like he's been freed by his opponent. Let's see. Can we see any motion from Corn Beef? Is Corn Beef expired? All right, we're going to count him out in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Our winner is Known Avenger. And that is the match. All right, I believe we've got an antweight fight queued up here, I've been told. So in the arena, we have two antweight robots. We've got one labeled Synthwave, but I don't think that's the name of it. And we have another one that has no label on it whatsoever. Hashtag no labels. All right, uh, this robot is called on-off. 
So we ask all, all, all competitors to clearly label their robot on top of the robot. So we have on-off versus synthwave. All right. All right, looks like that would be on-off at, uh, at the left side of your screen. On the right side of your screen, you got uh, synthwave there. All right, synthwave, are you ready? On-off, are you ready? All right, Pong, take it away. On your mark, get set, and fight. And on-off they go. On-off, spinning up, on-off for those really long forks. Ooh. And on-off, winning the first engagement. Synthwave may be knocked out. May have, may have found right, the off button there. We're going to have to there. count Synthwave out in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that's the match. Our winner is on-off. That is the match indeed. All right, we're going over to our next fairyweight fight. We've got Mirage versus their opponent. Their opponent is loading into the arena. All right, folks, on the Antweight side, we are loading in Neutrino and Night Force. Neutrino and Night Force are loading into the arena. Coleman, you should be loading your arena, in, your robot into the arena or your arena into the robot if it was uh, your 12 pound. Put one arena right. in the other arena. arena All right, so we're going to see an exciting fairyweight match here featuring two incredibly powerful robots all the way from south of Salt Lake City, Utah, in a town nobody knows in Utah. All right. I, I have been told that a movie that none of you have ever heard of called Footloose was filmed there because most of you are, are not over 40. All right. <laughs> so a movie that was big in the 70s was filmed there. Oh, those over 40 people, you know. All right, we've got the former Footloose star from all the way from Utah facing our current Beetle Belt holder, Sean. Sean, what is the name of this robot? Miser. All right, Miser oh, is ready. Miser is ready. Uh, happy, smiley, glad to see ya. All right. Is this one called Happy to See You? Club Kid. All right, Club Kid, are you ready? Club Kid is ready. All right, Pong, take it away. Here we go. Club Kid versus Miser. On your mark, get set, and fight. Both robots spinning up. Now, Miser uses a unconventional locomotion technique using bristles, which are vibrate. But Miser drives incredibly well for using unconventional locomotion. And so far, Ooh. it looks like Miser has torn one of the wheels off of Club Kid. Uh, but Club Kid has still got all of its happy faces intact. He's still raving. All right. So Club Kid inching its way towards Miser. Now robots both drive. Actually, Miser still drives remarkably well. Um, Club Kid still looking very robust, though. And here comes that big weapon on Miser again. And, oh, that same wheel gets spun across. He did manage to make imp contact with the, uh, with the other wheel, but that little N10 is holding on for everything it can. All right. Oh, and touching on that wheel, bouncing Club Kid around, and Zach is going to start opening the pit. So Zach is going to open the pit for us. Yep. As Miser stays close to the pit, Club Kid trying to get away from the pit, but having a hard time, having lost one of their meal wheels in an early engagement with Miser. All right, another big pit, and Miser sending Club Kid flying towards the pit. Miser themselves trying to stay out of the pit. But a big pit, and we have a double knockout. Oh, no. Can Miser still move? Can Miser still move? Yes, Miser can still move. We're going to, we have a battery out. Our match is over. Congratulations to Miser. 
And Miser goes forward. Club Kid goes to the second chance bracket. Along with my timer. For All time. right, we have loaded in another Antweight fight. And as soon as we run this 12-pound fight, we're going to run Neutrino versus Night Force. Neutrino and Night Force are both in the arena. But right now, we've got two amazing robots. I think I see Creature versus Charcuterie Board. Now, folks, if you see some cheese or some cut meat, you know where to put it, right on the Charcuterie Board. All right. Charcuterie Board has added some front wedgelets that it did not have in its previous configuration. Creature has got its powerful slamming and lifting arm. Creature, are you ready? Charcuterie Board, are you ready? I need another ref over here. I need Zach or George. All right, and we're going to start this fight. Pong, take it away. All right, on your mark, get set. What fight? Wait, which fight? Are we doing the 12 pound 12 or the pound one pound fight? 12 pound fight. All right, on your mark, get set, and fight. All right, and Creature is a off very they quick go. robot. Creature. As is Chacuterie Board. Chacuterie Board as is getting. We see Creature getting around behind Chacuterie Board, but Chacuterie Board right back in it. Those little wedgelets on Chacuterie Board seem to be made out of UHMW and aren't able to get under Creature as well as we might like. Uh, Creature with a nice flip and a grab, slamming Chacuterie Board into the sidewall. Nicely done by Creature. All right, so Creature lining up for another loop and getting Chacuterie Board pressed into the jaws of the corner. Chacuterie Board still driving nicely, though. Here comes Creature, and another little flip by Creature, but Chacuterie Board driving out of the way. Now their wedgelets are more like, I'm happy to see you, flippers. All right, and... Creature still looking nice and planted, but Chacuterie Board not slowing down. Both these robots very fast. Chacuterie Board lining up and getting a lift on Chacuterie Board. Here comes Creature. Creature's arm may be stuck up, and that, that arm for a pin for five, four, three, two, one. Backing off. We have Creature a backing 40. off Chacuterie Board, getting right back on him, trying to get the push, but Creature showing more pushing power, pinning him for five, four, three, two, one. And we have a minute and a half remaining. Creature trying to line up again. Jacuterie board trying to stay agile, getting around Creature, but Creature flipping that around, trying to get pinned. Now Jacuterie board not where they want to be. And pinned for five, four, three, two, one. Backing off. All right, Creature trying to line up again. Jacuterie board weighing a little bit less. Shooter board weighs less than 10 pounds. One minute remaining on the clock. So Creature has the weight advantage. Creature also has the googly eye advantage. All right. And in the pin. All right, we've got an eyeball has been removed from Creature. Both eyeballs have been removed. Creature is blind. All right, Chacuterie Board, though, getting battered as we come down to the final 30 seconds in this match. All right, both robots tussling in the middle. Looks like one side of the drive on Chacuterie Board is out. 18 seconds I see the remaining. googly eyes in the middle of the arena as we come down to the final 15 seconds. And that is 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, and that is the match. All right, this is going to go to a judge's decision. I'm going to try to fix this clock here. We have a unanimous judge's decision for Creature. And Creature goes forward. All right, we're moving right over to see Night Force fight their opponent. We have Night Force. All 
All right, we've got Night Force versus Neutrino. All right, so this is first time for Coleman ever driving a vert, and we're gonna see how that goes for him. And Neutrino, uh, tell us a little bit about Neutrino. All right, so Neutrino comes to us from UC San Diego, their BattleBots team, or Combat Robot team. Uh, they did compete up at RoboGames with it in the open class, and we're gonna see how it does against Night Force with a brand new driver who's never driven a robot before. That's not actually true. Coleman is our national 12-pound champion and has won many one-pound events with his infamous robot free throw. Night Force, are you ready? Yeah. Neutrino with their brand new driver, are you ready? Pong, take it away. On your mark, get set, and fight. And uh, off the Neutrino's going to not do the false starts there next time. All right, so here comes Night Force popping Neutrino up in the air. Neutrino in an awkward position. We're going to see if Neutrino can get going. All right, well, Night Force will take care of that. So Night Force popping oh. them up. All right, oh, we have a tap out. Tap out. All right, our winner is Night Force. Oh, my goodness. All right. So Coleman says, I like this. This goes much faster. <laughs> and we're going to. All right. So, folks, we've just found out that the, the Ecuadorian server for Chilange has gone down. Their backups in Nigeria, Chad, and Russia have all failed. So we're going to be recording winners by hand. We're going to ask your patience with this. We're going to hope that we get Chalange back at some point to make the event logistics go a little better. All right, so in that last match, we had Night Force over, over Neutrino. In the previous match, we had Striker over Katu. In the match before that, we had Penguin Clubber over their opponent, Butterface. In the match before that, we had Saurian over Beta Decay. In the match before that, we had a one-hit knockout by Subdivision over Naughty List. In our very first match in the Antweights, we had Python pinning Rami. All right, we've just been informed that Morb has beaten Captain Crunch. And we are looking to load in an exciting fairy weight match. Congratulations to, Four, to Morb on that big win. All right, we're going to go over to the fairy weights and try to get caught up on the scores there. All right, so over here... All right, so in the arena, we have Mirage against their opponent. Can't believe it's not Attackums. Can't believe it's not Red Rocket. We'll call it Red Tackums. <laughs> I was wondering about that. I wasn't going to say it. Better Attackums. Wow, well, that, that is a low bar to beat. All right. Check here, see what we got. All right, we're excited to see a well-built version of Attackums. All right. Does not look accurate whatsoever. All right, we have a mercy request from Mirage. Now, of course, Mirage was, I believe, the second highest ranked. Oh, the mercy request was denied, I see. Dang. All right, so Mirage begging for mercy even before the match starts, fearing the might of better attackums. Jeremy is very familiar with the building skills of George and has right to be afraid that when the robot is destroyed, it might hurt his robot. All right. All right, so Daniel wants everyone to know that he built this robot, and anything goes wrong is his fault. It has nothing to do with George's design. Huh. 
George has touched the robot. Daniel's backing off a little bit. All right, Jeremy, are you ready? Jeremy is ready. Daniel, are you ready? Pong, take it away. All right, with two minutes on the clock, on your mark, get set, and fight. We've got Attackums, or better Attackums, immediately spinning up. And this is indeed a much better Attackums. If you remember the first Attackums, it was really terrible. But better Attackums has uh -oh. a tap out. They have blown out their tail wheel. <laughs> We've all been there. All right, he failed to tape the tail wheel. Uh. So Mirage with a quick victory over better Attackums. We're going to go right back over to our 12 pound arena. I think we might have a second to see if we got the replay back up. And yes, we do. Hey, look at that. Look at that replay. Oh, I blink and you miss it, right? Oh, one of these right there. There we go. That was the hit. I don't think we got the hit, but yeah, that's where, that's where it got sent across the arena there. And right there, you can see the wheel coming loose there. That seems to be the problem. It's not even so much the hit that it originally had, because if you, you can see right there at the top of your screen, the wheel is still attached, right? But as it comes over, hits the floor, hits the side of the arena, and I think that's what actually did it. That's what knocked the wheel loose, and that's all she wrote. Now the real question is, can it be called red anymore? That's not the audio room. I'm sorry? He thought that was a robot. He thought that was a robot? Well, I mean, kind of. We'll feel like that at the end of tomorrow, that's for sure. All right, we're looking for Magnitude and Python. Pop, pop! Sorry. We're looking for Obake and Subdivision. And I'm going to check in on the builder of Golden Smurf. All right, so we're going to load Magnitude and Python into the Android Arena. We have Obake and Subdivision, IMAX and Sarian on the queuing table. So Sarian to the queuing table, Obake, Subdivision to the queuing table, IMAX to the queuing table. We have a Fairyweight match queued up. Yeah, on the Fairyweight Arena, we have two powerful robots ready to face off. On the red side, we have Titan. On the blue side, we have Rainbow Connection. All right, so uh, Titan realizes that if he wins this, Lamar Burton is going to come out and crush his robot. Goodness. All right, Rainbow Connection, are you ready? Rainbow Connection is ready. Titan, are you ready to face the wrath of Lamar Burton? You have no idea who that is, and that's okay. <laughs> All right, Pong, take it away. All right, on your mark, get set, and fight. Here they go. Both Titan. robots heading out, and... Titan versus Rainbow Connection, here you go. Reading Rainbow, trying to get the grab on Titan. But you don't have to oh, take my word Rainbow for it. Rainbow getting the grab, but losing an arm in the process. Titan showing really good aggression. This is a very different fight. Than, and we've got a pin for five, four, three, two, one. Reading Rainbow with a powerful pin over Titan. Titan really looking confused in that corner. Reading Rainbow going back in for another pin. And they've got it for five, four, three, two, one. We're going to have Zach go open the pit for us. In a so mere 12 seconds, over to open. the pit will be open in seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Uh, the pit is now open and reading Rainbow, lining him up at the pit, but just barely missing on the edge here. Titan pinned in the corner for five, four, three, two, one. Reading Rainbow backing off. And here comes Titan trying to get around reading Rainbow. Will Reading Rainbow be able to get Titan into the pit? And both arms torn off of Reading Rainbow. All right, but still, I should say both hands torn off. Reading Rainbow's arms going for another pin for five, four, three, 
two, one. Backing off. One of the googly eyes has been torn off of Reading Rainbow. 20 seconds remaining. But going remaining. for another pin for five, four, three, two, one. Backing off. All right, and here comes. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Reading Rainbow driving into the pit. What would LeVar say? Our winner is Titan. And there's the match. But you don't have to take my word for it. You can just rewind the video. That's a LeVar Burton thing. He's gone off to sail off with uh, Childish Gambino. Troy will return. Six seasons in the movie. One more time? It is, it is, yes. There will be more. Yeah. I don't know why, it's just a community kind of day. Would you, would you like to join me? There's a, there's a headset right there. No? Come on! All right, so over here, we are looking for the amazing, the exciting Magnitude and Python in the arena. I see Python in the arena. I see Magnitude in the arena. Pop, pop. All right, and we're going to see IMAX coming up in the next fight, so they're ready to go. They're... All right. Python, are you ready? Python is ready. Magnitude, are you ready? Pong, take it away. On your mark, get set, and fight. Both robots moving out, and Magnitude delivering a big hit to Python. Python not quite sure what to do. Magnitude again. We see little bits of clear plastic bouncing around the arena. Ooh. We see bigger bits of clear plastic. Yeah, All right, that polycarbonate is coming apart. That polycantinate. All right, and indeed, that poly incontinent. <laughs> All right. I Here it is, Magnitude going for the one remaining corner, and more of that wedge torn away. Magnitude trying to be surgical here, and that polycarbonate looking worse for wear. All right, and another big piece of polycarbonate is removed. Magnitude removing piece by piece of the polycarbonate, but so far, Python staying together. And we have a battery exposed, folks. We're going to have to stop the match. Our winner is Magnitude. And we thank the driver of Magnitude for not tearing into that battery and having us to shut the match down for five minutes. Yeah, that would, thank that would, that would be Thank you very bad. much. Yeah. Congratulations to Magnitude. So actually, here, we can uh, check this out on the uh, instant replay here. A bunch of fantastic hits on the part of Magnitude. Just wonderful stuff. Just absolutely just taking apart this. Here, let's see. Let's, let's go. Oh, wrong button. There we go. This is the only one. Hit after hit. Like, the, the, the front is already feeling. It, it does not feel bonita. And there's there's a little piece knocked off right there. Come around here. Let's see. We got another one. I know there's another one. There's too much of there's, there's too much plastic on there. I know there's another one. It's going to come around, and boom, there's another hit. And All right, as soon as we get... Magnitude and Python out of the arena. We're going to be loading in Obake and Subdivision, but in the Fairyweight Arena, we need to load our next two competitors into the Fairyweight Arena. Our next two competitors in the Fairy, Fairy, Fairyweight Arena are. Or the Fairyweight. Are Obliterator and Haladi. Cruncher and Dino Nuggets. So we need Obliterator and Haladi to the Fairyweight Arena. We need Cruncher, Dino Nuggets to the Fairyweight Arena. And let's get Mango and Mirage making their way there. They need a few more minutes to charge Mirage. I'm sorry, Meteor and Mirage. They have five more minutes to charge, and then we'll be able to get him in the arena. All right, we have an exciting 12-pound match here. We have the first outing at SCAR of the exciting robot known as... Carl. It is not Carl. Dang. I am told, I am not gonna say the name they just told me. I'm gonna call it Annihilator as opposed to something else. Antilator, Antilator. Oh. <laughs> so many questions now. <laughs> Yeah, that's the question. That's the question, isn't it? Antilator. Okay. Antilator. We'll say that on the mic. All right. Antilator, Antilator versus 
I believe George is driving this one. Oh, Cindy is driving this one. Cindy, the name of this robot is Canned Meat. All right, it is part of the meat series sponsored by Scar. Scar has three robots here, corned beef, canned meat, and meat tornado. We've All right, so the meat-themed robots continue. These robots were brought to us courtesy of Wes from Team Nothing To Do With Meat. All right. <laughs> meat Tornado, are you ready? <laughs> Can Meat, are you ready? You're, meat Tornado isn't even in the arena. Can Meat is ready. All right, Antilator, are you ready? All right, we're gonna start this fight. Pong, take it away. On your mark, get set, and fight. All right, Antilator trying to spin up, but here comes the vicious, the powerful canned meat, and they're going for the pin. All right, and they have got, they are pushing Antilator around the arena, but Antilator pushing back now. Antilator getting around behind canned meat. All right, canned meat using their superior speed. Behold, the power of canned meat. All right, canned meat. All we need is some mayonnaise and rice. Uh-oh, Canned Meat getting themselves stuck, but backing away. All right, and Canned Meat getting under Antilator for the pin for five, four, three, two, one. Canned Meat backing off. All right, Canned Meat backing off, going in to get and try and get another pin, and we're going for another pin into the corner, and Antilator breaking free. Here comes Canned Meat. Two minutes on the clock remaining. And Can Meat trying to get lined up. And Cindy tells us this is her first time driving. She has judged thousands of these matches, but never driven before. Here is her first time driving canned meat. What have we done to her? All right. So Antilator, oh, and here goes Can Meat trying to line up, but not quite able to get uh, get centered. And Can Meat fits nicely in the jaws of Antilator. All right, Can Meat trying to line up. Antilator trying to get under Can Meat. Can Meat trying to get the pin. Can Meat has got Antilator over towards the corner, but Antilator breaking free. Here comes Can Meat. Minute and five seconds remaining on the clock. Can meet pushing Antilator around the middle of the arena. And we've got a pin for five, four, three, two, one. Can meet back off. Antilator, can you move? Antilator, we need to see movement in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Our winner is Canned Meat. Congratulations. Cindy has a 100% lifetime record. <laughs> and that is the match. Canned Meat goes forward. I'm sure we'll be hearing a lot from Canned Meat later on today. It's usually how it works. All right. Let's see if the uh, servers in Ecuador have uh, have improved at all here with the uh, the scoreboard here. Allegedly, we have Golden Sperm versus USS LAV. Golden Smurf has withdrawn for the okay. first match. They will be back in their second match. But our winner is US Slay. Ah, okay. We're gonna see. That was an easy one. Obake and Subdivision in the arena. We're looking for Subdivision and Obake to load into the arena. Over in the Fairyweight Arena, Zach has queued up an exciting fight for us. Let's see what Zach's got for us in the Fairyweight Arena. Fairly. Cruncher and Dino Nuggies. We're gonna run that as soon as we finish the Obaki and Subdivision fight, because the driver of Dino Nuggies is gonna have to run back over. So we've got Obaki and Subdivision in the Antweight Arena. All right, Subdivision, are you ready? Subdivision is ready. Obaki, are you ready? All right. Subdivision fully functional. So Subdivision had our record fastest knockout at the event in their first fight. 
Obaki got a bye in their first round and now has to defeat the fearsome undefeated subdivision. All right, Obaki, are you ready? All right, Obaki is ready. Pong, take it away. On your mark, get set, and fight. Both robots moving out. Subdivision spinning up. Obaki spun up. That vicious blade on Subdivision deals massive damage if it can connect. So far, Obaki running away. And Obaki does come in for an engagement. Obaki uh -oh. goes flying. Subdivision upside down. Now, this is one of the weaknesses of Subdivision. Is once it delivers that massive hit, it has a hard time. And being pushed around by Obaki now. And we're going to call that a pin for five, four, three, two, one. Obaki, back off, please. All right, there we go. The both robots have broken clear. All right, so here comes Obaki trying to line up with Subdivision again. Two minutes and 15 seconds remaining. A nice hit by Obaki. Subdivision, we need to see movement in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Our winner is Obaki with a giant gash in their top plate. <laughs> All right. At no extra charge. We have a if All right, we... we're going to load IMAX and their opponent, Sarian, into the arena as soon as we clear this fight. We need the driver of Subdivision to immediately head over to the Fairyweight Arena and do their Fairyweight fight. So please grab your robot out, grab Subdivision out for me, and we're going to get right over to the Fairyweight Arena. Zach has queued up an exciting fight over there featuring... Cruncher and Dino Nuggies. Cruncher is already loading into the arena. Andrew Hedge has got Crunchy in his hand. He is walking and loading it into the arena. All right, Obliterator, Obliterator and Haladi, we need you both to go right after this match. So as soon as this match ends, please load your robots into the arena. Obliterator and Haladi will be right after this match. All right, Cruncher's in the arena. Dino Nuggies going into the arena. We do have an additional hazard for this match. There is a red googly eye in here. Uh, every... There's a red and a blue one. All right, so just uh, there's an extra little bit of flavor to this match. Uh, Cruncher will get an extra point every time they hit the red eyeball, and Dino Nuggets will get an extra point every time they hit the blue eyeball. All right, this is an exciting thing. One billion points on the match on the mat line in this match. Oh my! All right, Dino Nuggies. We're gonna give Dino Nuggies a chance to line up here. We believe in you, Dino Nuggies. Dino Nuggies is waiting for his weapon to... Do there it goes. Okay, Dino Nuggies is ready to go. Andrew, are you ready? All right, we're going to start this fight. Take it away, Pong. All right, on your mark, get set, and fight. Off they go. All right, at one of the eyeballs, we saw the blue eyeball hit. That is a point for Dino Nuggies. Another hit point for Dino Nuggies. So far, Dino Nuggies up by two. The blue eyeball is definitely worse for wear. All right. And Dino Nuggies not letting that eyeball rest, but Cruncher bullying Dino Nuggies, and Cruncher going in and hitting the red eyeball. So the eyeball count is up two to one. Three, another hit by Cruncher on that red eyeball. That red eyeball now three to one. So Cruncher definitely uh, in the eyeball lead here. Here comes Dino Nuggies lining up. Dino Nuggies got Cruncher in the corner, but Cruncher breaking free. And in just a second here, Logan in, is going to open in, that pit. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and down goes the pit. All right, Cruncher tearing one of the wheels, or tires rather, off of Dino Nuggies. Dino Nuggies has lost the entire wheel now. So Dino Nuggies down to one wheel in their weapon. Their mobility is somewhat impaired, but Dino Nuggies still able to drive on one wheel. 
Dino Nuggies just shredding their own wheel. And Dino Nuggies has now lost their weapon. Dino Nuggies, we're going to need to see motion. We do still see motion from Dino Nuggies. All right, so Dino Nuggies still able to move outside of their square. And Cruncher trying to line them up with the pit as we come down to the final 30 seconds in this match. Ooh. All right. Dino Nuggies holding together very well. He's only going to have Cruncher to hold together. trying to work him towards the pit. He's only going to have to do that, though, for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and that's the match. This will go to a judge's decision. All right, our judges are going to quickly decide. While they're deciding that, who was the winner of the googly eye points? Was that Dino Nuggies? I believe it was Dino Nuggies. All right, we have unanimous judge's decision for Cruncher. Oh, Dino but, Nuggies will return. But did Dino Nuggies get the most points on that one, though, Mason? Uh, absolutely not. Cruncher did come around and hit the eyeball enough times to oh. have this the eyeball count championship. Oh, fantastic. So th in that case, I'll need to see Cruncher, because I do have a prize for the eyes. All right, uh, Cruncher, you need to report to Pong to get your special uh, prize for the eyes. Yep. Meanwhile, we're loading in IMAX. Speaking of a Speaking robot of that eyes. deserves the prize for the eyes. All right, here you go. Your prize for the eyes is these flaming hot Cheeto socks. All right, there congratulations, you go. Head. Congratulations. Flaming hot Cheeto socks. Flaming hot Cheeto socks. For yours for the prize for the eyes. All right, we've got IMAX in the arena. Their opponent, Saurian. Now, IMAX, this is IMAX, I believe, fourth or fifth outing. Um, and. Uh, IMAX has been substantially upgraded for this match. Saurian has has pretty much not up, not a lot of upgrades to the robot, but a lot of uh, we'll call them biological upgrades. All right. Sure. All right. IMAX, is that how you want your robot to run? Yeah. All right. Now, I understand that IMAX is using a variety of unconventional materials. The wheels are made out of gun holster material. <laughs> All right. So uh, we might consider it. It's not. It's an open carry. All right. And Sarian, are you ready? IMAX, are you ready? Yeah. Pong, take it away. On your mark, get set, and fight. Both robots spinning up. IMAX is going over towards Sarian. This is going to be a big test for those new wheels on IMAX. So far, we've got a blade-to-blade -blade contact between the two. Sarian winning their first fight. Well, so far, the wheel holds up fine. The wheel hub, on the other hand, is looking a little worse for wear. That's and, not very but happy. still, the weapon's still spinning and both wheels still on. So this is a good sign for IMAX. The body is a little, uh, I don't remember it being that shape before. But IMAX still holding together really nicely. And timeout, we have a tap out. Our winner is Sarian. All right. So, oh. <laughs> all right. So we have our winner, Sarian. We're going to get all the parts of IMAX and Sarian out of the arena. We're going to go right back over to the Fairyweight Arena where Zach has queued up an exciting fight for us. What have you got for us, Zach? Haladi and Obliterator. See right here on your screen the the hit that I think is what did it in. This hit right there. At that point, yeah, the insides became outside, and that's pretty much all she wrote. All right, Haladi is a vicious horizontal undercutter, and Obliterator is a brand new robot. Um, it's, it appears to have both a, it's got uprights like it would be a vertical, it's got supports like it'd be a horizontal, and yet it is neither. Hmm. Obliterator is so confusing as to its identity. All right, Obliterator, are you ready? Obliterator's ready. Haladi, are you ready? Three, take it away, Pong. All right, on your mark, get set, and fight. Off they go. Two minutes on the clock. It says three minutes, but that's okay. Nice tap by Haladi on Obliterator. Obliterator's had oh. one of its wheels removed. Uh-oh. 
But, uh, oh, and both wheels, and we have a tap out. Our winner yeah. is Haladi. Excellent precision driving by Haladi there. Those tasty, tasty wheels. What are you going to do? All right, we're going to head back over to our Antweight Arena. Where we are looking to see Chopper and Penguin Clubber, Antide and Striker, Cake Batter and Night Force. So we need Chopper, Penguin Clubber, Antide, Striker, Cake Batter and Night Force. Let's get some music to find all those guys back. There it is. Meteor and Mirage, Titan and Miser. Those are our next two fairy weight matches. All right, Chopper is a redesign. Chopper is a is a veteran robot, but it has been completely redesigned for this event. Um, Chopper had early success, but as the competition kept getting fiercer and fiercer, Chopper's win loss ratio got worse and worse. So Chopper's been redesigned this event for with some substantial upgrades. Penguin Clubber, their first time out. Uh, Penguin Clubber winning their first match by clubbing their opponent and pinning them. Uh, Penguin Clubber, are you ready? Yes. Penguin Clubber is ready. Chopper, are you ready? All right, Pong, take it away. All right, on your mark, get set, and fight. Chopper spun up, Penguin Clubber trying to keep their noise pointed. Now, Penguin Clubber now has infinitely more experience than they did in their first fight. In their first fight, they'd never fought before. Now they fought once, but that seeing that the vicious blade on Chopper, flipping Penguin Clubber up and over, Penguin Clubber having trouble getting back on their feet, and Chopper chopping away on those tires, but that duct tape appears to be holding strong. It's industrial strength duct tape. All right. Chopper has got Penguin Clubber in the corner, and we're seeing some green wheel polycar or wheel 3D printing going into the arena. One of the wheels on Chopper uh, has been significantly damaged. Definitely, you can see the infill pattern used on that wheel. <laughs> I believe it is honeycomb infill. It does look like used. it. Yeah. No, I take it back. I believe it's gyroid. Oh. All right, he's going to bring it over for a closer look for me. There you go. All right, one of the wheels completely removed, and we have a tap out. Yep. Our winner is Chopper. And that Congratulations. is the match with, 100, uh, with, with one minute and 40 seconds remaining on the clock. Let's see if we can get a look at some of that damage there while we're setting up for the next fight. All right, Zach has got an exciting fairyweight fight set up for us. Ooh, exciting fairy Over in the fairyweight arena, he's got Meteor... Oh, I'm sorry. Meteor and Mirage. Move over, Bacon. Now there's something Meteor. And Mirage. Let's Meteor, Mirage. And then we're going to be looking for Titan and Miser. Ah, you know what? I would say that's Gyroid. That does look like Gyroid. Ah, uh, those tasty, tasty wheels. What are you going to do, you know? There's two of them. May as well get them both. Awesome. I'll well, stop that foolishness and get on to some other foolishness over here. In the Ant Arena, In the we end. need... Antide versus Striker, Cake Batter, Night Force, Counter Punch, and Morb. Let's get some... All those guys' music. Oh, it looks like, uh, looks like the server's right, so we've started. got Miser here. And Zach is going to tell us who Miser's opponent is. It is up against Titan. Let's see if the other one's working. Uh, folks, if you have not had pictures taken of your robot, please make sure you get to our photographer. We need official event 
uh, pictures from all robots. So if you're not fighting right now and your robot has at least two or three pieces together, please take it over to the official event photographer in the green room for pictures. Candid photos. Say no more. All right. Meteor, are you ready? Is that Meteor? <laughs> Meteor isn't even in the arena. That was a trick question. Titan is ready. Ah. All right, Miser, are you ready? All right, Pong, take it away. All right. On your mark. There we go. All right. On your mark. Get set and fight. And off they go. Titan spinning up. Miser spun up. And a big hit by Miser getting popped up by Meteor. All right. Miser now upside down. And still showing good mobility. But Me Miser getting tossed around by Meteor. We're going to see if Miser has what it takes to do some damage to, uh, to Meteor. But both robots flying around the arena. Another big hit delivered on both robots. And I love the mobility on Miser. Oh, and look at that Meteor looking worse for wear. I actually see some TPU has been removed from Titan. But what All kind right. of infill did they Here use? we go. Miser's got Titan in the corner, but unfortunately tags the wall instead of, the, uh, instead of their opponent. All right, Titan sent flying by Miser, but Titan getting around behind Miser briefly. We're going to go ahead and open the pit, Zach. One right minute now. remaining. All right, the pit is now open, so anything can happen. Miser over there by the pit. Miser trying to get further from the pit. Titan over by the pit, both robots. And right now we have Miser perilously close to the pit. It looks like the weapon on Titan has been knocked out. Oh, the weapon on Titan is still working. Over by the pit. He's right there. Miser, this is your chance. Uh-oh. Can you get him in the pit? And we're going to have to see movement. Anything from can Titan. happen. And. Oh, no. Unfortunately, Miser's big hit sends Meteor going in the other direction as we come down to the final 20 seconds left in this match. Miser trying to stay out of the pit. Is it going to be enough? We'll find out here in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, and All that. right, that's our match. This is going to go to a judge's decision. We have a split decision. The first referee voted for Miser. The second judge voted for Titan. The third judge voted for our winner, Miser. Nice. All right, we're going to be loading Meteor and Mirage into the arena, but we're coming over to an exciting ant weight fight right now. But do we have a 12 pound fight queued up, Trent? All right, on the 12 pounds, we have two exciting robots. One is called Orbital Ikla. Hmm? Bombardment. All right, it said Orbital Ikla on the other sides. And the name of your robot, George, is Meat Tornado. All right, we know where Meat Tornado comes from. It comes from Team Meat. All right, Orbital Bombardment, are you ready? Oh, All right. Meat Tornado, are you ready? Pong, take it away! Meat Tornado versus Bombardment. On your mark, get set, and fight! All right, it looks like there is a spinner on Orbital, but Meat Tornado with the pin for five, four, three, two, one. Backing off, so Meat Tornado trying to get free from Bombardment. And Meat Tornado breaks free. And Meat Tornado trying to line up. Bombardment trying to get their spinner going. It looks like they have. Their spinner looks mightily, looks, all right. And Orbital Bombardment. And we got another push by Meat Tornado with a pin for five, four, three, two, 
One, backing off. Meet Tornado, backing off. Two minutes and, and 15 going seconds. going in again, but this time, Bombardment getting in. And here comes, here comes Meet Tornado with another pin for five, four, three, breaking free. Here comes Meet Tornado again, pushing around in the corner. Bombardment trying to get going here, but here comes Meat Tornado. Meat Tornado under Orbital Bombardment trying to take him down, and there's a pin for five, four, three, two, one. Meat Tornado backing off. And Bombardment looking like it's limping around a little bit. We Meat have Tornado a Tornado trying to get control, and they've got control for five, four, three, Two, one, backing off. One minute and 20 seconds remaining. Bombardment clearly down to one wheel drive. It looks like the weapon of Bombardment might also be out. Another pin by Meat Tornado for five, four, three, two, one, backing off. And do we see any motion from Bombardment? We're gonna count Bombardment out in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Our winner is Meat Tornado! With a furious spin of meat, Meat Tornado spins forward. All and right, we're, we, we have just been told there will be a featured pizza today called the Meat Tornado. You may try, try it at your own risk. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time I heard that. I'd only have 10 cents, but it's weird that it happened twice, right? All right, we've got Obake, we've run Obaki and Subdivision, we've run IMAX and Saurian, we've run Chop Chopper and Penguin Clubber, we need Antide and Striker, Cake Batter and Night Force, Counter Punch and Morb to the arena. We are loading, loading in right now, I'm hoping Antide and Striker. Zach's got an exciting fight for us in the Fairyweight arena. We need Meteor and Mirage. They're gonna be in the arena ready to go as soon as we finish this Antweight fight, featuring the indubitable opponent and their other opponent, Antide and Striker. All right, I'm gonna guess that the one on that says Antide on top is Antide, and the one that doesn't say that is Striker. Oh, Striker's known as On-Off. No wonder I didn't know who it was. All right, on off, are you ready? On off is ready. Antide, are you ready? All right, take it away, Pong. All right, here we go. Striker versus Antide. On your mark, get set, and fight. All right, Antide has got a modified drum. They put some titanium teeth onto this drum, but it looks like Antide just taps out. Oh, no. And Antide flipped itself up and over and shut itself off. Oh. All right, so a disappointing first fight for Antide, but on off doesn't deliver a delayed hit. And folks, we're gonna ask, we need everybody to stay away from the door. So we're gonna have to have everybody take three steps back from the door. Let me get you back over here. Thank you guys. All right. And we wanna make sure we are safe unloading these robots. All right, thank you guys. All right. I need to make an award for gone in 10 seconds. I don't think that would happen. What happened, it did. Antide goes down. So we will see Antide again later on. Yeah, that is absolutely rough. Everybody in the chat's like, oh no! That is very rough, absolutely. What do we got over here? Is that Pinfari? That is Pinfari, of course it is. How you doing? Good to see you. Checking back through some of the uh, some of the chat here, I have, don't really have a chance to see it while we're uh, while we're going through the fights here, but <laughs> what this function happens to the best of us, you know it does, it does. Currently prepping for Arc, yeah, absolutely, I will definitely see you there. Yeah, that's right. Speaking of which, yeah, we're going to be out there on uh, on June the fifteenth in beautiful downtown Tempe, Arizona. Uh, so you'll be able to see uh, that show right here at the uh, same same channel and all that stuff so yeah check us out all right we've got an exciting fight queued up we've got mirage <gasps> like versus meteor now there's something meteor logan are you ready with meteor jeremy are you ready with mirage 
All right, Pong, take it away. All right, Mirage versus Meteor. On your mark, get set, and fight. Both robots spinning up. These are both little tiny 150 gram robots. These robots weigh just over five ounces, but they pack a lot of power into this tiny package. We run these matches for just two minutes because the batteries are small and a big hit delivered by Mirage sending Meteor into the ceiling. A lot of black plastic in the arena. And I'm being told that was from before. I don't see any white plastic in the arena, but we'll see how this fight goes. All right, both robots showing good speed, but having a hard time connecting in the arena. One minute and 20 seconds remaining. All right, the two robots tangling up, but the wedgelets on both of them keeping the weapons from coming into contact. All right, and it's about time to open the pit. So Zach's gonna open the pit for us. And down goes the pit. All right, now that means the rest of the match will take place in this corner, as far from the pit, <laughs> as, the pit as possible. <laughs> but then again, anything can happen. We've seen that happen quite a few times in these matches. Somebody can hit the wall, somebody can bounce across the whole arena, and this thing could be all wrapped up. But we got a 40 seconds for that to happen. A nice pop by Mirage, sending Meteor up, and this time Meteor gets into Mirage, but Meteor is now upside down. All right, pop back up by Mirage. Twenty seconds remaining, and this is still anybody's game. A oh, nice pop by Mirage. Meteor getting perilously close to the pit. Playing with fire there, absolutely, but. He can only play with it for another six, five, four, three, two, one, and that is the match. All right, this is going to go to a judge's decision. Let's get some judge's decision music going on here. Nobody blocked the camera, so no self-destructs. That's right. All right, very close on points, but our winner is Mirage. All right, somebody put their hands together for Mirage. We've got a 12-pound fight all set, oh, but we go. are also getting a ant weight fight queued up. So in the ant weight arena, we need some robots loaded. We are looking for cake batter and night force. And Derek is gonna run night force as soon as he finishes this fight. But we need cake batter in the arena, please. Well, there's a big boy right there. Who's that guy? All right, we've got full court and their opponent. Carl. Creature. I'll be right one of these days. All right, Full Court, are you ready? Full Court is ready. Creature, are you ready? Creature is ready. We're gonna start this fight in three, two, one, fight! Creature comes out and moving quick. Full Court taking a second to get going. Creature trying to get around and getting the push on Full Court. And so far, Creature looking really good against Full Court with a pin for ten, five, four, three, Two, one, backing off, Creature. All right, the two robots trying to get untangled, and they do. Creature. All right, Full Court trying to wrap around Creature. Creature trying to get their forks under Full Court. Full Court, the current national champion, as we go for a pin for four, three, two, one, backing off, Full Court, backing off. Right, full court trying to back off. Creature caught on the wedge. Two robots trying to work themselves free, and they work themselves free. But Creature showing limited mobility. Looks like Creature might have lost a drive side. Full Court, can you move? Creature, can you move? We're going to count both robots out. Full Court is still moving. 10, 9, 8, 7, and Creature is free. All right, so Full Court trying to get another pin here. A minute and 40 left on the clock. We go for a pin for five, four, three, two.
two, one, backing off the pin. All right, Creature definitely showing some mobility issues. Full court going for another pin. And Creature trying to get lined up and get that lift, but not able to. Full court backing off again. We need to see movement, Creature, in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Okay, we got a little bit, and Creature's back moving again. Full court trying to get another pin here. We need to see movement, Creature, in 10, 9. All right, we've got movement from Creature. One minute remaining. We need to see movement from Creature in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Our winner is Full Court. And that is the match. Full Court goes forward and Creature no longer featured. All right, we are now into the Antweight Arena where we've had two exciting robots load in. In the Antweight Arena, we currently see Cake Batter and Night Force. So Cake Batter in the arena. Coleman is running to get Night Force as soon as he clears his 12 pound out. Folks, all spectators, we're going to move all spectators back past this line here. So if, you're a, if you are not in the fight, please move back past the edge of this table. We are very fortunate to have two people helping us uh, keep people organized. But we want to give our drivers a little bit of space. And also, as we're loading and unloading robots, we don't want kids to get whacked with the robots. So we're going to try and keep all drivers back, yeah, back behind. Yeah, we're going to keep them. All right, we've got Night Force in the arena. Coleman's second time driving a vert. Up against Cake Beater. Do we have the driver for Cake Beater here? Yes, we do. All right. So we're going to start this fight in Pong. Are you ready? I am ready. Pong, uh, take it away. On your mark, get set, and fight. Off they go. All right, here comes Night Force tapping up against Kick Beater. Kick Force and, and Night Force All and right. Kick Beater. Kick Beater scores another hit on Night Force, lining up the next one. Swing and a miss from Kick Beater. All right, Kick Beater has got a little more inertia in their weapon, but Night Force is a four wheel drive. So Night Force showing a little more control. Coleman is not used to driving a vert, and one of the things when you drive a vert is you really have to get some speed into your opponent to deliver a big hit. Uh, you've got to get that, take advantage of that weapon bite, and you really, like I said, you got to, there we go. So when you get some speed into him, you get a nice pop like that. If you go into him slow, not a lot happens. All right, so Coleman trying to get lined up to deliver some big hits. It looks like one of the wheels on Cake Beater is having some problems. But Cake Beater still very much in the fight. Neither robot able to deliver any big hits recently. A little pop by Night Force there. Looks like one of the wedgelets. Okay, we've got both the, all the wedgelets down on Night Force. Minute and 35 remaining on the clock. All right, grinding away, but grinding away with a vert doesn't do much. It's not a game of pinning, it's a game of popping. And, and Coleman can see and there when you a pop. little bit of speed in there, you get the bite and you deliver a much bigger hit. That was absolutely a pop right there, for sure. Not quite a ceiling hit, but but not bad. Minute and 15 seconds remaining on the clock here. Another swing and a miss 
All right, right that's another way to do it, I guess, is to jam him up against the wall. You know? His back was to me, you know? Another little pop. Uh-oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Cake Beater on their side. We're going to see if Cake Beater can show motion, but Cake Beater... Oh, no, don't do the thing. All right, we're going to have to count Cake Beater out in 10. Oh, uh, Cake Beater back on their feet, but can Cake feet. Beater still show motion in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Our winner is Night Force. And with 35 seconds remaining on the clock, Night Force goes forward. All right, we're going to get both robots out of the arena, and we have an exciting appearance by Golden Smurf. All right. By Golden Smurf. We're looking for Counterpunch and Morb to load into the Ant Arena, as well as Lopper and U.S. Slay. All right, but over in the Fairy Arena, Zach has an exciting fight queued up for us. In the Fairy Arena. We're there. Subdivision and Super Pee Wee over at the Fairy Arena. And we need Counterpunch and more, but loading into the Antweight Arena as soon as we clear out Night Force and their opponent, Cake Beater. Good. Hey, Sandy, I'm fighting. All right, the Mysterious Sandy. Mysterious Sandy. It's nice to know that Sandy is real. A Sandy appears. Roll for initiative. Wait, why didn't I save that for the other guy? No. I'll do it again. No, no, no. Oh, <laughs> Sam says, yeah, we know. We know. You'll do it again. All right, yeah. All right. So we've got okay, Subdivision. Subdivision has got an upgraded blade. Now the blade on Subdivision here uh, is extra special, oh. and it's extra specially not working right now, apparently. Oh. All right. That's special in the wrong way. All right, so Subdivision, we're going to see if he can get it going. He has the option of turning it off and turning it back on again, or he can take his time out. Uh, now, folks, this is a good time to talk about our timeout policy, which we didn't cover at our driver's meeting. SCAR allows one timeout per team. Mm -hmm. If you have seven robots or 20 robots, you get one timeout for the whole event. All right, so uh, you get one timeout, I'll say one timeout per day uh, for each team, and that timeout is for 20 minutes. We do limit our timeouts because we want to make sure that we keep the event running on time and we can get through all the matches. All right, so Subdivision is going to take their time out, so Super Pee Wee is going to pull themselves out of the arena. We're going to queue up another exciting fairyweight fight, but while we were waiting, we've got Counterpunch and Morb in the arena. We are exciting to see Morb winning their first match with a decisive decision. So Morb, so far undefeated at this tournament, but they're going up against the fearsome Counterpunch. So Morb having to fight their way tooth and nail through a terrible battle in their first fight. But fortunately, they applied sufficient grease so they could get their robot apart. And they're going to face Counterpunch right now. Let's get Morb in the arena. The mysterious Morb. I have one of those. I'm just going to let that hang there. Yeah. <laughs> Did you leave the safety engaged? I think the safety might be engaged. You, 
You need to pull that out of there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that, that works better. Yeah, there we go. I mean, I'm not a robot surgeon, but, you know. Did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. We're going to make sure we seal the door for this match. Morb is known for its antics. Mm. Um, Dylan, what does Morb stand for? More orb. All right. And I believe orb stood for something. It was orbital something bombardment. Oh, it was round. But his robot is no longer round. So it's more not round. All right. And counterpunch stands for counterpunch. All right. So, Morb, are you ready? Yes. Morb is ready. Counterpunch, are you ready? Pong, take it away. All right. On your mark. Get set. And fight. Off. All right. Morb spinning up and starting to Morb. Morb delivering one precious attack at Counterpunch. All right, Morb not showing quite the level of agility we're used to seeing from it. Oh, and a nice overhead attack from Morb. All right, Morb. We can barely wait to see the three-pound version of Morb. Oh, Lord. Why not go for 12? I mean, you know, what the heck? All right. Counterpunch, of course. Delivering a nice hit on Morb. We have two seconds, or two minutes, rather, remaining on the clock. This is still All right, uh -oh. we're gonna see if that's the end for Morb. Things Will there be quiet. Morb? All right, we're gonna count it out Morb in 10, 9, 8, 7, uh -oh. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Our winner is Counterpunch. Wow. Counterpunch goes All forward, right. down goes Morb. Morb was doing great until it wasn't. <laughs> it really was, it really was. All right, we're looking for U.S. Slay. U.S. Slay to the Ferry Weight Arena. Your opponent is ready. U.S. Slay to the Ferry Weight Arena. We would like, oh, I'm sorry, Lopper and U.S. Slay. We have Lopper at the arena. We need U.S. Slay to the arena, please. U.S. Slay to the one pound arena. But meanwhile, Zach has an exciting Ferry Weight find out fight fight lined up for us. Let's see what he's got for us at the Fairyweight Arena. The answer just may surprise you. I think I see a warm hug there. Is that a warm hug lined up? All right, folks, we are going to be taking a lunch break <gasps> starting at noon. Okay. So we're going to be taking a lunch break at noon. Uh, I'm going to check in with the engineering club and see when the pizza arrives. Get some check with the engineering club music going on here in the chat here. There we go. It's perfect music to check with the engineering club on. Taking another uh, look there at the pit. Like, look at look at everybody feverishly working over there. There's a, there's a little booth there. People are feverishly selling things. Capitalism, you know, you gotta love it. Oh, hey, who's over there? Hey. I can't see the camera from here. Ah, I was trying. Let's see, am I? No, can't do it. Oh, well. But there's Ben. You were there. You were there. Your shoulder, your shoulder made an appearance. It's fine. Man, look at him go. Feverish. All right, we've got U.S. Slay versus Lopper. U.S. Slay versus Lopper. All right, Morb is going to get out of the way so we can get our next fight started here. U.S. Slay is here. All right, U.S. Slay is looking good. Definite upgrades from the last time we saw it. And the tape is beautiful. The red and blue gorgeous work. All right, so we're really excited about the new front end of U.S. Slay. 
USA going up against the veteran Lopper. And we're going to get USA to drive over towards their square. We've got Lopper lined up on the purple Scar logo there. All right, I've got my referee Cindy here. All right. And we're going to start this fight. Pong, why don't you take it away? All right, sounds good. That would be a Lopter, Lopper versus... U.S. Slay. Lopper versus U.S. Slay. On your mark, get set, and fight. All right, so U.S. Slay spinning up, Lopper spinning up. They're going head-to-head, -head, locking up in the middle. U.S. Slay, it takes a while to get there, but once they get there, it's serious business. Just U.S. Slay the Germans. has got a single-point wedge there versus the flat wedge on uh, on Lopper. Lopper's flat wedge, though, is sprung mounted, and U.S. Slay's little snout is uh, getting a little bent up there, it looks like. <laughs> you don't want a bent snout in this game. You don't. You don't. All right. <laughs> I lost an uncle that way. Uh, a, a little pop by Lopper, but a pin by U.S. Slay. All right, U.S. Slay, we're seeing uh, Lopper break the pin. All right, some limited mobility by U.S. Slay. Looks like one of their wheels is uh, having some issues. Lopper trying to line up. U.S. Slay struggling to turn in one direction because of the gyroscopic forces from their weapon. Oh, and a big pop by Lopper. Two but minutes. U.S. Slay right back in it, showing very good driving skills. Minute and 55 seconds remaining on the clock. All right, U.S. Slay going for another pin. Lopper dodging to the side, getting around. Chewing away on the side of U.S. Slay. And popped Ooh. up and over, U.S. Slay right back on their feet. One minute and 30 seconds remaining. Now. All right. U.S. Slay trying to line up on Lopper, and Lopper trying to get the angle on U.S. Slay. Two robots pushing in the middle of the arena, and another big pop by Lopper. Lopper going right back at it. Would U.S. Slay right back on their feet, though. The Lopper popper. All right, U.S. Slay able to get right back up. Both robots proving very reliable. And we are right at a minute and three seconds on the clock. Will there be more Lopper poppers? Will U.S. Slay? Right, there's another pop by Lopper. Oh. And U.S. Slay, double pop. We're definitely seeing some of the tape. And we have a major piece removed from U.S. Slay. It looks like one of the wheels bound up. Lopper getting him in the corner. And we're seeing things looking worse for wear. The front end on, on U.S. Slay and the wedge have been torn off as U.S. Slay, but U.S. Slay not giving up. They know they've still got that spinning weapon there, but oh, and that piece and removed entirely. <laughs> Lopper, don't play with your food over there. All right, so what? U.S. Slay, we need to see some motion out of that corner. All right, U.S. Slay still moving. Fine. Don't know if they're gonna need to move too much more because this thing is gonna be all wrapped up in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and that is the match. All right, it's gonna to go to a judge's decision. Excellent driving by U.S. Slay until Lopper got some really powerful hits in there. Who We're will gonna win? see what our judges decide. Will Lopper be the, be the stopper? Will U.S. Slay go all the way? All right, we have a unanimous judge's decision for Lopper. There it is. Put your hands together for your winner, Lopper. There they go. We've got a 12-pound match queued up. We've got a 12-pound match. Well, I got a camera for And you. in the 12-pound arena, we have oh, no. Mimic oh, no. versus Known Avenger. <laughs> Mimic. Oh, no. Is it Known Avenger, David? Thumbs up. I got the name right. I am so proud. Oh, I know that. Of Avenger. course, Mimic, I got right the first time because it's got a tongue and it's a Mimic. Yep. All right. That's not a Mimic. That's just a treasure chest. All right. Now, this tongue, I understand, helps the robot drive upside down better. We're going to sure. test that today. All right. Uh, mimic comes to us from, from Phoenix, Arizona, Team Roll for Initiative. Uh, we're going to see their beetle tomorrow, I think. You see? And I think... Good. All right, so we'll see their plus. They've got a busy day tomorrow. All right, so team roll for initiative. Are you ready? 
All right, they are ready. Uh, David, are you ready? All right, Pong, take it away. On your mark, get set, and fight. And off they go. Mimic takes a hit, pinned up against the wall. All right, big slams by Known Avenger. Indeed. Known Avenger knows exactly who that, uh, who that Mimic is. All right, we're going to need to see some motion from Mimic here. The, the tongue seems to be have gotten the wheel stuck. Known Avenger getting him free, though. Seems like that tongue is definitely causing mobility problems. All right, you, you, I think you should have named this robot Gene Simmons. Oh, no. All right. I know Gene has problems getting around in the morning. All right. We're going to have to count Mimic out in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Our winner is Known Avenger. And that is the match. All right, and he's decided he wants to make the driver of Mimic walk all the way to the other end of the arena to get it out. Ooh, mean. That's why everybody knows who that Avenger is. They're like, oh, that's the mean one. This guy always makes me walk everywhere. Sheesh. That guy. Causes mobility issues, it seems. That's right. It also it also chokes me up. When, if you guys want a want a good time, watch the uh, let's see. That was New Mexico robot. All right, folks. Combat. Hey, Pong, we're gonna go to lunch in a in a minute. Oh, here. Thanks, Do you want to say anything before we go to lunch? Oh man, I want to say I'm hungry. That's what I want to say. No, I, I do want to say uh, a couple things actually. Uh, so first of all, uh, we're gonna take a quick lunch break. We'll be back. And uh, when will we be back there? We'll be back at twelve thirty. At twelve thirty, fantastic. All right then. So we're gonna grab a quick bite to eat. I will leave you with the uh, the sights and sounds of some of well, not the sounds, but you, at least the sights of the uh, of this here uh, uh, event. Uh, I do want to take a quick moment and let you know that this whole uh, shebang here, this presentation at least, is brought to you on behalf of the Sin Shop. Now, the Sin Shop is a maker hacker space located in Las Vegas, Nevada, that has the tools and materials that you can use to make whatever you can think of. Now, the shop is currently open for all of our members, so if you find yourself in the Vegas area and you'd like to stop by and check out the shop, head over to our Discord at sinshop.org forward slash Discord. Also want to let you know, uh, just like the shop, we're entirely supported by members just like you. So. If you, uh, for some reason, want to donate strictly to the shop, you can do that, sinshop.org forward slash donate. On the other hand, if you'd like to help us buy more HDMI cables and pay for gas and all that fun stuff, uh, just uh, head on over to the Twitch, and all the bits, all the subs, all that stuff does indeed get split with the shop. So help us help you help them help ourselves to more cables, because we need them. But at any rate, uh, we're gonna, like I said, we're going to leave you uh, with some lunch and leave you with the sights and, and whatnot. We will eat just as fast as possible. Uh, but uh, And we'll be right back in a few minutes. Come on. In about 29 minutes. 20 minutes. You got 29 minutes. Come on. Go, go do the laundry. You got this. You're good. All right. We'll be right back.
Testing. So, folks, we're going to be on lunch break. The Engineering Club is going to have pizza available in just moments. We do also have pizza for the volunteers. Uh, but apparently the pizza has been delayed, and everybody wants you to know that it is James's fault. So if you see James, it's his fault that the pizza is not here. All right, we have one more 12-pound match before lunch, I understand. This is exciting. We've got Charcuterie Board versus... Antilator. All right, Antilator has upgraded their weapon to one that might work. We'll see. Um, guess, what's that? Guess all right, we're going to see if Antilator's weapon is, is functional this time. Charcuterie Board, 100% in its first match but did get dominated by just a better robot. Um, it happens. All right, so we're gonna see if Shakuri board at 100% can beat Antilator at, it's got a UCI sticker on it, so 30%, what do you guys say? 10, all right, 10%. Uh, that is passing at UCI, folks. All right, so, all right. So we've got a quick match here, folks. Pong, take it away. On your mark. Get set and fight. The weapon is spinning on Antilator. Hey, there we go. That is not what what uh, Charcuterie Board wanted to see. All right, so Charcuterie uh -oh. Board losing Little. there has taken out the weapon on Antilator. And Antilator Little getting too. one good hit, popping off the top plate. Yep. But, you know, that's not really necessary. All right, these wedgelets... Some minor geometry problems. Uh, we won't be using those on Mad Catter. All right. <laughs> um, and Charcuterie Board trying to take advantage of their superior drive and mobility and pushing Antilator around. But it looks like one drive side is causing some problems on Charcuterie Board. He gets it free briefly. That drive side wanting to go backwards but not really wanting to push forwards. All right, fortunately, he uses removable links, and his removable link is holding the top plate on. Minute and 50 seconds remaining on the clock. All right. So, and the Antilator trying to push on Charcuterie Board, but Charcuterie Board has got them on the ropes, and here we have a pin. Oh, and Antilator backing off for five, four, three, two, one. Charcuterie Board backing off. All right, the two robots seem to be stuck together. They're gonna w work themselves apart. All right, the two robots are, are, are free. Antilator's only got one wheel working. Charcuterie board pushing on Antilator. Charcuterie board can drive forward and backward sometimes. All right, both robots. All right, uh, Antilator, we're gonna need to see motion in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Our winner is Chakuteri Board. And that is right. the match. But is that lunch? The answer. But the re and an excellent hit by Antilator, and Antilator will return in the second chance rumble. Oh. All right, we're hoping to see Antilator. 
at 100% for the Rumble. It's been getting better and better every match, right? And we're gonna see full power Antelator this time. I'm looking forward to it. All right, we're looking for Naughty List. Naughty List, you gotta finish your giant sandwich. Well, I'll tell you what, while the Naughty List is finishing their sandwich, let me finish telling you guys a little bit about the Sin Shop. Now, the uh, Sin Shop is a maker hacker space located in Las Vegas, Nevada, with the tools and materials that you can use to make whatever you can think of. Now, uh, if you'd like to uh, check out the shop, if you find yourself in the Vegas area, head on over to sinshop.org forward slash discord. You can find out all that and much, much more. Because every Monday and Friday night at twitch.tv forward slash Sin Shop, you can check out this show uh, right here where we put together all this stuff that you're seeing here. And you can... Uh, you can be a part of the whole the whole thing, of this whole mess. Also, the last thing I did want to let you know here, uh, just like the shop, we're entirely supported by members like you. If you want to support just the shop, sendshop.org forward slash donate will do exactly that. But if you want to help us and the shop, all your bits, all your subs, everything you do. And do you like robots? Do you want a shirt that tells people you like robots? Sinshoplivestream.com. That goes to help the shop. Guys, I'm going to need... Okay, but anyway, we're going to head on back and let's uh, let's check out some of the action over here. All right, butter match had a difficult first. Butterface rather had a difficult first match. Uh, Butterface had a difficult first match. It was defeated by Penguin Clubber, and uh, we had some buttered penguin there. And unfortunately, I did not get to try this delicacy. I had to settle for Costco pizza for lunch. Um, but Butterface is a powerful drum, and I hear that the pit speaker has just turned on, folks. Oh, nowhere can you escape now. All right, this is fantastic. Uh, so we've got Butterface going up against Antide. Now Antide in their first match flipped over and turned off. Um, so both these robots are looking for a much better showing than they had in their first one. One of these robots will achieve redemption. The other robot will get ready for the rumble. All right, and have a third chance at redemption. So Antide in the arena, ready to go. Butterface turning on, and we prefer him to turn the robot in the arena. All right. All right, he has stuffed the antenna in the robot. Always a good choice. Butterface turning on. All right, and he's going to power it up. All right, Butterface may need their timeout. All right, it's, it's, all right, so Butterface is going to take their time out. Sorry, Antide. Um, and we're gonna load in our next robot. So we've got Penguin Clubber and Katu here. So we're gonna get Penguin Clubber loaded into the arena. Penguin Clubber loading into the arena. Katu, we need the driver of Katu, not Kit One, but Katu. So Daniel, I believe, is the driver of Katu. Kit Three is right out. All right, Penguin Clubber has a unique mobility style. It's the Penguin Waddle. All right, yeah, we call it the Waddle. Now, uh, Katu uh, is... Katu had a difficult first match. All right, it looks like Penguin Clubber had a little too much for lunch. All right, it's running a little slower than we expect. Uh, let's see. Have we got have we got drive on all the wheels in uh, Katu there? Hey there. Hey there. Hey, easy. Is it doing this by itself? All right, why don't you turn the remote off? He's freaking out, man. All right, we got a runaway robot here. Huh. All right, he had the wrong remote bound to it. Hopefully, it'll it'll wake up here. All right. So unfortunately, uh, we're gonna ha we might have to wait for Katu to run run down here a minute, unless you feel like you can grab it safely. We're gonna see if he can.
Looks like your weapon stopped. That's the first time I've seen that. We had those two that turned off simultaneously. In, uh, All right, so there. we're going to go ahead and put the safety back in here. We're going to have him try and see if it'll sync to the correct remote this time when it turns on. So we're going to take a we're going to take a timeout. Get both both teams are going to take their timeout. Both teams have asked to uh, fix their robot. So both teams are going to use their timeout, and we're going to load in our next ant weight match. And we're looking for IMAX and Neutrino subdivision, and we're looking for Python and Golden Smurf. And I know Golden Smurf is ready. But I think we've got a fairy weight match ready to run. But if we could get Golden Smurf and Python to the arena, IMAX and Neutrino to the arena. But it looks like we've got an exciting fairy weight match. All right, so we've got Super Pee Wee fighting their opponent, the Deadly Mini Division. Mini Division uh, trying to stay lined up, and the pit is now open with one minute remaining in this match. Apparently, they started without us. Um, and... All right, he's got to go work on IMAX afterwards, but Super Pee Wee trying to line up with Subdivision. Looks like Subdivision's weapon is out, and we don't know if the weapon ever ran. Okay, so Subdivision's weapon never ran, so it's been a pushing match the whole time. We've got 38 seconds left on the clock, and the pit is open. All right, getting over close to the pit here. Super Pee Wee. Here comes Subdivision trying to line him up on the pit as the two tussle right by the pit with a mere 20 seconds left on the clock. Back by the pit again. Subdivision working on Super Pee Wee. Super Pee Wee has been caught from behind by Subdivision, a good chunk of the match here. And Subdivision using its weapon to grab onto Mini Pee Wee. Mini Pee Wee broken free though. Mini Pee Wee trying to line up as we come down to three, two, one, and that's our match. All right, this is gonna go to a judge's decision. Our winner by unanimous judge's decision is Super Pee Wee. All right, we're gonna get our get that recorded. We're gonna come back over to our ant weights, and hopefully we've got an exciting ant weight fight all queued up here. All right, so in the ant weights, we are looking for we are looking for Rami. U.S. Slay. IMAX, Neutrino, Python, and Golden Smurf. If we can, I've got Python here at the arena. We're gonna go get Golden Smurf so we can start this match. Golden Smurf is coming to the arena. Golden Smurf is coming into the arena. Eventually. Oh, a little too loud. There we go. A little better. All right, we've got Python and Golden Smurf lined up. Python has made some substantial repairs. 
We see the evidence of gaffer tape on their robot. Golden Smurf had to take a forfeit on their first match, but Golden Smurf is back and fully together, looking vicious. Python is loading into the arena. Let's get Python in the arena. Python in the arena. And Golden Smurf, we're gonna load into the arena. We're gonna ask anyone who isn't a competitor to take a big step back or two behind this green line right here. So all non-competitors behind the green line here. All right, so if you're not one of our refs or competitors, we'll get people back behind the green line. And... All right, so we've got Golden Smurf in the arena. Python is in the arena. All right, so Python had a vicious first fight. Actually, has had two fights. They won their first fight against Rami. They lost their second fight against... Magnitude, a vicious horizontal spinner. And here they are again, facing another vicious horizontal spinner known as Golden Smurf. All right, now Team Smurf has had, um, has had a variety of successes. This is Golden Smurf. We've seen Smurf Beater. We've seen um, Smurfette. And we've never seen Smurfette Beater, and we hopefully never will. All right, so. Um, all right, we're gonna turn, we hear that, that weapon ESC beeping away, and we're gonna let him reset that. I just heard something sink. Oh, let's close that door. All right. Let us close the door here. All right, so Golden Smurf is back up and running. All right, I've got my referees. Pong, take it away. All right, here we go. On your mark, get set, and fight. Golden Smurf spinning up. Python trying to keep pointed at Golden Smurf. All right, and a big hit, but Golden Smurf is the one that goes flying off of that. But we see a big chip cut out of the front of Python's front plate. Oh, no. That sounded ominous. Yeah, that I did. think that was the belt on Golden Smurf exploding. And then so, it exploded. Golden Smurf's weapon belt completely disintegrates. Python, happy about this occurrence, <laughs> but Python has got to show some aggression and control because so far damage has been all Golden Smurf. All right, both robots reduced to pushing. Now we get to see this as a driving match. So I noticed that Golden Smurf is upside down. Uh, the Smurf Master has resorted to turning his remote upside down to drive it. And Python is going to try to pin the Golden Smurf up against the wall. We're going to see how that works out. All right, Gold Python working its way towards Golden Smurf. Golden Smurf using its back end to push. But Python getting under Golden Smurf briefly. We will point out that Golden Smurf's weapon is spinning under uh, very quite high quality burning bearings. And we hear him running his motor, but there's no belt attached. All right, we're I going for a like pin. That. We've got a minute and 25 seconds remaining on the clock, by the way. All right. So Python trying to pin Golden Smurf, but neither robot successfully pinning the other. Both robots pushing against each other. Golden Smurf backing away. Python chasing. Here comes Golden Smurf. One minute remaining. All right, two robots pushing against each other. Golden Smurf pushing on Python. All right, there is Python trying to get a pin on Golden Smurf. Golden Smurf trying to get around. Python trying to line up. And we've got 30 seconds left in this match. Python working their way towards Golden Smurf. Almost a pin. Almost a pin. Golden Smurf breaking free. Yeah. 
And we've got a pin for five, four, three, two. Breaking the pin is Python. And this is all going to be pulling into the station in five, four, three, two, one. And that is the match. All right, this is going to go to a judge's decision. We're going to check in with our judges. Discussions going on there. Who won? Who did the damage? What damage was done? Of course, they're looking for damage control and aggression. It's always hard in these in these fights where you got one bot that that immediately comes out and one thing one bad thing happens. It looks like we might have a decision here. Not quite yet. Here we go. All right, folks. We have unanimous judge's decision. The decisions are made based on damage, aggression, and control. With damage getting the most points. Uh, we saw that one robot did more damage than the other to its opponent. And our winner is, by unanimous judge's decision, Golden Smurf! There you go. Golden right. Smurf takes it. We now have Butterface has returned. We're going to put Butterface and Ant Hyde into the arena for a rematch. Thank you, Butterface, for a very quick turnaround uh, on your robot. And we're going to see an exciting drum-on-drum -drum match. But we're looking for some fairy weight action. Zach, who do we have in the Fairy Weight Arena? All right, we need Attackums and Pancake. We need Warm Hug and Batacums. And we need Rainbow Connection and Club Kid. But we've got a 12 match run, but we're going to get Ant Hyde and Butterface loaded in. As if they'll load in, we're gonna run them as soon as this 12 pound match is over. And in this 12 pound match, we have ready to start. We've got Meat Tornado versus Full Court. All right, your board is still in. All right, Meat Tornado is ready. Uh, should we let Full Court turn itself on? Okay. All right. I get pass for that? Ooh, look at it go. All right, we've got Meat Tornado, we've got Full Court. Full Court is moving, Meat Tornado is moving. Meat Tornado, are you ready? All right, we're gonna start this fight. Pong, take it away. On your mark, get set, and fight. Off they go. Full Court versus Meat Tornado. Full Court lining up, trying to get the pin on Meat Tornado. Meat Tornado looking hopelessly outclassed. Meat Tornado pinned up against the wall for another four, three, Two, one, backing off. Here comes Full Court trying to line up again. Meet Tornado um, being dominated by Full Court. All right. Four, three. Oh, and look at that. Meet Tornado coming into their own. And here comes Meet Tornado, but Full Court for another pin with five, four, three, two, one, backing off. And a big. Drive by Meat Tornado, but Full Court trying to get the pin on Meat Tornado. Meat Tornado, not quite sure what to make of this. 
Now, uh, we deliberately unleveled the floor, and uh, I won't say it was deliberate. We did not spend nearly as much time leveling the floor as we have in past setups. And we've got another pin for five. Oh, but Meet Tornado right back out at full court, pinned over by the door for five, four, three, two, one, and backing off. All right, here comes Full Court. Full Court trying to line up Meat Tornado. Meat Tornado still stuck on Full Court. And Meat Tornado escaping, driving around, and has got a pushing battle with Full Court. But Full Court taking him to the rail for five, four, three, two, one, and backing off. All right, Full Court, you need to back off a full robot length. There we go. That's a full robot length. Meet Tornado quickly escaping, and Meet Tornado showing some excellent thing. All right, and Meet Tornado trying to ramp Full Court to the wall. You've got one minute remaining. The two robots tussling in the middle of the arena. I have one, I will. All right. Meet Tornado up and over Full Court, but Full Court might have stuck. Oh, but Meet Tornado managing to escape from being under the rail. Here comes Full Court trying to line up on Meet Tornado and being taken to the wall for five, four, three, two, one, and backing off. 30 seconds right. remaining. And a pin on the opposite side of the arena for five, four, three, two, one. Backing off. The two robots pushing the middle of the arena. Meet Tornado not able to escape the grasp of full court. But it's all not going to matter here in about five, four, five, three, four, two, three, one. <laughs> and that's that our match. Is the match. All right, this is going to go to a judge's decision. Right, so while the judges are deliberating here, let's see what we've got over here. We have a unanimous decision oh. for full court. There we go, unanimous decision for full court. There it is. Oh, wrong one. Go right here. There we go. A little butterface there. Never hurt nobody. All right, we're back online here. We've got an exciting antweight fight. We've got Antide versus Butterface. Butterface. All right, Butterface, are you ready? Butterface is ready. Antide, are you ready? Antide is ready. Pong, take it away. Here we go. Antide versus Butterface. On your mark, get set, and fight. Both and robots spinning up, and we're going to see. It looks like. Butterface is a little bit out of balance, bouncing around, but it's nice to see him looking more uh, more excited. A nice pop by Antide. And Butterface briefly upside down, but popped over by Antide. And a big pop by Antide. Antide getting some nice air on Butterface. Antide, by, Antide. The, way, Antide, by the way, is using the, uh, a leather armor. Uh, Antide and Rawhide both uh, do the exact same thing, and it, it proves really well. Very lightweight, very durable. The back top, the top plate on Butterface starting to come out. Yep. We're going to need to see Butterface still moving, and they haven't lost that top plate yet, so they're still in it. It looks like their weapon might be bound up, but anti fully functional. And we've got two minutes remaining on this, so this is still anybody's game. Anti pinning Butterface into the corner. And another pop by Anti. 
Butterface, we need to see motion in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Our winner is Antide. There we go. All right, so Antide, with its unique leather top plate armor, uh, taking on Butterface and emerging victorious. So, so far we've had Buttered Penguin and Buttered Ant. We'll see what's next. <laughs> Taking a look at the replay here while we uh, set up the next match here. A lot of really good hits. Antide is one of those one of those bots that when it's working well, it works really, really well. Very, very powerful bot here. Let's look at that one more time here. We got another nice little pop. Boom. Up to the ceiling. There we go. All right. We've got Attackums and Pancake. Attackums and Pancake. Warm Hug and better Attackums all queued up in the Fairy Weight Arena. So we're going to go over to the Fairy Weight Arena Let's and hopefully fair. see... Who we've got queued up here. Have we got Attackums? Have we got better Attackums? Have we got Pancake? I see Pancake in the arena. Have we an appropriate amount of Attackums? I'll just take a sufficient amount, you know? That blue one? All right, in the 12-pound arena, we've got a fight ready. We've got one of Team Meat's robots. And Cindy, why don't you remind me which Meat robot this is? Canned Meat. Canned Meat up against Known Avenger. Do we have Canned Meat in our heels tonight? We do not know. The answer just may surprise you. Will Known Avenger be an adventure that everyone knows. All right, so we've got Canned Meat versus Known Avenger. Known Avenger, where is the driver of Known Avenger? There he is. All right, Known Avenger is ready. Canned Meat, are you ready? All right, we're going to start this fight in three, two, one, fight. Both robots coming out, and Canned Meat immediately turning their backside to Known Avenger. Known Avenger taking advantage of it and sending him to the rail. All right, the so and Known Avenger getting under every angle of Canned Meat. Canned Meat stuck in the corner. Canned Meat getting dislodged by Known, uh, Known Avenger. There we go. And Canned Meat back in the fight. All right, Canned Meat staying lined up with Known Avenger and up in the air. So Canned Meat now upside down. And so we're going to see Cindy's skills at driving upside down. All right, Can Meat trying to escape from the corner here. And, okay, we think we need to see some motion from Canned Meat here in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. And Can Meat is free. All right, so Can Meat is back in it. And Can Meat is right side up. Oh, Cindy is so thankful right now. All right. So Can Meat trying to get under Known Avenger, them tussling in the middle. Now, Can Meat generally would like to keep their wedge pointed at Known Avenger. Known Avenger under Can Meat, slamming him to the wall, and a big slam! But now it's Known Avenger stuck over there. Both robots stuck. We might have to do an unstick. So we're going to have both teams put their remotes down for an unstick. All right, Pong, say something clever about unsticks. <laughs> Well, you see, an unstick is ha uh, happens when a uh, when one robot and another robot love each other very much. There is no stork involved, folks. I promise. That's no right. Robot no stork. storks. No, 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 no robot, robot storks. storks. That's right. All right. And That's if right. there is a robot next competition that has yellow, one yellow wheel guard and one of another color, it had nothing to do with this incident. Yep. Yep. I was nowhere near it. We, but we do have a minute and 30 remaining on the clock. We're going to start this fight up again. Pong, count us in. On your mark, get set, and fight. All right. Can Meat trying to stay pointed on Known Avenger. Known Avenger slamming Can Meat into the wall. <laughs> and again, Known Avenger slamming Can Meat into the wall. Can Meat pinned up against the wall, but Can Meat driving up and over the top of Known Avenger. 
Can Meat trying to get go toe to toe with Don Avenger. Can Meat choosing to stay away from the um, the deadly corner there. As we have oh, and here we go. Can Meat trying to stick for five. Two, one, can meet sticking Known Avenger for a pin. We're coming down to the final 30 seconds left in this match. We've got a brief pin by Known Avenger, but can meet dodging out of it. 20 seconds now as this fight rounds the final corner. Can meet driving up and over two times, up and over Known Avenger. And it looks as though this one's going to go the distance in nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. This will go to a judge's decision. We have a unanimous judge's decision for Known Avenger. There it is. Known Avenger takes the win. All right, we've got a fairyweight fight all queued up. We've got Attackums. find the next uh, competitor by here, right there. There we go. There'll be an attackums right there. All right, we've got the driver of warm hugs coming to the arena. And we've already got Batakums in the arena. So we're going to see hugging versus attacking. We're going to see which is a more successful strategy. It is called combat robots. So there is, there is something that suggests that combat robots involves attacking. But we're going to see today, because we've seen warm hugs uh, do very well in these competitions. It's a very well-driven robot. Yep. It's got a lot of control. And there is a pit that can, uh, can change everything in just a few seconds. The answer. All right, warm hugs is ready. We're gonna go ahead and seal the arena on that side. Batacums is applying the tape that holds the guts inside. And Batacums is saying right from the start he wishes he had more tape, but the robot barely made weight. All right, so, Alon, what are you doing? All right. It's structural tape. The doors are latched. All right, Warm Hugs, are you ready? Batacums, are you ready? All right, count us in, Pong. All right, on your mark, get set, and fight. All right, Warm Hugs giving Batacums a chance to get started. Warm Hugs not quite sure what to make of this. All right, what is this giant spinny thing? I should go grab it. All <laughs> and right. give it a hug. So Warm Hugs thinking maybe I better not grab the blade. I'll grab the blade anyway. <laughs> grab the blade anyway. So he's got the blade. Mm -hmm. All right. The dog that caught the car right there. So we're, we're taking him on a tour of the arena. We haven't seen that corner over there yet, Chris. Let's, let's go see that one. All right. And at this point, we're going to have you let him go. You've had your 15 seconds. All right. Oh, and we do have him spinning up a little bit. That's good. All right, so Batacum's able to spin up. So Warm Hug's trying to get in there and, and uh, grab him before the blade gets going. And he says, I'll just go in there and grab him. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to open this pit. The pit is opening up, and just as that happens, oh, and Batacums there he goes. goes right in. Well, there and it is. Zach shows all of his love for Daniel in Aww. that move. <laughs> all right, congratulations to Warm Hugs. Well, there we go. With 50 seconds remaining on the clock, Warm Hugs takes it. So you know, love does conquer all, and uh, especially in that match. Attacking is not always the answer, you know? Give peace a chance. Or at least surprise hugs. Don't do that. Don't ever do that. It's a bad idea. You like that? Is that some music to get ready for robots by? 
<laughs> I think it is. I think it is. All right. What else do we got over here? Yeah, that was some, some really good control there by uh, by Warm Hugs. That was really good. All right, in the ant weights, we need to see some robots. They've had some time, and we need to see them fight. U.S. Slay and Ram E, Morb and Naughty List, Cake Batter and Beta Decay. We need to see those robots. They've all had all their chances, and we're gonna load in U.S. Slay and Ram E. All right, way to get to things together, U.S. Slay and Ram E. Both of go. you guys had some tough matches, but the robots are back together. So we're gonna see U.S. Slay and Rammy going head to head. We need Morb and Naughty List on the table. I see Naughty List, I don't see Morb. So Morb, be aware, you have less than five minutes to get your robot to get, whoa! All right, let's make sure we get the arena door closed. And... Rainbow Connection and Club Kid, we need you to the Fairy Arena. We got U.S. Slay on the uh, right side of your screen. On the left side of your screen, we've got Rami. All right, Rami, are you ready? Rami is ready. U.S. Slay, are you ready? U.S. Slay is beyond ready. Pong, take it away. On your mark, get set, and fight. All right, U.S. Slay spinning up, and Rami has got some pretty solid metal armor there trying to take the hits. Rami getting around behind U.S. Slay. U.S. Slay trying to get under Rami and deliver a hit from that spinning weapon. All right, but that wedge on Rami, pretty low here. Oh, but Rami, the U.S. Slay getting around behind Rami briefly. Rami getting under U.S. Slay. And the both robots going toe to toe. Rami behind U.S. Slay. U.S. Slay pointing their weapon towards the wall, trying to get it around lined up. Rami trying to take advantage of being behind U.S. Slay briefly. All right, looks like one of U.S. Slay's wheels giving him a little bit of trouble, but still working. And Rami trying to stay lined up. Rami's not showing, it looks like one of their wheels is a little bit locked up. So both robots slowly making themselves toward, ways toward each other. And here comes U.S. Slay lining up. And both robots pushing in the corner here, but Rami slowly winning the fight as U.S. Slay goes into the corner. Just under two minutes remaining, a minute and 55. U.S. Slay trying to bring that weapon to bear. And Rami seems to be sort of stuck in the corner. Rami, we need to see some motion from you out of your square. All right, we're seeing a little bit of motion from Rami. We need a little, mo little more in 10. Nine. All right, we got some motion for Rami. Rami gets moving, but now U.S. Slay is behind Rami. If U.S. Slay can get uh, get Rami up into that weapon, there's going to be a big hop. But we've got a pin for five, four, three, two. Okay, U.S. Slay backing off. Two, one, and a full robot length. All right, so U.S. Slay with a nice pin. And here comes Rami trying to get out, but U.S. Slay right back on him. A minute and, and ten seconds pin. remaining. U.S. Slay with another pin. And Rami really having some mobility problems. U.S. Slay saving their weapon for battery purposes. And U.S. Slay got their weapon back up and going again. And got another pin for five, four, three, two, one. Backing off. U.S. Slay's got to back off a full robot length. So U.S. Slay backing off, giving Rami a chance to get out. Rami, we need to see some motion here. Rami showing a little bit of motion. All right, getting themselves out of their square. Here comes U.S. Slay again, and spinning up their weapon a little bit. And 25 gonna, seconds remaining. We've just got a few seconds left in this match. All right, U.S. Slay briefly getting stuck, and U.S. Slay, we can see both robots' batteries running down as they move slower and slower as we well, come down to the final seconds. Fortunately for them, they've only got seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and that is the match, and it has gone the distance. All right, this is going to go to a judge's decision. We're going to get our judges to make a decision. Let's get some making a decision music going on here. There we go. 
music to make a decision. All right, we have a unanimous judge's decision for U.S. Slay. Hey, U.S. All right. Slay. So Rami will be getting ready for the rumble. U.S. Slay will be preparing for their next match, and we're going to be loading over to see uh, Rainbow Connection and Club Kid in the Fairy Weight Arena. In the Ant Weight Arena, we need to load in our next fight. In the Ant Weight Arena, we need to see some robots load in. We need to see Morb and Naughty List, Cake Batter and Beta Decay. All right, we've got this very great fight ready to start. We've got Club Kid and Rainbow Connection. All right, Rainbow Connection, are you ready? Club Kid, are you ready? All right, Pong, count us in. All right, on your mark, get set, and fight. And off they go. All right, Club Kid spinning up. Club Kid had a rough first match. Rainbow Connection dominant in their first match. Club Kid had a complete rebuild to do. Uh, Rainbow Connection was showed some excellent driving and control in their first match, but unfortunately drove into the pit in the final seconds of the match. That was Club hard. Kid having some weapon issues. Their weapon was rock solid, reliable in their first match, but having a hard time starting starting in this match. All right, Warm uh, Rainbow Connection trying to get the grab in, but not able to quite show the level of control there. They've got on them. And they're going to try to grab him up, but the geometry isn't really working for him. And we're going to be opening that pit. And we've got a pin by Rainbow Connection in five, four, three, two, one. Back off, Rainbow Connection. Back in, off. In ten All right, seconds. and that we're going to get ready down. to open that pit. In so six, our Zach is going to five, open the pit. Four. And we're now. <laughs> Rainbow Connection is got to let him go in three, two. Okay, and they've let him go. The pit is now open. We've got 50 seconds remaining on the clock. Still anybody's game now with that pit open. Rainbow Connection coming in with another hug on Club Kid. A, a hug, a hug with Club warmth. Kid's weapon is back. This could change everything. That was, he was just saving it. He was just, uh, you know, he'd gone to the bar. He's back now. The weapon is back on. We're going to, oh, and there it goes again. Uh, All right. The old we got one big spin of that weapon, and it looked good. There it goes again. Anything could happen, but but Rainbow Connection with a pin for five, four, three, two, one. Backing off. Anything could I, happen, but it's going to need to happen in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that is the match. All right. This is going to go to a judge's decision. All right. Rainbow Connection pumping up the crowd there. Okay, so the judges are deliberating. All right, we have a unanimous judge's decision for Rainbow Connection. Yeah, there you go. The lovers. In the Antweight Arena. But first, in the Antweight Arena, we're looking to start a match. We're looking to see... Morb and Naughty List, Cake Batter and Beta Decay. But while those robots are loading in, we are going to run a 12-pound match. On the 12-pound side, we've got two exciting robots. We've got Charcuterie Board versus Mimic. Charcuterie Board, are you ready? Charcuterie Board is ready. Mimic, are you ready? All right, we're going to start this fight in three, two, one, fight. All right, there they go. Mimic versus Charcuterie Board. Charcuterie Board using the power of being a brick, and Mimic using the power of saliva. Two minutes and 37 seconds remaining on the clock as uh, Charcuterie Board and Mimic try to push each other one to another. One pushing the other, the other turning around. Two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock as Charcuterie Board gets Mimic pinned up against the wall. But is it actually Mimic or is it just a treasure chest? The answer 
will probably not surprise you. Two minutes and 10 seconds remaining on the clock. Oh, uh, but Mimic is just sitting there, trying to look like a treasure chest, I would imagine. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Our winner is Charcuterie Board. Charcuterie Board, there it is. Charcuterie Board goes forward, Mimic has been defeated. And Charcuterie Board then collects all the loot. That is the match. Looks like we have, do we have a cake batter load? I can't see. I guess I could see if I go over there. Oh, still can. All right, we've got cake batter and their opponent. Better and littering and who is that guy? Who's that guy? Cake batter versus whomst have we? Cake batter versus looks like this is late. That one. Naughty list, that's who it is. Naughty list versus cake batter. There we go. Or is it going to be naughty list versus or who? All right, we got Naughty List versus who do we got over here? We've got Morb. 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 Not, not Orb. I did say Orb. You're right. Not Or. Uh huh. Not B. Okay. Morb. Morb. Like that? Exactly like ah, that. Nailed it. Awesome. All right, Morb. Bah. Are you ready? Morb is not ready. Now they're going to make me do it every time, though. That's the problem. Robert mistyped Goober one time, and now I have to say Go Oob all the time. Go Oob. I, yeah, I know. I know. It's Robert's fault. All right, I think Attackums and Pancake are ready to run, and we're going to come right over there as soon as this match is done. Okay. But we're going to give more one more chance to turn on. Here we go. All right, more, but we're going to hope that Morb is 105%. Morb it up. It's, oh, it's Morbin time. That's right. It is Morbin time. I have some intense morbidity over this. Oof. All right. All right. Morb is, Morb has got nothing, he says. Aww. All right. He's going to have to do a post-morbum. Yeah. Mm. All right. So we're post-morbing this match. Yeah, fair enough. All right. But, folks, we've got a fairy match all ready to go. We've got Attackums and Pancake already in the arena for your entertainment. Ooh. So if we can direct folks' attention over to the fairy weight arena. Attackums, closest to your screen. Taking up a lot of real estate here. All right. But Jeremy will move this out. Versus who's the other one? All right. Pancake. Pan Pancake, are you ready? Pancake, there we go. Pancake, are you ready? Pancake is ready. Uh, Attackums, Attack is it ready? All right, we're going to start this fight in. Th uh, Pong, count us in. <laughs> On your mark, get set, and fight. There we go. Two minutes on the clock. Attack them spinning up. Pancake had to make some emergency repairs, but a Pancake got in the arena and their weapon is spinning and manages to knock Attackums back. That weapon on Pancake looks vicious, 
And it is made out of a unique material, not usually found in fairy weights. Oh, and Pancake is back driving again. They go. get their wheels free. Uh, attack them, trying to get lined up. And it's interesting, the very deliberate driving style shown by attack em's in this match. Um, the pit will be coming down in 25 seconds. Attack -ums. And I think, I think Jeremy has not in, has, oh, and we've cut the weapon apart uh -oh. on Pancake. All right, now this may not be good. All right, so we're gonna see if these robots can get free. Pit's coming down in All nine. Right, there goes Attackums. Seven. So Attackums breaking the log jam there. And three. It's interesting two, to see Jeremy try to drive this robot in a controlled fashion. Down goes the I don't think it's pit. really designed for that. But Attackums tearing a wheel off of Pancake. Pancake still got one wheel left, but we're gonna have to count Pancake out unless we see some mobility in ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two. All right, that's not quite enough. We need to see more mobility in five, four, three, two, one. Our winner is Attackums. And there it is. Oh. <laughs> and Attackums goes forward. All right, George, George, you need to not drive like that next time. All right, that was all the George influence, I can tell. <laughs> the Georgian school of driving. <laughs> got the hook, even. All right, we've got a 12-pound fight. And, Ryan, will you remind me of the name of your robot? All right, we've got corned beef. And, folks, I want to point out, we did have a yellow robot and a purple robot in the corner for quite a while in the last match. And the fact that there's a yellow and purple robot in this match is not related to that event at all. We've got Corn Beef up against Orbital Bombardment. Uh, folks, we're going to ask everybody to take a big step back. We can't have hands or anything on the polycarb. Hands, hats, if you're touching polycarb with any part of your body, if you are banging your head against the arena, if you are touching the arena, we can't start the match. So we're waiting for everybody to pull their children, body parts, uh, other paraphernalia back away from the arena because we have a safety hazard if something hits the arena and causes the panels to move. All right. Orbital Bombardment, are you ready? Corned Beef, are you ready? All right, Pong, take it away! Orbital Bombardment versus Corned Beef. On your mark, get set, and fight! All Here. right, Corned Beef moving out. Orbital Bombardment trying to use it. Oh, it's got, a, it's got something happening with this weapon. We saw it move. But Corned Beef deciding to bully Orbital Bombardment around. And here we go, Corn Beef lining up, trying to get into Orbital Bombardment here, and gets under him, takes him to the wall, and takes him to the other wall, almost getting Orbital Bombardment upside down, but at the last moment, Orbital Bombardment dancing free, and Orbital Bombardment trying to use its powerful slamming weapon, and there seems to be a screwdriver that came shooting out of the robot. <laughs> Oops. So we're wondering why Orbital Bombardment had a screwdriver in their robot. That was interesting. It's the first time I see someone try to sneak a shank in, but uh, here it is. All right, leaving tools in your robot is a common strategy. Huh. All right, so uh, Corn Beef has got Orbital Bombardment upside down. Uh -oh, okay. And we're going to have to count Orbital Bombardment out if they can't show motion in 10, 9, 8... Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and our winner is Corned Beef. And Corned Beef takes the win. And there's the uh, there's the uh, illegal uh, accoutrement left in the uh, left in the robot there. So if you were wondering where you put that, it's right there. There's got to be someone being like, man, where's the, where's the hex driver? Ah, dang it. It's right there. All right, that, that does make our top 50 list of interesting things found in a robot. I'll go along with that, yeah. Uh, I would say on the top of that list for me is uh, a pound of bacon. We once saw that come out of a robot. Really? Yeah, that was, that was uh, a robot that 
had nothing to do with bacon in its name, but we were surprised. Uh, let's see, what else have we seen come How out ejected out of robots? Um, so frozen peas? Yeah, we saw frozen peas come out of a robot once. I have so many questions. Uh, we saw a big lighter come shooting out of a robot once. Okay, that'll happen. That, I was, can see that. that will happen. Yep. All right. Uh, but right now, we've got an exciting ant weight fight queued up. And we're looking for cake batter and beta decay. All right. Both these robots are here. We're so thankful for that. We're thankful for the driver for cake batter making it back from lunch. And we're thankful that beta decay, his eye is no longer the size of a pumpkin. Oh, no. Guess I missed something earlier. Well, this is a hazardous sport. It right? is. So, it is. Uh, you know, he had had a little mishap involving uh, some shrapnel in the eye, but a quick ver ver visit to the restroom marked with a brown triangle, uh, and all was good. <laughs> sure. I don't know. Folks, gonna we are going to be wrapping up the photo booth in about 20 minutes. So if you need to get photos of your robot, and you do, mm -hmm. because apparently he's only taken photos of 36 robots, <gasps> and there are 54 robots here. So we have a few robots that need to get their pictures taken. Don't be shy. If your robot is a wreck, you can just bring the pieces in, in a dustpan, put them in there, he'll take a picture. You can have it for posterity. 20 minutes until the photo booth closes. All right, cake batter, are you ready? All right. So we generally recommend that people put the name of their robot clearly on their robot, mm -hmm. and we put it on the side they want up. Sometimes people even label it this side up, but then their robot is called this side up by the MC for the mm. rest of the event. Yeah, that's no good. All right, we've got cake batter up against... That guy. Beta Decay. All right. Beta Decay, are you ready? Beta Decay is ready. Cake Batter, are you ready? All right. We're going to start this fight in three, two, one, fight. All right, Cake Batter spinning up. No weapon from Beta Decay yet. Cake batter trying to line up and deliver a big hit on the wall. Okay, headed towards their opponent, chasing their opponent. Beta Decay doing a lot of running away. I think we might change the name. We might call it <laughs> Run Away. Beta, beta Away. Yep. All right. Uh, I think there's there's a, a, a name for that nuclear process uh, when you have run away nuclear fission. Mm. Meltdown? It is. It's yep. called Meltdown. There you go. All right. So... Cake Batter getting some hits on Beta Decay. Beta Decay, again, another big hit by Cake Batter. Cake Batter trying to pursue and sending Beta Decay way up in the air. Two minutes remaining on the clock. All right, Beta Decay decides it's weapon time. We're going to see how much this weapon can do. See if we can get into some of those tasty, tasty foam wheels. Mm. Not so much. I think Cake Batter may have other ideas there. All right, Beta Decay sent flying. Beta Decay, we need to see some movement in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Our winner is Cake Batter. And there it is. Cake Batter takes the win. All right, we've got a 12-pound fight all queued up. In the 12 pound arena. That's a good place for it. We've got Creature up against canned beef. The Creature. Corned beef. Is it corned beef? Canned beef? Where is the. Uh, no. no. All right, corned beef. Are you ready? Corned beef is ready. Creature, are you ready? The creature is ready. All right, Pong, take it away. That's what I always say. On your mark, get set, and fight. Off they go. The creature is indeed ready. Screaming out of the gate. Here it goes. A nice flip from the creature. 
on canned beef or canned meat. Corned beef. Corned beef. I knew I'd get it eventually. When somebody told me, uh-oh. Creature might be stuck. As the creature... creature manages to break free. All right. You can't cage the creature. That's what I always say. Two minutes and 30 seconds remaining on the clock. Corned beef has been flipped upside down. Hopefully the juices don't run out. Five, four, three, two, one. Backing off. Back off, creature. Back off a full body length. Back, there creature. We go. Back. Two minutes and 15 seconds remaining. The creature stalking its corned beef. Corned beef running creature to the Creature going for a pin in the corner for five, four, three, two, one. Backing off. All right, creature, we need to see some motion. Creature helped out from the corner a little bit by the by corned beef. Corned beef trying to push uh, the creature back into the corner. Creature getting its lifters involved here as we got a minute and 30 seconds. As we round the final half of this match. Corned beef lining up the shot on creature who's looking at the flowers. Minute and 15 seconds remaining on the clock. Maybe, you know, if you move that fast. Hey, there you go. Yeah, we have movement again. Minute and five seconds remaining on the clock. Creature again stalling out. Your creature forgot the item he was holding. There's an old one for you. 50, 53 seconds remaining on the clock. A little attempted flip there by creature. And the corned beef comes back down. Thirty-eight seconds remaining on the clock. It appears as though this one's going to go the distance, unless creatures are still moving. Screw the creature is still moving. All right, twenty seconds remaining on the clock. 20 seconds left, folks. We're counting down to the final seconds in the match. And it goes a little something. We need to see some motion from Corn Beef like in this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Our winner is Creature. And that is the match. The Creature takes it he, as he absconds with the Corn Beef back to his lair. And it says, what is corned beef, anyway? Let's get some music to, co to ponder corned beef by. There we go. Hmm, corned beef. Hey, disc one of five is, uh, is entered. Well, looks like we've got uh, Disc 1 of 5 has joined us. Thank you so much for joining us today. Really appreciate you. Um, I believe it. That did go to a judge's decision, didn't it? Oh, he got counted out. Hmm. Is there a mason around? We have a, uh, we have a question. Can I see a mason? I hear a mason. Can I see one?
Okay, so for those of you in the chat who are wondering what the uh, what the deal was with that last one, so there are two timers, and they are they have they have a timer there, and also I've I've been informed that a ten count is a ten count, not necessarily ten seconds. Uh, so if it had gone the distance, if it had gone to the judges, it would have been ruled that way, uh, in the same way. So I don't think it would have material material changed materially changed the results of that out uh, of the outcome there. But uh, just wanted to like let you guys know that I did ask, and uh, and I did get confirmation that that was the way that it went. So there you go. Now you know. Oh, I still have that going on. I gotta get rid of that thing. The music is not provided by Lo-Fi Girl. Coming up matches, upcoming matches, we got IMAX versus Neutrino, Obliterator versus Rainbow Connection, Can Meet, Can Meet in My Heels tonight, versus Creature, uh, Penguin Clubber versus Katu, I believe it's coming up next. We also have Dino Nuggies and Warm Hug, Meat Tornado versus Charcuterie Board, Morb versus Naughty List, Meteor. Morb, if you are going to be ready, this would be the time. You're eating a piece of pizza. You're giving up on Morb. Don't give up on Okay, Morb. so we have Naughty List over Morb. So we need Penguin Clubber and Katu to the arena right now. Pe Penguin Clubber is here. Penguin Clubber is clubbing. Penguin Clubber is penguining. We need Katu, Daniel. So Daniel, please bring Katu to the arena. Katu is going into the arena right now. We also need IMAX and Neutrino. We've been giving IMAX as much time as we could. I'm looking for Parks. Parks is madly working. He's getting over here. He's going to be ready right after this fight. And then we're going to be going to see U.S. Slay and Naughty List. That'll be our next fight. So we have Penguin Clubber Katu loading into the arena. Then IMAX Neutrino, followed by U.S. Slay and Naughty List. And who is that? All right, so we've got Katu back and ready to go. We've got Penguin Clubber back and ready and been ready and full of penguin and full of clubbing. All right, so we're going to get you guys to all All right, will the penguin join the club? Will the pool be closed? Will Synthwave be Katu? I guess Katu is Katu. The answer just may surprise you, or will it? All right, so the only people back here are referees and so on. All right, so we've got a much better view now. 
All right. So, Penguin Clubber, are you ready? ready. Penguin Clubber is ready. Katu, are you ready? All right, we're going to start this fight. Pong, count us in. On your mark, get set, and fight. All right, Penguin Club with a little bit of a false start. Katu still having drive side problems, and but bouncing off of Penguin Clubber. So Katu with only one drive side, really showing some poor mobility right from the start. But Penguin Clubber trying to get something going here. Penguin Clubber taking some pops by from Katu. Katu may be stuck now. Does Penguin Clubber have a pin for five, four, three, two, one? And we need to, you got to back up Penguin Clubber, back up one full robot length, one full, a whole robot length. You got to go back a whole robot length. All right, that'll do. We're going to count Katu out in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. Our winner is Penguin Clubber. That, so Penguin Clubber over Katu. And that is the match. All right. We're going to get our next ant weight match queued up here. But I believe Zach has a fairy weight match all queued up for us in the arena over there. Let's go see what he's got in the arena. Let's get some, let's see what uh, in that arena he's going on here. There we go. It's nice having music for every occasion. You know, just about anything that could possibly happen. I've got the right song for it. It's good. <laughs> Better attack him. Bot Zerker has joined the chat. Hey, welcome, Bot. Yeah, we got multiple arenas. Absolutely, three arenas at this event. Yep. Let's see, by me, yeah, absolutely no problem. Oh, uh, we do have uh, links to the scoreboard. I think, uh, did we already get those in the chat? Oh, we did, yeah, excellent, awesome. I'm still catching up with chat there, sorry. All right, question. Yeah, actually, big thanks to uh, to Tim today. Tape Tech Tim is ready? running all three okay. cameras, plus an additional camera for the overhead. All right, we've got Neutrino here. Ben, which one? Yeah, Neutrino is going to load in, and we're going to get IMAX. So please get in the arena. Over here, okay. All right, we've got some robots in the arena. I've got Neutrino in here. We're going to go get IMAX right now. Let's get IMAX. Here we go. All right, IMAX is together. He is shoving the two pieces together. All right. IMAX is a thing of beauty. The two pieces are put together. It's never been better. He's even going to put a screw in it. But we hmm. need Titan and this Super Peewee will be next. Meteor and Attackums, Dino Nuggets, Warm Hug, and Obliterator and Rainbow Connection. We need those eight fairies to report to the fairy weight queuing area. Meanwhile, we're walking. I
next to the arena. He's got a screw in it, that's enough. All right, this is IMAX's chance at redemption. He's going up against the fearsome Neutrino. Excuse me. Bless you. All right, IMAX has got a powerful overcutting blade. Neutrino has a powerful vertical upcutting blade. We're gonna see which one of these two robots is gonna take it all. One of these robots will advance. The other one will prepare for the rumble. Neutrino in their second fight ever. Neutrino in their second fight ever. IMAX has got a brand new wheel just cut on the laser cutter in the makerspace during the event. Mm. All right, that smell you, you smelt coming from that area was not horses, it was not pigs. It was... Me. Polypropylene being oh. cut with a laser. No, Pong does not smell like that. No, I don't. I don't. That's a vicious rumor. It's a much earthier smell. Thank you. What? <laughs> All right. Uh, IMAX is going to try and do a quick reset. It did move, and we were really excited about that. It was great. No, that was that was good stuff. The fact that it moved was was shocking, exciting, and somewhat surprising. All right, it needs some percussive maintenance. Now these robots have already taken their time out. All right, he's gonna attempt to effect some on-field repairs here. All right, remember, we're looking for some other robots cleared up and Zach is carefully going to be safetying this robot. We need U.S. Slay at the arena. The U.S. Slay, I need to see it queued up here. So I should see U.S. Slay queued up here. I should see Naughty List queued up here. Cake Batter should be queued up. Antide should be queued up. Subdivision and Golden Smurf. So we should see all of these robots on this table right now. Right meow. Right now, so I'm seeing U.S. Slay coming ahead. That's great. All right, U.S. Slay is here. Naughty List is rushing to the table because they are queued up in the very next fight up against U.S. Slay. Cake Batter. Cake Batter is heading to the queuing table. And so is Antide. All right, I'm glad to see Subdivision has arrived. Subdivision is here. And we are looking. I see Antide coming. Perfect. And we're looking for Golden Smurf. Golden Smurf is approaching the arena. All right. All right, we're gonna have to run it. Hopefully he'll he'll knock it free once it starts going. All right, so we've got IMAX and Neutrino. Pong, take it away. IMAX versus Neutrino, on your mark. Get set and fight. All right, IMAX moving out. Neutrino trying to move out. Right, Neutrino looks pretty vicious here. IMAX oh. is deciding where he wants to take that hit. All right, right, he's there. got him. He's got him. IMAX has got into Neutrino, got him in the corner, and he's got him bullied into the corner. All right, IMAX with his spinning wheels of doom. Uh, they don't appear to be spinning anymore, though. All right, so IMAX has knocked out the weapon on Neutrino. All right, so IMAX showing incredible control. Oh, but Neutrino pushing IMAX around the arena. Two minutes and 20 seconds remaining. All right, can IMAX bully Neutrino? All right, and the two robots dancing around in the corner. Hard to say who's pinning who. Looks like Neutrino pushing IMAX around.
All right, we're hoping to see some aggression from these robots here. And IMAX delivering another one of their spinning wheel hits uh, <laughs> on the wall. And IMAX trying to get lined up. Looks like IMAX having some mobility issues. Okay, I've been told to just drive. We might have a pin by IMAX here. Oh, but Neutrino breaking the pin. Neutrino backing into IMAX. All right, and we have a pin by Neutrino for five, four, three, two, one. Backing off, backing off. So Neutrino backing off. IMAX Ooh. is sort of stuck in the corner is here. IMAX stuck in the corner? Oh, looks like they're free. IMAX breaking free. Yep. One minute remaining on the clock. Neutrino pushing on IMAX a little bit. Alright, so wishful thinking by IMAX. <laughs> that is a pin, it is. Sure. I'll give you that one, but you gotta hold it. For five, four, up, oh, he breaks the pin. The pin is back. Five, four, three, two, one, and backing off. So IMAX with its first pin of the day. All right. And we've got 25 seconds remaining on the clock. Oh, and that may be it. Can Neutrino get out of that position? Uh oh. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Show some motion, IMAX. 1. And our winner is IMAX. With a razor thin six seconds remaining on the clock. Plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> well, All apparently right. it wasn't. Neutrino unable to get back up, and, uh, and Neutrino goes down. All right, so we're going to load in U.S. Slay and Naughty List. So let's get U.S. Slay into the arena. We're going to go get Naughty List right now. I'm probably on it. That's not true. It might be true. I don't know. All right, congratulations, U.S. Slay. Naughty List is not able to continue, so U.S. Slay will move on. Congratulations. So Aww. we're going to load in Golden Smurf. We're going to load in Golden Smurf and Subdivision. Let's get those robots in the arena. But we're, while they're waiting for them to load, we're going to load an exciting fairy match. What's that? All right, let's get this bench out of here, guys. Hmm? All right, Jeremy, are you in this bench? If you are, I'll turn it this way so you can sit on it. Everybody else can enjoy how, much, how comfortable Jeremy is. Or you could sit behind him if you so choose. All right. All right, we've got Attackums up against... I thought I had a match. Man, Tackums has been just back to back to back to back. He's been a he's been a busy little fan. Find the robot. Hey, I found it. Hey, there he is. All is right, we're gonna make sure the pit is closed. All right, looks like it is, and we're gonna we're going to. Uh, have Zach operate the pit. Z Zach is a renowned pit operator. I'd heard um, that about He he really is. Uh, I think actually Logan might be a better pit operator, but he's biased in this particular match. Uh, so we'll we'll go with our second best pit operator. All right. So Meteor, are you ready? Attackums, are you ready? All right, Pong, count us in. On your mark, get set, and fight. And off they Attackums go. Attackums trying to spin up, and Attackums trying to show some control in these in these fights, and Meteor trying to line itself up for a big hit on the leg of Attackums. All right, and a pop by Meteor on Attackums. Attackums having trouble with sync issues on their their prop, and it looks like they've got it synced. And a nice hit by Attackums on Meteor. Meteor flipping itself back over.
Is that a pin? I'd say it's a pin. Oh, then Attackums breaks the pin. All right, we're going to be opening the pit in another 10 seconds. Six. Nice pop five, by Meteor. Four. Three. Two. One. And down goes the pit. All right, the pit is now open. We have 50 seconds remaining Meteor on the clock. Meteor lining up for another nice little pop on the leg of Attackums. Both robots perilously close. And we're going to see if Attackums can show motion, but right now Meteor's caught up with them. So we're going to see Meteor pushing him into the corner. We're going to start counting. 10, 9, 8. I, I, I agree, that's motion. All right. So Attackums showing some semblance of motion. 30 seconds remaining in the fight. 20 seconds now. 20 seconds. We see smoke coming out of Attackums. And Meteor, so distracted by the smoke cloud emitted from Attackums that he drives into the pit with oh. 10 seconds left in the match. Our winner is Attackums by Ninja Strategy. <laughs> All right. The you smoke bomb worked again. You can't fight what isn't there, you know? All right, folks, final call for photos. Final call for the photo booth. The photo booth is closing. If you don't get your photo booth photos taken right now, the photo booth will close. And then what are you, where are you going to be? Just sitting around without a photo like a silly person. You don't want that. People will point and laugh. They'll be like, <laughs> look at that guy. Doesn't have any photos. Pfft, loser. See, don't do that. Don't let that be you. Go get your photos taken. Come on. What are you doing? Come on. Hey, what are you doing over there? Hey, go get your photo taken. Hey, forget about it. All right. We've got two, two robots loaded in right now. We've got... Golden Smurf and Golden Smurf versus Titan Super Pee Wee, huh? Dino Nuggets Warm Hug, O Bladderator, and Rainbow Connection. Please report to the Fairy Arena. All right. Oh, we need to go back over here. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, Golden Smurf is queued up on the purple side. And... Subdivision is on the yellow side, driven by Lauren. Subdivision, are you ready? All right, Subdivision is ready. Golden Smurf, are you ready? All right, Golden Smurf had a explosive... Uh, Belt. I would say belt. I would say it was more than a belt. It's like a shaft. An explosive weapon axle last time. Explosive uh, shaft. An explosive shaft. That is not something you want to advertise. Yeah. All right. They have pictures of that in the medical textbooks. Mm -hmm. My uncle had that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, All big, right. Big so pills. Big pills. Let's, let's not have any more exploding shafts this time yeah. for either robot, let's hope. Fair enough. All right. We have both teams ready. Pong, count us in. All right. On your mark. Get set. And fight. Off they go. Both Golden of them Smurf. spinning up. And a giant uh -oh. hit. And we had an exploding shaft. Oh my gosh, it's happened again. All right, your uncle would be proud. <laughs> and we yes. have a tap out. Tap, a tap out. out. Our that winner is, is. Long Division. Long Division. There Congratulations it is. to a robot name I can remember. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Long division. Okay, how are All we? Right. You think we're not going to go back and see the see the slow mo there on the on the TV screen? You can see it right there. Boom! There you go. Somebody somebody's trying to make my thumbnail for me. I think right there. That one right there. Maybe. Boom! They go flying across the arena. Parts go flying, and it looks like uh, looks like Golden Smurf took the took the hard part of that one. Still moving though. You got to give it to him. And then there's another hit right there, and I think that's the one that that really. Really took the jam out of his donut right there. He's like, no, 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 I'm still good. I'm still good. Okay, I'm second thought. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm still good. All right, we've got Ant Hide and Cake Batter loading into the arena. Penguin Clubber and IMAX. Penguin, 
Penguin Clubber clubbing in the club. We need Penguin Clubber and IMAX, Cake Batter and Ant Hide. Our next match is Cake Batter and Ant Hide. Recursive clubbing. So nobody did. Uh, nobody flipped upside down in that last one. You know, it was the first time for everything. You know. Oh, did you? So that was the one with the big. No, anti. So you already fought the. In the video. That's right now. Apparently, the belt is completely missing. Apparently, uh, I do have the instant replay, but I, I, I'm pretty sure it was flying way too fast for us to track it. Oh, there it is. Yeah. It's No, it's there. Yeah, that's the belt right there. Can I see that from here maybe? Yeah, not very well. You can just barely see it peeking up over the edge there, the little nub on the side there. That would happen to be a uh, uh, golden smurfs. You've got it? Oh, there. You go. Let me come back to you there. There you go right there. Perfect. Yeah, that's golden smurfs belt right there. That reminds me, when we were in uh, in Arizona, uh, Little Ragnarok lost one of its counterweights. They didn't find it for like four weeks. It fell out of the arena later on. Oh, four months. It was four months. You're right. You're right. Yeah, that was last June, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That short actually is up on uh, up on our website. It's the one where uh, Little Ragnarok hit my camera. That's up on our YouTube, youtube.com forward slash sinshop. Uh, but yeah, no, sometimes sometimes parts go everywhere, and, uh, and this one was no exception right there. Looks like we got Ant Hyde loading up. Ant Hyde's fighting against whom? Do we know? Against, oh, against Cake Batter. Okay, awesome. All right, we've got Obliterator and Warm Hugs? Rainbow, Rainbow Connection. Connection. Rainbow, Rainbow Connection, Connection in one, the arena. One day we'll find it. The Rainbow Connection. The Lovers. <laughs> All right, we've got Rainbow Connection on the red side. We've got Obliterator on the blue side. Obliterator, why are you rocking from leg to leg? Oh, it's in the name of the robot. All right. <laughs> and Rainbow Connection, are you ready? Rainbow Connection is ready. Pong, take us in. All right. On your mark, get set, and fight. Here we go. All right, so Obliterator coming out strong, but... Rainbow Connection trying to line themselves up. They've put new googly eyes on the robot, and Obliterator, of course, with just one googly eye. So we've got a Cyclops googly eye versus a double googly eye in, and Rainbow Connection going for the pin, but Obliterator still able to drive him around. Great grab by Rainbow Connection. Oh, and there's the pin. All right, so they're gonna take him on a quick arena tour, but Obliterator breaking free. Rainbow Connection trying to get lined up on a Bladderator, but a Bladderator being very aggressive. Oh, and a nice grab by a Bladderator, but by Rainbow Connection. Uh oh. And Rainbow Connection pulling one of the wheels off of a Bladderator as we get ready to open the pit in five seconds. The pit is opening. All right, the pit is now open. So Rainbow Connection trying to go into that pit, going for the pin. They've got the pin for five, four, three, two, one, and they're letting go. A bladderator trying to get away, and here comes Rainbow Connection again, trying to head towards the pit. But a, but Rainbow Connection has driven into the pit before. They're nervous about this, and they're going to go for a pin for five, four, three, two, one, and backing off. So a bladderator stuck in the corner, but still showing motion. Rainbow Connection not showing the level of aggression we need to see. All right, Rainbow Aggression trying to line up and going for a reverse pin for five, four, 
three, two, one. We come down to the final seconds in this match. Five, four, Five, three, four, three two. two, one. And that's our match. All right, and, and Bridget not going into the pit. We've got a 12 pound match all queued up. And then we're gonna run an ant weight match. We need to see Penguin Clubber in the arena. Let's get some Penguin Clubber music going on here. I think that'll work. We have a unanimous judge's decision for Rainbow Connection. There it is. Rainbow Connection moves forward. We've got a 12 pound fight all set up. We've got Known Avenger versus their opponent, the fiercely weaponized, incredibly powerful. Carl. Meet Tornado. That was my second guess. Dang it. Oh, it's Chikuri Board. That's Jakuter. All right. So, Jakuter board, you are ready. Meat Tornado, are you ready? Pong, take us in. All right. Jakuter board versus Meat Tornado. On your back. Get set and fight. All right. Jakuter board has just stuck themselves on the arena. Whoops. No, go. You don't win. You got to go unstick him, George. Could just get him out. You got this. All right, that was exciting. He did not have this. All right, so we're going to reset the match. We're going to have Meat Tornado <laughs> drive all the way back to the other side. So let's do that. And Charcuterie Board is going to get unstuck. We're going to restart there. We're resetting completely. Yeah, if you'll yeah. reset the three-minute timer for us, Paul. You bet. I can. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was an interesting start there. All right, Pong, count us in. All right, on your mark, get set, and fight. All right, Here three minutes on the clock. Hey, with the right way. Charcuterie board driving in the correct direction this time. There we go. Meet Tornado not showing their previous level of driving acumen. Mm. I think it's because he's sitting down. <laughs> so if he were standing up and I had my chair back, he would be doing a much. Oh, look at his performance has increased tenfold. Look at that. His driving skill has escalated massively uh, until it and did. charcuterie look at that as soon as he stood up he managed to stick charcuterie board in an unescapable position as we count charcuterie board out in 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 our winner is meet tornado all right. Oh, look at that spin. Congratulations to Meat Tornado moving onward. And Charcuterie Board is getting ready for the rumble. <laughs> All right. That is some mighty fine zooming you got there. That's, that, is, that is some excessive. That's almost an offensive amount of zooming, but I think we should let it go. <laughs> you got four of them. <laughs> He's like, I got four of them, so you're going to have to start liking it. Good stuff. <laughs> the least are sort of gross. The forks indeed. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be coming over to the Antweight Arena. The hexagon, which is apparently the best hexagon I see. Oh, I don't, I don't need any introduction on these. We got a cake batter there. And we got an ant hide. I know that truck. He ain't no stranger. All right, there. All right, we've got Super Pee Wee and Titan right, here we in go. the field. Let's get Titan and Super Pee Wee into the arena. 
I'm going to see if they're loaded into the arena over here. Do we have a match ready to run? I think got, we do. We got Ant Hide and a Cake Batterer. I've got Ant Hide and Cake Batterer. He does. Oh my gosh. So I much know. battering. So much cake. So much cake. So much cake. All right. Hmm. Cake Batterer, are you, are you, how are you doing? <laughs> All right. That's close enough. You can stop there. That's good. All right. Ant Hyde, are you ready? Cake batter, you're, you're good for now. All right. Pong, count us in. All right. On your mark. Get set and fight. Both Off. robots spinning up. Cake batter will start driving a lot better now. There we Look go. at that. Cake batter driving fantastic. And a oh. giant hit by Antide in the middle of the arena. But Cake Batterer shrugs it off. That's what Cake Batterer needed. And a nice little pop by Cake Batterer sending Antide flying around the arena. All right. Cake Batterer trying to line it up, tussling around with Antide in the corner. Antide bouncing off the arena. And here comes Cake Batterer trying to line it up. And Antide up and over, chewing on the wheels of Cake Batterer. But Cake Batterer undeterred, sending Antide flying into the air. Cake batter attacking everything in sight. All right, oh, and a nice hit by Antide on the back of Cake batter. Cake batter right side up now. All right, and we have uh -oh. a robot whisking a wheel. Uh -oh, it took me a minute, but it's Antide missing that wheel. Yep, that's Antide. All right, so Antide shoots the wheel. We have a full uh, four, we four wall collision with that wheel. Uh, Antide still showing motion. Cake batter deciding to give Antide a chance over here. Another nice pop, and we uh -oh. have a a an inversion, oh, and he go. powers down and gets himself out of it. All right, but nice pop by Cake batter, and another nice pop by Cake batter, and Antide going for a top attack on Cake batter. We have a minute and thirty remaining. Nice hit by Cake batter on Antide. Antide still sticking with it though. Antide looking very durable. Cake batter also have been taking some big hits. Early on in the match, this was all Antide, but Cake Batter has started to turn it around in the last 30 seconds with another big hit by Cake Batter. Cake Batter removing that wheel, which is a really decisive hit. And another big hit. And oh. the second wheel. All right. So Antide, we're gonna need to see some motion. It looks like Antide's still moving. All right, Antide's still able to move. And <laughs> We're showing really good aggression. So this is all anti right now. <laughs> all right, so Cake Batter, you've got your work cut out for you. Oh man, a giant hit delivered. It's but a scratch. Cake Batter continuing to dominate the fight, but anti not giving up. Anti showing incredible mobility. He's got the heart Better of a champion. Than many of our un I don't think you should put wheels on the next version. <laughs> all right, so 30 seconds it's remaining. almost like bristles without the bristles. All right, so Antide just put bouncing some around, on. showing nice control. Cake Batter unable to get the pin on the wildly gyrating Antide. Antide flipped over, and that might be it. We're going to cant him out in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Our winner is Cake Batterer! As if the other one wasn't enough, there was one second remaining on the clock. One second Always on the clock. Always try to keep it close for those watching the stream. Absolutely. All right, great job by both teams. We're gonna get this arena clear and we've got another exciting fairyweight match to run over at the fairyweight arena. We've got Meteor and Titan. We've got Super Pee Wee loaded in. Super Pee Wee versus Titan. All right, Super Pee Wee, are you ready? All right, Titan, are you ready? All right, we're gonna start this fight. Pong, count us in. On your mark, get set, and fight. Here we go, Super Pee Wee versus Titan. Titan immediately getting onto Super Pee Wee and putting him in the corner. Not able to get his weapon on him, but get a little bit of a pin for five, four, three, two, one. All right, and backing off, so Titan backing off, but Super Peewee breaks the pin, gets a pin of his own, grabbing Titan and lifting him off. So Super Peewee with a pin for five, four, three, two, one. With one minute on the clock, Zach needs to open the gate right now. Uh. All right. <laughs> sure. 
Pong, we've got a time call. What is our current time lap? Uh, two minutes, and, uh, sorry, one minute and 12 seconds remaining Pins. on the clock. We're going to open the pit in 10, there we go. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. The pit is opening. There we go. All right, the pit is now open. Super Pee Wee is showing the highest level of chivalry, gallantry, and overall gentlemanship. Wow. We think he's got something wrong with his brain. This isn't the man we know. He's an officer right. and a gentleman. All right. So, Titan pushing against Super Pee Wee. Super Pee Wee, we need to see some motion. As someone shouted, we, why aren't you moving? In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, our winner is... Titan! And that is the match. There's your winner right there, Titan. <laughs> All right, great job by Titan. All right, we've got a 12-pound match queued up here. We've got the amazing Full Court up against their opponent, Known Avenger. I know that guy. Full Court, are you ready? All right, Known Avenger is ready. Full Court, are you ready? All right, Full Court is ready. All right, we're going to start this fight. Count us in, Pong. On your mark, get set, and fight. Full Court Both robots versus going Known right at it Avenger. in the middle. Full Court is a big pushing match, but Full Court getting the advantage and going for a pin for five, four, three, two, one, backing off. All right, Full Court backing off, and here comes Known Avenger. Known Avenger trying to get under Full Court, but Full Court using its swing around and pin and trying to get the pin, but both robots locked up. Full Court trying to pin, and we've got the pin for five, four, three, two, one. Backing off, so Full Court trying to back off, and they, the robots have broken free, so Known Avenger trying to get around Full Court, and Full Court just awfully big to get around. Here comes Full Court lining up, but Known Avenger dodging out of the way. Known Avenger trying to get into a different angle so they don't get stuck on those forks of Full Court. Full Court going into the corner for another pin, but Known Avenger showing some terrific traction, pushing Full Court out of the way, breaking the pin. Here comes... Known full court, full court lining up for the pin. Known Avenger pushing back and forth, and we've got a pin for five, four, three, two, one. Backing off and going for another pin for five, four. Oh, and we've broken the pin. We're at the halfway point in this match. The two robots jockeying for position in the middle of the arena. We've got one minute and 15 seconds remaining on the clock. And full court and known Avenger. We've got a pin for five, four, three, two, one. Full court is backing off. One minute remaining. All right. The robots have disengaged and full court trying to get another pin with one minute left in the match. We've got 40 seconds remaining on the clock as this thing winds down. 35 seconds remaining. Full court with Full the court pin. Full court trying for the pin, but Known Avenger driving out of it. 25 seconds left in the match. All right, it looks like this is probably gonna go the distance here. And it's all going to start in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that is all right. the match. That's our match, folks. This is going to go to a judge's decision. Judges are deliberating over there. Take a look real quick here and see what we've got coming up. 
We got a Penguin Clubber versus IMAX. Dino Nuggies versus Warm Hug. Canned Meat versus Creature. Magnitude, Pop Pop versus Obake. Null versus Rainbow Connection. No, that's not Null. Somebody should name a bot Null because they'd appear in all, all kinds of things. There's others is what I'm trying to say. We have a unanimous decision for Full Court. There it is. Full Court is your winner. Where are we headed to next? Could it be the fairies? Could it be the ants? Could we be going back to these guys? The answer just may surprise you. Or will it? I don't know. Maybe. I'm sorry? He doesn't even know. That guy doesn't know. Oh, looks like we're going to the fairy arena. All right, we're going over to the fairy arena, according hey. to Pong. I was right. So I see warm hugs over here. Aww. I see their opponent, Dino Nuggets. This is exciting. And we are looking for, in the Antweight arena. We were hoping to see Penguin Clubber. Never get enough of that. The penguins do. Up against IMAX. They're kind of done with it. Penguin Clubber and IMAX we're going to need to see. See if we can sort out who this next one's gonna be here. Oh, uh, it's Dino Nuggies versus Warm Hug. That's right. All right, we're looking for Magnitude and Obake, mm -hmm. Sarian and Chopper, Striker and Night Force, Counter Punch and Lopper. Please report to the queuing area. IMAX, you have 15 minutes left on your timer. Right. Well, real quick, uh, real quick. I just wanted to let you know uh, if you like what you see here, we're going to be uh, taking this show on the road yet again in a, about three weeks. We're going to be out at uh, maybe I'm not. Oh, I'm not going to be able to push that button. There I am. Yeah, cool. We're going to be at Arc Robo Rumble June 15th in Tempe, Arizona. Uh, that is, of course, going to be live right here at twitch.tv forward slash sin shop and youtube.com forward slash sin shop. So make sure you check that out June 15th. That is three weeks away. I'll be there. Caleb will be there. I see you. Other people will be there. Will you be there? You gonna be there? You'll be there. You'll be in, you'll be in Arc uh, in, in Arizona. Sweet. Well, I'll see you there. There we go. Also, uh, looks All right, like folks, we're ready to go. We just wanted to make sure we had ice for our drinks in a few minutes here for our dinner. Uh, so I had to arrange that. But we've got warm hugs, Dino Nuggets. We got to get you to slow that down. All right, so Dino Nuggets getting a little excited here. Easy. All down. right. Don't get Dino Nuggets, are you ready? All right, Dino Nuggets is ready. Warm hugs, are you ready? Pong, count us in. On your mark, get set, and fight. All right, Dino Nuggets not spinning up. And there we are. Dino Nuggets spinning up rather slowly, though. Nice. Definitely seeing some weapons. And there we go. That's Dino Nuggets that we know and love. You told him All to right, slow down. All right, Dino Nuggets, but the warm hugs, not afraid of that weapon in the least. And... We're seeing Warm Hugs just jumping right into it. And Dino Nuggets up in the air with Warm Hugs, not at all afraid, but has lost one of their hands. And Dino Nuggets spinning, but uh, spinning down. There goes Dino Nuggets spinning up and tearing into that arm. One hand gone. 
and that hand getting bounced across the arena, but Warm Hugs doing a great job of controlling Dino Nuggets, driving them around the arena. And a giant hit, Ooh. but both robots taking some significant damage there. So Warm Hugs is more like a warm, let me wave this useless broken appendage at you. And, and in three seconds, Dino down Nuggets goes, still together, and down but goes lost the part of their armor. And more parts of, uh, it looks like one of the tires for Warm Hugs has been lost. Warm Hugs, we need to see some significant mobility. This is not looking great. All right, Warm Hugs is more like warm tentacles, and nobody wants that. All right, so Some let's see, Warm that. Spaghetti uh, is doing their best here. All right, Dino Nuggets, is your weapon still functioning? We've lost the wire on the weapon for Dino Nuggets, but Warm Hugs, we got to open up that pit in, at some point here. I thought How it was much, already open. Oh, the pit is open. There, All right, yeah, Dino go. Nuggets trying to push Warm Hugs towards the pit with 30 seconds left. Warm Hugs trying to stay desperately alive here, and here comes Dino Nuggets pushing on Warm Hugs, and Dino oh. Nuggets pushing and pushing. He's lined up. And there and it is. Dino Nuggets wins the match. Well done by both teams. Dino Nuggets All right. takes the win. So, folks, we are lining up and exciting. And we've got IMAX in the arena. I didn't think it was possible that he would make it on time. But his opponent is his op opponent, Penguin Slasher. We need Penguin Slasher here. You're going to be DQ'd. Penguin Slasher, please Penguin. get to the arena. That would be Penguin Clubber. Oh, I'm sorry. Penguin, yes. yes. Right. Come of course. On. It's more human. Nobody though. would slash penguins. No. Never. No. Never. Only clubbing. Only clubbing. Clubbing, yes. They like dance music. It's Yes, ED. they do. Yeah, yes, they, they do. All right. All right. So, Penguin Clubber is we're get, in the arena, please. All right. Does Penguin Clubber work? Nobody knows. Does IMAX work? We just saw it move. That was good. The answer just may surprise you. All right. Or will it? I don't know. All right. So IMAX is ready to go. And we just saw the weapon turn. That was exciting. Mm -hmm. And Penguin Clubber, Penguin Clubber fully functional, has never had any function questions this entire match. All right. He has function ass answers is what he's got. All right, Penguin Clubber, are you ready? IMAX, are you? You okay? There, there? we go. IMAX there. is ready. Nope. Nope. Still not ready. All right, he's gonna he's gonna put it into place. Put it in its place. Goodness. He's gonna put it right in its place. Okay. All right. Sanity has been restored. Thank goodness. I've been waiting. It's like 10 years. All right, Pong, are you ready? I am. On your mark. Get set and fight. Penguin Clubber moving out. IMAX trying to spin up. And IMAX light, oh, almost spinning up. Those, those pulleys are a little bit tight, causing some spin-up problems. And Penguin Clubber getting under IMAX. But IMAX just waiting waiting for the opportunity to spin up that powerful weapon and rip the top of the Penguin Clubber off. Penguin Clubber doing a little flip on IMAX, but IMAX's big wheels resistant to flipping. All right, IMAX trying to line it up and, and Penguin Clubber being pinned by IMAX. So IMAX with the pin for five, four, three, and Penguin Clubber breaking the pin. All right, IMAX trying to get themselves lined up. Penguin Clubber coming around. Here comes Penguin Clubber, and IMAX going to, to the spin of desperation. All right. Two minutes and five seconds remaining Here right now. Here comes Penguin Clubber. Penguin Clubber having some mobility issues, and it looks like their club has been damaged by the massive strikes from IMAX. And we've got another pin, but it looks like this time it's Penguin Clubber getting it for five, four, three, two, one. And Penguin Clubber backing off. Penguin Clubber pulling away. Penguin Clubber breaking the And it the looks embrace. like IMAX's wheel has gotten somewhat stuck oh. in the seam. Oh. And we're going to see if he can get out of this. But Penguin Clubber trying to show what they can do. All right. But IMAX's wheel has definitely gotten set into that seam. We haven't seen that before. 
All right. And so IMAX still showing motion, able to work themselves around <laughs> well, that I wheel. I think they're working themselves more into that hole there. I think that's, uh, they're basically doing the thing, but. I don't know. What do you think, Zach? Is that, is that self-defeating? Uh, we pause the match for a second? Uh, up to him. Are we We're going to pause the we match. We are going to pause the match. With a minute and eight seconds remaining on the clock. He has sunken down into the arena. He was he was slowly sinking into the sunset there. Like the Terminator going into the pit of uh, molten steel. Very slowly. There we go. Min one minute and eight seconds remaining on the clock. All right, we're going to restart the fight. Count us in, Pong. On your mark. Get set and fight. All right, both robots spinning back up or moving and <laughs> trying to get a pin in this corner here. The two robots tangled up together. All right, and Penguin Penguin um, Clubber has got, uh, has got him stuck into the arena. And this time it was done by Penguin Clubber deliberately. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have him back off in five, four, three, Two, one, back off, Penguin Clubber, back off. We're gonna see if you stuck him in there real well. It looks like you did. All right, we're gonna see if he can get out. And you got 30 seconds remaining. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Our winner is Penguin Clubber! That is the All match. right. So we're going to have our next at weight match loading up right now. We need Sarian. We need Magnitude, Obake, Sarian, and Chopper. Let's get Sarian and Chopper into the arena right now. So Hedge, we need you in the arena right now, please. So on the instant replay here, we've got the moment where, where uh, IMAX started sinking slowly, slowly. He was, he was only in there for a little bit at first, but then as it went on, Penguin Clubber kind of like wedged him, and that, yeah, at that point, you're not coming out of there. <laughs> that's, that's all there is to it. You're, you're, you're stuck there for a while. But uh, we paused the match and, uh, and got him out. He was able to continue the match. All right, we'll stop that here. We'll come on back to, uh, to the arena here. Who do we got over here? We've got a uh, Saurian and but first, we're going to run a 12-pound match. Well, we're so not going over there. We don't, we don't, we're we've here. got Creature there. and there's, Canned Meat. There's All Creature. Right. And over here is All right, canned Creature meat. and Canned Meat. Uh, canned Meat, are you ready? Canned meat. canned meat is ready. Creature, are you ready? Creature is ready. Pong, count us in. Canned Meat versus the Creature. On your mark. Get set and fight. All right, both Here. robots coming out strong. Creature getting under Can Meat. Can Meat trying to line it up. And here comes Creature. Creature getting momentarily stuck under the arena walls. And a big flip by Creature. Can Meat upside down. Cindy getting to be a veteran and driving upside down. Can Meat going for another flip. Creature underneath, but backing away. And a pin for five, four, three, two, one. And a flip at the end of the pin, nicely tried by Creature. And another pin for five, four, three, two, one. They may be stuck there. We're gonna need to see motion from Canned Meat in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Our winner is Creature! That is the match. Creature takes the win, and Can Meat sits on the shelf. Let's get some music to uh, go past the expiration date by. There we go. All right, we loaded Sarian and Chopper into the Antweight Arena. Let's go on We're going to run that fight. Sarian. We're going to check in and make sure that they're ready to go. All right. Have we got Sarian in the arena? I believe we have. Have we got Chopper in the arena? I believe we do. All right. We're going to make sure that door gets closed. 
We are all greased up and ready to wrestle right here. Sarion versus Chopper. All right. So Sarion, got to wait for them to spin down a little bit here. And Chopper, are you ready to go? Chopper is ready. Sarion, are you ready? Sarion is ready. All right, Pong, count us in. On your mark, get set, and fight. Here they go. Sarion. Both robots spinning up. Versus and Chopper. here comes Sarian and Chopper heading for the middle of the ring. We're going to see what happens when those two meet. All right. We've got a big collision in the middle of the arena, and Sarian gets the better of it. But that time, Chopper gets the better of it. Uh-oh. And Chopper gets the better of it again. Chopper staying right on Sarian, but that time, Chopper goes flying. All right, Sarian trying to line it up on Chopper. So here comes Chopper trying to get an angle on Sarian. Both these robots know that the other one hits hard. Neither one wanting to go weapon to weapon. And Chopper aiming for the rear of Sarian. Sarian showing a lot more driving control than we've seen in the past. The two grinding on each other over in the corner. And a nice hit delivered by Sarian on that wheel guard of Chopper. Two minutes so Chopper's me. wheel guards torn apart. Ooh. And we have a giant hit. We can't tell who got the better of it. Yeah, these are both of these are two tough bots. They've been taking hit after hit this entire match and still keep on trucking. Another right. another weapon to weapon hit. We definitely have an unbalanced weapon on Chopper. Chopper is having some drive issues. Sarian's still fully in control, but their belt has started to stretch a little bit. Minute and 26 seconds remaining on the clock. Another nice big hit by Sarian on Chopper. And we can see that Chopper's weapon is unbalanced. Robots are still working. All right, but one of the teeth on Chopper has been damaged. Another big hit on the wheel guard by Sarian. We've got just under a minute remaining on the clock. And that's the thing, when you've got a, a, a weapon with all this centrifugal force, if you get that weapon imbalanced like, like we've, we're seeing right here, it's going to hop all over the place. We've seen that in Tombstone on BattleBots when it loses one of its teeth. It just wobbles all over the place. And that's a, a smaller version of that's happening right here with 30 seconds remaining on the clock. Sorry, on versus right. Chomper. Looks like Chopper's, oh, Chopper's weapon is bent, actually, is what's happened. Oh. So that, that weapon is actually impacting their chassis. Ouch. Well, in about 15 seconds, this looks like it's going to go the distance. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and that is the match. All right, incredible performance by both robots. We're going to see what the judges decide in just a few seconds. All right, well, the judges are seeing what uh, what they see. We're going to see what they saw. Uh, take a look at the uh, instant replay over here. Let's get to some of these hits here. See if we can get a couple of those. All right, we had, it was a very close decision on points, but the judges did have a unanimous decision for Sarian. And there you go. Sarian takes the win. Let's see. We've got a match over at the Ferry Arena all queued up. Well, looks like so we're ready to go. At the Ferry Arena, we're going to see two incredible bots fight. We've oh got boy. Miser and their opponent, Mirage. All right, Mirage, are you ready? All right. All right, Miser is getting his filming apparatus set up. Now, I believe this is a winner's bracket match. Is that correct? All right, neither of these robots have been defeated. That will change within two minutes. Mm. All right, Pong, count us in. All right, on your mark, get set, and fight. Miser spinning up, and Mirage spinning up. Miser. Bouncing off the arena, and Jeremy getting right on him over in the corner, but not fast enough. And now Mirage upside down. Miser right back in it. All right. Miser showing incredible mobility, trying to flip itself back over, though. 
And Mirage trying to get into anything but the weapon on, on uh, Miser. And that is not easy to do. That thing can turn on a dime and give you nine cents change. Miser is an incredibly fast turning bot. Created by the uh, same guy that brought you Thagomizer, actually from Team Thagomizer, Sean, and also Strike Point. So it looks like the weapon might be down on Mirage. It's hard to say, but uh, he could just be playing Turtle. Well, the pit but, should be uh, going down. We are going to be opening the pit, so Jim is going to open the pit for us right now. Right now, there it is. And the pit is open, and Mirage has got one wheel in front of the pit. Anything could happen. And we're going to need to see some mobility oh, no. from Miser. Miser, can you still move? Hey. All right. So we're going to see mobility from both robots. Incredible aggression by both robots at this point. All right. So both robots. And here comes Miser trying to line up. We need to see some motion from Mirage in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. And, and our winner is. is Miser. Miser goes forward. Mirage vanishes into thin air. With less than 20 seconds on the clock, Miser continues to be just like this is this is such this is what happens when you min max a robot, I feel. Like because this thing is just all entirely weapon. There is no drive on that on that on that bot whatsoever. It's all weapon. And he's the only way he's moving is bristles on the bottom. Uh, and it, you know, just just kind of wiggling his way forward, and just be able to show that kind of control with the bristle bot, it's a, it's a fantastic feat of engineering. I love it, love it so much. All right, let's see where we're going to next. Some of the upcoming matches that we've got here: uh, Magnitude versus Obake. We got Dino Nuggies versus Rainbow Connection. Creature versus Meat Tor. I thought we just saw that one. I'm not sure. And Saurian versus Chopper, we definitely saw that one. I don't know if someone's updating the board or not. If you're not updating the board, you should probably update the board. There's some of the fights that we uh, either, <laughs> either have had or will have. I'm not, not entirely sure. Let's take another look at the pits there. Still feverishly working. There they are. All right, we've got an ant weight fight getting queued up here. All We're right. looking for Night Force and On Off, also known as Striker. All right, we're also looking for Magnitude and Obake. Magnitude and Obaki, we need you to the arena. You are queued up as the next fight. We're going to run Striker and Night Force, and then we need to see Magnitude and Obake. So that's you, Joey. And... All right, we've got Striker loading into the arena. He is going to remember to remove the screwdriver from the robot. This has been a common operator problem <laughs> during this match. <laughs> Night Force is in the arena. All right, Coleman is going to be up for a challenge this time. He's got to face another four-wheel drive vert. So this is going to be a real test of his driving skills. Come back over to the main arena there. All right, so let's get folks into driving position. We have Strike Force versus Strike Force versus Night Force. Strike Point versus Strike Point. Strike? No. No, on off. What's, what's Striker. Striker. Striker versus Night Force. Striker. All right, Night Force, are you ready? Night Force. Striker, are you ready? Pong, count us in. On your mark. Get set and fight. All right, both robots spinning up, and we see a lot more aggression. We're going to see, do wires work better than highly designed forks designed by Derek? Our Derek, can Derek design something better than a piece of bent wire? Sometimes a piece of bent wire is all you need, it you know? It appears like the piece of bent wire is defeating the highly designed forks. Sometimes it do be right, that oh, way. Oh, the, the wire has been, the wire has been defeated, so there may be something to hundreds of hours of CAD. We're going to see that in just a moment. Both robots go back together, though. And it's Strike Force. No, it's Night Force that gets on him. So Night Force has got Striker upside down. 
and it's got him in the corner, and he knows he needs to get some speed up into him. And there we have Ooh. it. And he's torn off one of the wheels, and we have a tap out. Yeah. Ouch. All right. Two so minutes. There is something to engineering school. All right. Two minutes and 15 seconds remaining on the clock. We got we got to check that out. That, that was it. All right. This is going to go to replay. We're going to watch this over and over again. Oh, absolutely we are. Let's see. Let's get to the fun stuff here. There's there's the big wire push. Can the wire defeat the fork? It did for a little bit. It hung in there, you know? All right. We're going to run a fairy weight match over here. Oh, 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 I missed it. Hold on. There it is. And that's where the wheel goes, right here. Boom. Yeah, and there the wheel goes flying. I think the motor's still attached to it, it looks like. And that's uh, that's all she wrote. That was a very smart tap out there, because at that point, just a sitting duck, just waiting for the next hit. What a great hit that was. That was good. It's going to be a tough call doing the thumbnail, I think, <laughs> for this video. We'll see. We'll see. There's been some, some fantastic hits today. Okay. I think we're going over to the ferry arena? Are we going to the ferry arena or are we going to the 12? We are going to twelve. Oh, we're over at the ferry arena. We're over at the sea ferry arena. All right, we're looking for Titan Attackums, Dino Nuggets, Rainbow Connection, and Haladi Cruncher. But our right match we'd like to run right now is Haladi and Cruncher. We need to see Titan and Attackums queued up along with Dino Nuggets and Rainbow Connection. But loading into the arena right now is Haladi and Cruncher. I can see Haladi in the arena. I can see Cruncher next to the arena handing parts to Haladi. Haladi's remote just self-destructed oh, as no. they were attempting to insert their uh, their batteries or their batteries ejected. All right. It was a whole thing. There were batteries. Controlling. We've got Titan and Rainbow Connection at the arena, which we like to see. In our ant weight matches, we are looking to queue up some more matches. We need Counter Punch and Lopper loading into the arena. Chopper and US Slay need to queue up on the queuing table. So Counter Punch and Lopper loading into the arena as soon as the driver of Ch Cruncher also drives Lopper. He'll be moving over to set up that robot as soon as he finishes this fight. And Counter Punch Lopper will be next, followed by Chopper US Slay. But first we've got a fairyweight fight. Haladi, are you ready? Haladi as a substitute driver. All right, the primary driver of Haladi had to finish their, I guess they have final exams coming up this week. All right, she had to go to work. And um, fortunately, the driver of Cruncher is a professional engineer and none of us actually work. So, um, hooray for that. All right, Cruncher, are you ready? Haladi, are you ready? Count us in, Pong. On your mark, get set, and fight. Both robots spinning up. Here comes Haladi. And a big hit on Cruncher. Cruncher goes flying. Cruncher bouncing off the arena, trying to get himself flipped back over. And Cruncher is back on their feet while Haladi not able to take advantage of that. Haladi's weapon spinning back up. Briefly spun down to avoid a wall collision. Some damage. And we've got that weapon chowed into the side of Cruncher. But Cruncher pushing Haladi around the arena. Haladi again spun back down. We're going to see if Haladi's weapon is out, and it looks like that uh, they're either saving it or it's out, but Cruncher's still spinning. All right, Haladi's weapon is back up, and that Haladi weapon is really spinning and putting little chips in the wall of this arena. The pitch and be coming a big down hit in 10 on seconds. Cruncher sends Cruncher fly flying upside down. Haladi is going to take advantage of this, and Cruncher right back into Haladi as the pit is opening in three. Two, one, and the pit is open. All right, so the pit is open, and Haladi Cruncher duking it out on the side of the arena. A big hit by Cruncher sending Haladi up into the air. got 30 seconds left in this match approximately and Cruncher delivers a big hit on Haladi but Haladi right back on their feet. 
All right, a nice impact with both robots going back, but Cruncher getting the better of that exchange. 20 seconds Gladi remaining. awfully close. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that is the match. All right. We're going to check on video whether the time was out or not. So we're going to go to a video replay, consult the, uh, consult the, uh, the, uh, the video to see if they drove out before or after time elapsed. Well, so the problem with that, though, is I don't have the timer on the, on the video, of course. But when I called it, they were still out of the arena. All right. Our video consultation shows that they drove out mere milliseconds after time has elapsed. So that will go to a judge's decision. I'm sure chat will definitely let me know if I was wrong. What is with these close calls? We had one, uh, what, a couple weeks ago in uh, in Utah as well. I'm not. Okay. The pit was post-match. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I thought I called it right, and uh, thank you guys for keeping me honest. I appreciate you. I wasn't sure how that was going to go, to be completely honest. <laughs> it was very slightly post-match. Yeah, absolutely. No. Preso Forte is exactly right. It was right, right on the buzzer. Same as, uh, well, who was that? That was Dollar Tree, wasn't it? I think it was Dollar Tree uh, a couple weeks ago in uh, Salt Lake City that went into the pit. Just... We have a unanimous decision oh, here for we go. Cruncher. Your winner is Cruncher. Yep. It was just, sli it was just slightly, but that, hey, you know, slightly is enough. A quarter of a second. That's sometimes all it takes. That was razor thin. That's why I always say, you know, anything can happen in this, and it almost always does. <laughs> All right, we're looking for Counterpunch and Lopper, and I see Counterpunch in the arena. You may no. see a Lopper. I see, I see two different robots in the arena. Oh. Who's in the arena? Oh, we haven't run this. Oh, yeah, we're glad to see those robots in the arena. Boy, this, this fight, we've been wanting this for a while. We've got Magnitude and Obake in the arena. Oh, there you go. Magnitude, are you ready? Magnitude is ready. Obake, are you ready? All right. Count us in, Pong. Magnitude versus Obaki. On your mark, get set, and fight. Both uh. robots spinning up. And a big Ooh. hit with Magnitude going flying. And we definitely see some wheel <laughs> remains. We can't tell which robot got chewed up there. Oh, yes, we can. Yeah. Obaki's wheel is looking worse for wear. Yeah, a little bit. Both robots really going flying. But they are still going at it. And another big hit big. with Magnitude delivering the damage. But the wheel on Obake is still hanging in there. That wheel has taken a lot, but it's not done yet. Magnitude not willing to let up. All right, Magnitude sending Obake flying. Obake's one wheel staying on, and that's, that's amazing. But that foam is definitely much worse <laughs> for wear. Yeah. There's a lot more not touching the ground than is touching the ground, that's for sure. All right, so it looks like Magnitude's weapon might have gotten knocked out by that last hit from Abake. Things did get a little quieter in there. All right, Abake's weapon still running. Magnitude, though, has got all the mobility pushing Abake around. And Abake's weapon doesn't quite have the reach to get into Magnitude. We do see some spark flying, but we're not getting in. Magnitude getting right on Obake. Minute and 35 seconds remaining on the clock. Magnitude pushing Obake around. All 
All right, Obaki trying to line up for a hit, and one of the wheels on Magnitude now jammed up by a hit from Obake. Pushing that wheel into the side of Magnitude and causing him to lose mobility on the left-hand side. But Magnitude not giving up, continuing to show aggression, having accumulated a lot of points. So Obake's got to come up and really, this match is very close on points right now. We're going to see how aggressive both robots can be. If both robots can continue to show significant aggression, it's going to come down to the judges. And another hit on that wheel. Magnitude taking even more damage to that wheel. And they're going to have to do it all here in 40 seconds. That is all that's remaining on this clock. Abaki getting into Magnitude there, trying to pick up on something and getting a hit on Magnitude, sending them flying, but not enough to change the dynamics of the match. We've got 20 seconds right. left on the clock. Delivering another impact to that same wheel. But Joey being very careful to protect his one remaining wheel as he slowly works his way over and takes a hit on that wheel. So and that this wheel is going to the judges in five, four, three, two, one. And that is the match. All right. Well, this is going to go to a judge's decision. We'll announce the judge's decision in just a minute. That is probably going to take just a little bit here while we're waiting. Let's see some of these hits right off the bat. Right, wait, 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 hold on. Right, the very first hit. Look at this thing. Bounces off the wall. Pow. All right, we had a very close match on points, and the match was going completely one way for the beginning. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the match, things turned around completely. Our winner by unanimous judge's decision is Obake. Obake for the win. Both of these are winner's division robots, so Magnitude will return. Uh, in the loser's bracket, and Obake will advance. All right, we are looking for... Counterpunch and Lopper to load in. Chopper and U.S. Slay. Striker and Subdivision. Striker, you have 15 minutes left on your clock to make repairs. But we've got Counterpunch queued up and ready to go. Counterpunch is going to be facing Lopper. Get some Lopper music going on over here. Semester wrapping up, Chris? It's a good feeling, isn't it? That was an absolutely fantastic fight, definitely. Here, uh, we got a little uh, little time in between here. Let's come back to this here. Watch a little bit more of that, uh, that last fight. Just an absolutely knockdown drag out fight from start to stop. <laughs> two, two absolutely just, just powerhouses. Here, wait a minute. Let's go, let's go back and see that one again. Boom. Both of them spinning up. Look at how much energy was in both of those two things. Look at them, look at them fly across the arena like that. Boom. Another hit. Just taking hit after hit after hit the entire match. Like, even some of these little ones, right? Even some of these, you know, in quotation marks, little ones, still, still packing a tremendous amount of power. We ready to go? Oh, okay, not yet. Is it coming back? Oh, it's coming back. Okay, there we go. I thought it was coming back, but, was, you know. Oh. Another hit right here. Pow. So many good pictures to choose from for the thumbnail. We're resetting the, uh, the thing there. There we go. Okay. Should be back now. Okay. All right. Good. There we go, we're still alive. Okay, excellent. No, yeah, absolutely, okay. 
All right. All right, we've got Lopper and Counterpunch in the arena. Lopper, are you ready? Lopper is ready. Counterpunch, are you ready? Yeah. All right, we're going to count us in, Pong. On your mark, get set, and fight. Both robots spinning up, heading towards the middle of the arena. Counterpunch, though, gets across the arena first and sends Lopper flying into the air. Lopper turning it around and getting Counterpunch up in the air. Both robots going back and forth. That time it's Lopper that gets launched by Counterpunch. Counterpunch staying aggressive, trying to keep Lopper in the corner, but Lopper not having any of it. Both these robots going toe to toe, and that time it's Counterpunch getting under Lopper. Lopper trying to get some breathing room, backs off, and gets again pushed up in the air, and a big hit by Counterpunch, sending Lopper flying. That time it's Lopper taking Counterpunch out, but Counterpunch right back at it. Lopper seeing the advantage of those, uh, those small little wedgelets on Counterpunch, but Lopper very robust and wins the hip speed battle that time. This time both robots popping up and neither able to get a decisive head. Ooh, we've got two minutes remaining on the clock. Lopper spinning down a little bit, trying to get some control back. Counterpunch hitting a piece of arena debris and getting bounced up in the air by Lopper. A little bit of grinding happening in the middle of the arena as the two robots push against each other. But Counterpunch staying right on Lopper. Lopper trying to jockey for position. And we've got Lopper flipping Counterpunch right up in the air, but Counterpunch bouncing right back on its feet. Counterpunch delivering a big hit to the back of Lopper, and we can see a big cut in that gaffer tape on the back of Lopper. And we've got a little bit of a pin by Counterpunch, but Lopper breaks it, sending Counterpunch flying back into the air. Here comes Counterpunch, dancing around with Lopper. We've got one minute remaining. Counterpunch back on its heels briefly. Lopper delivering another little hit to Counterpunch, and another one. So these engagements going back and forth, we've got a little bit of a pin for five, four, three, two, one. Counterpunch has got to back off and the two robots break free. This time, Counterpunch getting under Lopper, sending him in the air, and again, it's Lopper that goes up in the air. Counterpunch right back on him, but Lopper sending Counterpunch back out. 25 seconds. Sent back flying as we come down to the final 20 seconds or so, Pong tells us. All right, and it looks as though this is gonna go the distance in 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and that's the match. All right, we definitely see some top plate damage on Counterpunch, and both robots being very, very powerfully taking a lot of damage, an excellent fight, and not making it easy for the judges. So no. the judges are going to have to decide who won this match. A quick bit of housekeeping here. Just need to double check that. Oh, we're still good. That'll work. Okay. We have a split decision. <gasps> the first judge decided for counterpunch. <gasps> the second judge decided for lopper. <gasps> The third judge decided for our winner, <laughs> Counterpunch! And All right, we're going to get these two robots out of the arena. Both of those robots were in the winner's bracket, so we will see them return. And we are going to go over to a fairy weight batch in just a minute here. We are loading into the arena Chopper and U.S. Slay, along with Striker and Subdivision. But we have a 12-pound match to run. And we're gonna run US Slay right after that. All right, here we have in the arena, Creature and Meat Tornado. Ah, the old Meat Tornado. I have no comment. All right, Meat Tornado, are you ready? Meat Tornado is ready. Creature, are you ready? All right, Pong, count us in. On your mark, get set. 
and fight. Both robots heading up to the center of the arena. And Meet Tornado getting lifted briefly by Creature, but Creature, and a flip by Creature has got Meat Tornado upside down. Creature has got Meat Tornado right where they want him pinned for five. Four, oh, and backing off the pin. Five, four, three, two, one. Creature's backing off, and Meat Tornado back on their correct side. Looks like Meat Tornado has a wheel that is showing limited signs of mobility here. Creature seems to be stuck. All right, so we believe he stuck himself. All right, he did unstick himself, so we don't have to do it. And a big scam by Creature, and Creature again sticking themselves. Sticker breaking, Creature breaking free. All right, it looks like we've got some limited mobility by Meat Tornado here. Meat Tornado able to continue moving, though. Here comes Creature trying to get another pin. We've got a pin for five, four, three, two, one, and Creature's backing off. Creature trying to line up with Meat Tornado. Meat Tornado showing very limited mobility. Tornado, its reign might be coming to an end as Creature pins it again for five, four, three. And we're gonna have to count this out. Will Meat Tornado be able to escape in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Our winner is Creature! And that's the match. Creature takes it. All right, we're looking for bots over in the Antweight Arena. We've got U.S. Slay loading into the arena. Let's get U.S. Slay in the arena. And we're looking for Chopper over here. Chopper to the arena, please. Chopper, we need Chopper into the arena against U.S. Slay. We are also trying to queue up the, the match. Striker and Subdivision. We're looking for both Striker and Subdivision over here. We're going to need Penguin Clubber and Cake Batter also to the arena, please. All right, we've got Counter Punch and Lopper. We already ran that one, but we've got Chopper and U.S. Slay in the arena right now, and Striker and Subdivision is queued up as our next match. We're also gonna need Penguin Clubber, Cake Batter, Obake, and another robot to be determined in a minute based on who wins this. All right, Chopper, or Chopper, are you ready? Chopper is ready. U.S. Slay, are you ready? U.S. Slay is ready. All right, Pong, I need a referee. Let's see, I've got Zach. All right, count us in, Pong. All right, on your mark, get set, and fight. Off we go. U.S. Slay is lined up and trying to get a line on Chopper. Chopper. Yeah. Will U.S. Slay be able to win the day? Will Chopper be able to chop U.S. Slay down to size. The All answer. right, so far, Chopper having a little bit of reach on U.S. Slay. U.S. Slay really has to get under uh, Chopper to get him to feed up. But that front wedge on Chopper, very ground hunging because it's got some springs holding it down or some rubber mounts holding it down, rather. 
All right, U.S. Slay trying to get a little bit of wedgie action happening here. Chopper trying to get into the back and misses a shot at the back of U.S. Slay. Both robots having a hard time hooking up here. And there's a little pop by Chopper on U.S. Slay. Another pop by Chopper. I expect pop Chopper jokes here. All right. So, so the two robots will the chopper jostling pop around. Will U.S. Slay stop the Chopper popping? All right. Chopper trying to pop. And another pop by Chopper. So, so far, U.S. Slay not stopping the Chopper popper. Oh. And look at that beautiful wheel. Momentarily explode, explode. And there we have a big hit by Chopper on U.S. Slay. Uh-oh. And U.S. Slay trying to get right back up. But Chopper not showing any mercy and flipping him right back over, right back on him. So some big pops by the Chopper popper. All right, Chopper going with a big hit, but not able to connect. And that front rubber mounted wedge is really working against him here and that he's just bouncing off the other robot instead of feeding him. Another little pop by Chopper. U.S. Slay pushing him back into the arena and a little bit of that sidewall getting torn off by Chopper. Chopper lining it up and aiming and missing U.S. Slay. One US minute Slay trying to come back. Both robots' weapons still spinning and grinding away at each other. And it looks like U.S. Slay has a little bit of a pin for five. But U.S. But Chopper breaking the pin. U.S. Slay got the pin again for five, four, three, two, one. And U.S. Slay is going to back off. Back off a full weapon length. Chopper is back out. And these two robots squaring off. 30 seconds remaining on the clock. U.S. Slay and Chopper. Chopper trying to get another bite out of U.S. Slay here in the final 20 seconds. Doing everything they can to look as good as they can for the judges. Who it appears was going, are going to be uh, deciding this fight. And they're going to be doing it. Big in, hit by Chopper. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that is the match. All right. Both robots breaking, coming apart. And we're going to go to a judge's decision. All right, an excellent fight. Well fought by both opponents. We have a unanimous decision for Chopper. That's right, Chopper is your winner. All right, we're looking for another fairyweight fight here in just a minute. And so we're looking for Titan and Attackums on the fairyweight side. And we're looking for Striker and Subdivision. So Subdivision is here. Final call for Striker. We're looking for Striker. Is the builder of Striker here? The builder of Striker. We're looking for Striker versus Subdivision. We don't want Subdivision to win anymore. All right, and we are also looking for... Obake. Obake, you have eight minutes left on your timer. Cake Batter and Penguin Clubber right now. Cake Batter and Penguin Clubber to the arena, please. We need Titan and Attackums, Dino Nuggets and Rainbow Connection to Fairy Arena, please.
All right, we are looking for Attackums and their opponent. I believe it's Titan. All right, let's get Titan and Attackums in the arena. We're going to run Dino Nuggets and Rainbow Connection. We are looking for the driver of Attackums. The driver of Attackums, final call. All right, we're having to load the match after you first because you weren't here. But we're going to run Dino Nuggets and Rainbow Connection first, followed by Attackums and their opponent, the Fearsome Titan, which you've never fought before. All right, Dino Nuggies, are you ready? Dino Nuggies is ready. Thank you, Elon, for sealing up the arena. All right, we're going to have to take a timeout for Rainbow Connection. All right, so Dino Nuggies, but fortunately, Attackums is here, and so is their opponent, Titan. So we're going to run Attackums versus Titan. All right, we've got a fight queued up here. We've got Attackums, and we've got Titan. Titan, are you ready? Titan is ready. Attackums is looking saucy. Looking concerned about George. You're having to use George's radio. This explains so much. All right. Pong, go ahead and count us in. All right. On your mark. Get set and fight. All right. So Titan heading over, trying to get Attackums, trying to spin up. But George's radio is defeating Jeremy's every attempt. So Titan getting right in there on Attackums. And Attackums pinned in the corner, but breaking free. Titan going for another pin. All right, definitely showing some sync problems. And we almost got spin up from, uh, from Attackums, but not quite. Titan continuing to try to nibble away on Attackums. Attackums trying to stay pointed. All right, so Attackums has had its leg grabbed by Titan. Titan flipping over, and we're coming down to opening that pit in another seven seconds. All right, Zach is going to get ready to open the pit. And, open and the, the pit, pit is going to open in three, two, one, open. So the pit is now open. All right, Titan is, is over in the corner by itself here, showing tremendous aggression. Attackums still trying to get its weapon to spin up. Here comes Titan, and Titan delivering a big hit, and let's see if that's done it. In 10, 9, show some motion. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Our winner is Titan! And there it is. All right, so Attackums getting face planted by Titan. Titan will move on. Attackums will move into the other bracket. We're going to come over here and do a final call for Skyker. Subdivision, are you here? All right, so Subdivision is going to put their robot into the arena. Go ahead, put it into the arena. Striker, are you here? Uh oh. All right, so Subdivision, please put it in the arena. Striker, can you hear me? Striker, final call. Our winner is Subdivision. Uh. All right, we need to see Penguin Clubber into the arena. And they are going to be facing up with their opponent, Lopper. We also have Magnitude and Cake Batter. So Penguin Clubber is in the arena. Now, Lopper just got out of a fight. So he is 
quickly putting this robot together. We're going to give him some time. All right, so while we're checking that out, let's see who else we got. We got Magnitude and Cake Batter coming up. We got Dino Nuggies and Rainbow Connection. Magnitude, Joey, we need Magnitude to the arena, please. You are the next fight. Magnitude to the arena, please. Also coming up is Known Avenger versus Creature, Striker versus Subdivision, Titan versus Atacamas. <laughs> as Pong just told you, we have a massive victory of Subdivision over Striker in a fight that went so quick, you might have missed it. Somebody missed it because it's not on the it's not on challenge. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what was that? I, I was hoping that the uh, the person on the mic would be paying attention oh. to the PA where we announced our winner was Subdivision. Oh, yeah, Subdivision. Yeah, yeah, they just won. All right, congratulations to Subdivision. How many times have we said Subdivision won now? Like four times, Lauren tells me. How does Lauren know? Because he drives Subdivision. Ah, that All would be right. good. good. Yeah. All right, but he's getting used to winning. All right, Penguin Clubber is in the arena. Lopper just had to switch batteries. He was just coming off a very hot fight, where which he won in the Fairyweight Arena with Titan. He's putting Lopper in the arena. Lopper has a brand new battery. We're going to see how does Lopper do against Penguin Clubber. All right, will it be Penguin Lopper or will it be Penguin Clubber? We'll see in just a moment. What will happen to the Penguin next? All right, you might club him, you might lop him. We'll find out. Goodness. All right. Okay. So, Lopper, are you ready? Lopper is ready. Penguin Clubber, are you ready? All right, C Pong, count us in, please. On your mark, get set, and fight. All right. Penguin Clubber moving out very slowly. Lopper moving out slowly. And the two meeting in the middle. Penguin Clubber getting flipped back. Lopper right back into Penguin Clubber. Penguin Clubber upside down. Lopper right into him, but Penguin Clubber gets back on their feet. So a whirlwind exchange with both robots ending back where they started. All right. Penguin Clubber pulling a piece, having a piece rather torn off of their side by Lopper. Lopper getting under Penguin Clubber, the back bottom plate of Penguin Clubber. Worse for wear, we've got some chips taken from the side of Penguin Clubber. Lopper sending Penguin Clubber upside down. Lopper back into Penguin Clubber. Penguin Clubber upside down again, flipped up and over. Penguin Clover, Clubber, their robot taking little bits and pieces coming out all the time as Lopper tears away and the to dance in the middle. It looks like Lopper, a big hit on the back of Penguin Clubber. Penguin Clubber trying to get lined up and Lopper pushing against Penguin Clubber with the backside. And here's a big chance for Lopper tearing away at Penguin Clubber. More hits on the backside as Penguin Clubber bounces up and down under the relentless onslaught of Lopper. I hope you remember that there's gonna be a test later. Minute the tape four. holding Penguin Clubber together is starting to come apart. Penguin Clubber looking much worse for wear. Penguin Clubber, we need to show motion in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and we have a tap out. Our winner is Lopper! The reign of the Penguin Clubber has ended briefly, but Penguin Clubber may return in the Rumble! All right. All right. Congratulations to our winner, Lopper. All right. Goodness. We need Magnitude and Cake Batter in the arena. Cake Batter is here. She is putting her robot in the arena. We are uh -oh. giving another call for Magnitude. Magnitude, uh -oh. your timer has elapsed. You had a 20-minute timer after your last match to get it back together. Pop, We're going to come check on Joey. Pop, pop. Gibbity do. That's, there's another one. That's that's kind of a deep cut. When Magnitude could no longer use his his catchphrase, and he 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 went through all the test ones. Skibbity do. <laughs> Pop. Pop. <laughs> don't don't speak. Don't speak. All right, Magnitude is taking their 20-minute timeout, their Ooh. timeout of the day. So Magnitude is on their timeout. 
All right. All right. So, Penguin, uh, I'm sorry, Magnitude taking their time out. So we're gonna have Cake Batter pull out. They've got about. That means we are looking for Lopper and Subdivision, Obake and Sarian, Night Force and Counterpunch. All right. So we have those three fights queued up, and then we're going to need to see Magnitude fin coming out of his timeout. So Subdivision is coming. Obake and Sarian, Night Force and Counterbunch, Punch, and Lopper, I'm sorry, Lopper and Subdivision. All right, taking a quick look here at uh, some more upcoming matches. We've got Dino Nuggies and Rainbow Connection, Node Avenger versus Creature. Paladin versus Titan, Lopper and Subdivision, Obake and Sorian. All right, we're going to load in Obake and Sorian right now. Let's do that. So Obake is right here loading into the arena. The driver of Sorian told me Sorian is ready, waiting, and, and been ready. So uh, Obake uh, loading into the arena right now. Night Force is ready for counterpunch. Chat, uh, people are saying, uh, let's go Obake. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. We've got in the 12 pound arena, we've got known Avenger and Creature. This is our semi final match for the. 12 pound robots. We're gonna see who is gonna advance to the finals. Will it be Creature? Will it be Known Avenger? Known Avenger, are you ready? Creature, are you ready? Pong, count us in. On your mark, get set, and fight. All right, both robots starting up. Here comes Creature getting under, and a big slam by Creature. Creature going under, but Known Avenger not to be deterred. And Creature with a lift and flip on Known Avenger and slamming Cre Known Avenger into the wall. So far, it's all Creature. We're going to see if Known Avenger can get something going here. Creature looking like they're on rail, slamming Known Avenger into the wall for a pin for five, four, three, two, one. Backing off. Will that be it? We're uh -oh. gonna see if Known Avenger can get out in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Show some motion, creature. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Our winner is Creature! That is the match with two minutes remaining on the clock. Creature moves forward. The unstoppable creature, or is he? The answer. Just may surprise you. Or will it?
All right. Well, let's get some uh, music to change the music to here. There you go. There's some. All right. So in the chat, people are already thinking uh, they know what the final is. And they're thinking it's going to be full chord versus, tree versus creature. That's what they're saying. say a big thank you to uh to some of our subs out there uh joy nodos thank you so much for the sub t more thank you for the follow appreciate you very much hey tape tech tim even giving out uh one month sub to uh prezzo forte that's awesome and mr wizix thanks for the follow appreciate you digital dragon 2 uh, 72 i could completely missed you i'm so sorry about that thank you so much for the uh for the raid Also, Lego Master 5, me awesome. G3. Looks like I'm gonna guess, oof. Oh, ironic. Ironic Iris, there we go. So thank you so much for all the uh, all the follows, all the subs, all the things. And every single one of those subs and follows and things does go to benefit the Sin Shop, which is a uh, maker hacker space located in fabulous Las Vegas, as the tools and materials that you can use to make whatever you can think of. Check out our Discord for more information on the shop. SinShop.org forward slash Discord. Also, if you're into uh, audio vi video stuff and combat robots and the things it takes to make audio video stuff to show you combat robots, join us every Monday and Friday. at twitch.tv forward slash SinShop. It's every Monday and Friday night at 7.30 p.m. specific time. Good. Specific. You see what I did there? Yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> no, I know, I know. We've lost our thing there. Yeah, we'll do one of these. There we go. Now we got our thing back. Got my email now. Creature is running way better now, so yeah, absolutely. Oh, I also want to say thank you to uh, all the people joining us over on the YouTube channel. Uh, we uh, we do not have the uh, chat open over there because we because uh, well, of the terms of service with Twitch, obviously. Uh, but uh, you know, we do appreciate you there. If you want to join in the conversation, we're all talking over at Twitch tv forward slash sin shop but hey if you're just chilling out on your couch you just want to watch the show thanks for joining us we appreciate you calls for uh, Obake versus Saurian. I'm sure we're going to see that here shortly. <laughs> you can tell we're getting on in the middle, into the middle of the day. The pit's starting to thin out a little bit. At the beginning of the day, it was just absolutely packed. But All right, we've got an Antweight event uh, match queued up here. Who have right. we got, Pong? You tell me. <laughs> I think it's Otake and Saurian. Oh, okay. Somebody was asking for that just a second ago, and we provide. Here we are. All right, Otaki. Now, Otaki has got a powerful uh, undercutter, uh -huh, uh -huh. but more than anything, they've just got reliability. They can take a beating and keep on going. They really can. Uh, Sarian has got the whole package. The only thing that's lacking in uh, Sarian is a biological component, but that's been improving substantially from match to match. Hmm. Um, we've seen them do, you know, it's been really nice this event to see them do a lot less damage to our of, of arena and more to the <laughs> opponents. So, so that's been a substantial improvement on their part. Hataki, are you ready? Sorry, and are you ready? All right, Pong, count us in. On your mark, get set, 
and fight. Here we go. Both robots spinning up, and we've got horizontal and horizontal. There's going to be action. Ooh, piece of tire I'm thinking that was? Those exposed tires on Atake. Those exposed tires on Atake proving vulnerable again. Mm -hmm. But it looks like we might have seen the, the weapon go down on Saria. That is unusual. Please. Seems like it's trying. I see it twitching there, but is it going to be right, able to... Sorry, and driving extremely well without the weapon running. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's trying. I see it twitching sorry, there. Sorry, we need to see motion from you. Sorry, I'm still in this. That web is very, very quiet now. We've got two minutes remaining on the clock. Two minutes and four seconds, but who's counting? Sorry, I got stuck in the groove there for a second. All right, so Ataki has sniped a wheel partially, it looks like, mm -hmm. and the weapon belt. So Ataki's got to keep showing some aggression here. Ataki's had a, web, a wedge ripped off, it looks like. So Ataki chewing away at that foam wheel. As one does. They are delicious, from what I understand. Uh, I, I like them with soy sauce myself, sometimes oh. some, uh, some wasabi. I've gotten into Cholula, Cholula lately. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm I I've, I've really changed on that. I'm trying to cut down on salt, so I oh. just do more soy sauce. Fair enough. Fair enough. Minute and 25 seconds remaining. So if you need to make a uh, Uber Eats order for soy sauce to go uh, with your wheels, you know, we're, 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 the tacos are going to be ready sooner than you think, folks. Oh, that's so. Good. I have been informed the tacos are going to be ready early. Ooh, I like the sound of that. So we're about 30 minutes out. We got a pin for five. Four, three tacos, two tacos, one taco backing off. <laughs> All right. Oh, Taco is showing some dominance here, but Sarian, Sarian may not be moving. We're going to have to count Sarian out in 10, 9, oh, no. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, win. Our winner is Oh, Taco! <laughs> <laughs> All right, well done. 40. We have not seen Sarian beaten up like that in a really long time. So that wow. is an impressive feat by Otako. For All right, we're going to load in our next two opponents. We're looking for Night Force. No, we're looking for Subdivision and Lopper. Lopper, are you ready, Andrew? Yes, you are. Lopper, can you hear me? Do you want to build a snowman? It's the same song. It's weird. All right, so Lopper and Subdivision are going at it. Then we're going to have Night Force and Counterpunch. After that, we're going to see Magnitude and Cake Batter. Magnitude and Cake Batter. Magnitude running into the final minutes of their timeout. In the fairy bracket, we need Cruncher and Miser, and we need Haladi and Titan. we got coming up here all right we're clearing this out so we can load our next match Sorry. lopper and subdivision yeah. you, we're lifting what off to get what now uh no we got a little bit of a grudge match going on over here you should be able to lift it up yeah it's taped to the side all oh, right we got a grudge match going on in the 30 pound arena all right. So we've got uh, canned meat, canned meat, and um, and meat tornado up against Anheuser Push. 
All right, so canned meat. We're gonna have some beer brined meat, it looks like. All right. So the meat tornado, uh-oh. Anheuser-Busch really spinning up. You want some of that. You want some of that. Oh, yes, you do. All right. So this is a preview of 30-pound madness tomorrow. So we've got 30-pound robots fighting in this arena tomorrow. All right, but right now, we have loaded in Lopper. All right, Zach is not allowed to fight in the arena anymore. We've talked about this, Zach. All right. Sorry about that. They had to do a uh, special res rescue mission there. All right, and is that special rescue mission to get Zach out of the arena? Uh, uh, that's usually, the, usually we put Derek in there. Why is the Derek second, standing out here? That's the second rescue mission. Next time we'll put Derek in there. That's that's much more amusing. All right. First was the robot parts, then Eric, then someone else goes in. All right, we've got two exciting robots in here. We've got Lopper and we've got Dysfunction. No. What's the name? Subdivision. All right. All right, Lopper, are you ready? Yes. Lopper is ready. Subdivision, are you ready? Subdivision is ready. All right, Pong, count us in. All right, on your mark, get set, and fight. Both Here. robots spinning up. Subdivision with that massive blade, but is very Ooh. fragile, and a giant hit by Subdivision, but is Subdivision dead? All right, Subdivision, we're in DC motion in 10, 9, 8, 7, Oof. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Our winner is Lopper! Easy come, easy go, and there he goes. With th th 2 minutes and 39 seconds remaining on the clock. Oof. I'm All so right, we need to see Night Force and Counterpunch logging, logging in. And I'm going to give Magnitude its final call because he is down to three minutes left. Hop, three hop. minutes left to get Magnitude in here in their fight. All right, super fast look at what else we got. Magnitude and Cake Battery, like you just heard. We got Dion Nuggies and Rainbow Connection coming up. Full Court versus Creature. Holiday versus Titan, Night Force versus Counterpunch, Saurian versus Lopper, and Cruncher versus versus a Miser. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a slugger. Who do we got here? This all right, in the arena, we've got Night Force loading in. We've got their fearsome opponent, the opponent of Night Force, the one who is fighting Night Force, Counter-Strike. I was gonna say Carl. Counterpoint. <laughs> Counter-Knight. Counter-Service. Uh, Counter-Reset? Counter... Bathroom counter, kitchen counter. Kitchen All counter. All right, congratulations, kitchen counter versus. Can't believe it's not Bite Force. All right. So, kitchen counter, are you ready? Counter punch is ready. All right, Night Force, are you ready? Night Force is ready. Pong, count us in. All right, counter punch versus Night Force. I think. On your mark. Get sent and fight. Both robots spinning up. We're gonna see who has, well clearly, Counter Punch has longer forks. But is it the length of the forks that matters? It appears not. One of those forks already bent and mangled. Uh -oh. All right, those massive uh, engineered forks on Night Force proving successful. And we uh, have a tap out by Counter Punch. Wow. All right, so the forks on Night Force again proving triumphant. All right, now if only We've seen worse forks on Night Force, I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, 
And we've seen some of those modeled by other robots today. All right. So congratulations, Night Force. We're going to clear both these robots out. Magnitude has got two minutes left. He is madly assembling his robot, trying to get it ready. It's and open. their opponent, Cake Beater, Cake, yeah. Cake Beater, is loading into the arena. All right, Coke Beater is Coke. <laughs> Coke. Cake. Cake Beater. All right. One of those. <laughs> Just. But I've been told we need to do a fairy match. Because there's just like a bunch of those left. All right, so we're going to see the exciting Haladi versus Titan. <laughs> I don't even know what the brat's name is anymore. Is it cake? It's cake batter, right? It's cake batter, right? Okay. All right, we've got fairies lined up. We've got the amazing Haladi versus Titan. Cake batter's been here the whole time. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Who is it? I, there was one bot that I All right, so we've on. got Haladi and Titan entering the arena. I can't Sirnik. Sirnik. I had a really hard time saying Sirnik. MCR and Tachi, I still screw up. We're not even going to bring I, in. I have been told that Magnitude has had to withdraw. Ah. So, unfortunately, uh, they are not able to continue. So that means that their opponent will advance. And we are getting very deep in the brackets, folks. So Cake Beater will move on to face Chopper. So as soon as the driver of Chopper finishes with Titan, they're going to line up with Chopper against Cake Beater. All right, Haladi, are you ready? Haladi is ready. Titan, are you ready? Titan is ready. Pong, count us in. On your mark, get set, and fight. Both robots spinning up, and Titan going for an immediate quick punch at Haladi, but Haladi dodging out of the way. Haladi delivering a big hit onto Titan, and we're going to have these guys take a two steps back here. Let me get everybody back so our drivers can see. All right, thank you. And we're going to keep this match nice and clean, folks. No dirty low blows. No flamethrowers. No napalm. All right, we've talked about this, folks. All right, and nope. Haladi trying to line up. And a big hit by Titan delivered to the side of Haladi as we're going to be opening up this pit in another 20 seconds. So Zach is getting ready with his pit opening skills. He's going to wait until a robot is pressed up against the pit before he opens it. And meanwhile, Titan chewing away against Taladi over on the backside of the arena. We're at a minute and eight seconds. Seven seconds. All right, the pit is opening in three, two, one. Pit open. All right, the pit is now open as Haladi gets thrown across the arena by Titan. And the, with the pit open, what will happen? Titan going on, perilously close to the entrance of the pit. Haladi staying on the other side. And Haladi getting the better of Titan on that one. And the second one in a row. That uh, interaction sends Haladi flying. And Haladi oh. gets bounced out of the arena. Our winner is Titan. Oh, man. That pit. All right, we're going to see if we've got an instant replay from that one oh, from Pong. We got an instant replay. We got that in stock right here. Things were going pretty well for the majority of that fight, and uh, and suddenly, and without warning, it, they weren't. Uh, Halidi was holding their own for quite some time. You can see here a couple of, uh, let's see, I think this is the one, two, three. Yep, there's one where Halidi got thrown across the arena. Here comes another one, I believe. Yep. Yeah, let's skip ahead just a little bit here. All right, in the ferry arena, we want to queue up Rainbow Connection and Dino Nuggets. So if we can get Dino Nuggets and Rainbow Connection to load into the ferry arena. Meanwhile, we've got Chopper versus Coke Hatter. All right, let's get Chopper and Coke Hatter into the arena, please. Hey, don't look at me. That's not me. <laughs> it's over there. Over there. Coke 
here you can see the final hit there where uh, Halidy unfortunately spins off into the sunset there. All right, coming back over here. All right, we've got Cake Batter. That's the one. Loaded into the arena. And we are looking for their fearsome opponent, Lopper. Lopper is walking to the arena. Will Cake Batter be the Lopper Stopper? Or will Lopper? All right, we've got Chopper lined up. Clean out the bowl? I don't know. Will we chop the Cake Batter? That's the question. All right. Lopper versus Cake Batter. That's Lopper that you see uh, coming into the screen right now. There you go. Nice close up of Lopper. Over here we got the world famous Cake Batter. Boom, just like that. All right, we've got the fearsome Cat Hacker ah. up against Chopper. All right, Cat Hacker getting ready to face off with their opponent. Chopper. All right, now we've had penguins being chopped, pummeled, bludgeoned. Goodness. And now she's come for cats. I don't know what it is people have against all these animals, but Cat Hacker has had a good run so far this tournament. All right. Chopper, are you ready? Chopper is ready. Cat Hacker, are you ready? All right, Pong, count us in. All right. On your mark, get set, and fight. Here. All right, Cat Hacker spinning <laughs> up, Cat looking Hacker. a little bumpy, but still holding together nicely. Chopper has had a rough run through this. We're going to see who takes it. We've got two. We've got a double vert versus a, spin a spiral drum. It's going to be interesting to see which one of these two is more effective. Oh, and a big run up by Chop by Chopper, turning away at the last second. Cat Hacker trying to line it up, but lining up on the wall instead. And there we go. A nice hit by Cat Hacker on Chopper. Chopper bouncing around. This is Cat Hacker's chance to really do some damage to Chopper, but Chopper finds the feet before Cat Hacker can take advantage of the situation. All right, there goes Cat Hacker again. Oh, Chopper has gotten into the backside of Cat Hacker, but Cat Hacker quickly retains their feet. Chopper again, tossing Cat Hacker in the air. A double flip, a triple flip. Two and minutes that three. I would consider a three point combo. All right, Cat Hacker trying to line up. Here comes Chopper, looking really good, sailing around the arena and delivering a hit to the wall. Cat Hacker trying to line up, but here comes Chopper. And a pop by Chopper, a double, a triple pop by Chopper, leaving Cat Hacker upside down. Minute and 30 seconds remaining out around the clock. All right, Chopper trying to do some damage to Cat Hacker here. Cat Hacker, though, being very tough and managed to flip themselves back forward. Oh, actually, I think maybe that's upside down. I lose track with this robot. <laughs> It is right side up, and that's why she's pulling down on the joystick to go forward. All right. Very good. Okay. One minute remaining. So, Chopper trying to line up, but the two robots dancing around in the corner here, just bouncing off each other. Oh, and a. Cat Hacker getting a hit on the back of Chopper. Oh, and Chopper sending Cat Hacker flying. Oh, and this time Cat Hacker popping Chopper back. Are we coming down to the final seconds, Pong. We are. We've got about 25 seconds remaining as of right now. So if anybody's going to make a move to impress the judges, I think now is probably the right time to do so. Nice little pop by Chopper. Sending Cat Hacker up in the air. All right, and then we're going to bring this thing into the station in nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one, and that is the match. All right, we had a nice final hit by Cat Hacker. We're gonna see if that's enough to sway the judges who've been keeping careful track through the whole match. Looks like there's some mobility problems on Chopper at the very end here. So this is gonna go to the judges. All right, can we see both wheels working on Cat uh, on uh, Cat Hacker? All right, Cat Hacker has both wheels working. It looks like we've got one wheel locked up on Chopper. All right, the judges are going to render their decision. Oh, here they go. They are rendering decisions. They're looking at damage. They're looking at control. They're looking at aggression. They're looking at pronunciation. They're looking at astrological signs. Are they a Sagittarius, a Pisces? There you go. Got it in two out of 12, you know, hey. Even a blind squirrel. What's going on back here? We had a split decision. This went down to the wire. The first judge selected Chopper. The second judge selected Cake Batter. The third judge selected our winner, Cake Batter. All right. Chance together so, for Cake Batter. Congratulations. Cake Batter moves forward. Are they undefeated so far? This is still winner's bracket, right? Both he of these once. robots have, well, one of these robots has lost once. Okay. One of them has now lost twice. twice. All right, we are looking for Night Force. Dino Nuggies and Rainbow Connection. We need Dino Nuggies and Rainbow Connection. We need Night Force and Obake. Night Force and Obake. Saurian and Lopper. This is our next one for you. But over here, we need Dino Nuggies and Rainbow Connection. It looks like Night Force and Counter Punch didn't get... Uh... Dino Nuggies and Rainbow Connection? Okay. All right. Rainbow Connection, are you ready? Rainbow Connection is ready. Dino Nuggies, are you ready? Dino Nuggies is ready. We're going to start this fight. Count it us in, Pong. All right. On your mark. Get set and fight. All right. Rainbow Connection going right into Dino Nuggies. Dino Nuggies not spinning up. We've got a pin, but he breaks it. So Dino Nuggies being very good about breaking that pin, but Dino but Rip Connection taking him on a tour of the arena and still got him. We're not gonna have to count him out until he they stop moving around. So as long as they keep moving around the arena, we don't have to count him. All right, otherwise we'll have to start counting. All right, and Dino Nuggies breaks the pin and gets right into Rainbow Connection. Rainbow Connection is told to run away. All right, and we're gonna see Rainbow Connection may be out. We're gonna count them out in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, and we have a tap out. Our winner is Dino Nuggies. All right, so Rainbow Connection defeated by Dino Nuggies in a massive hit, tearing off the top plate of Rainbow Connection. We need Miser and Cruncher in the Fairy Arena. And in the Antweight Arena, we need... Saurian and Lopper, along with... Night Force and Obake. So our next robot, our next fight in the Antweight will be Saurian and Lopper. We're also going to follow that up with Night Force and Obake. Saurian is ready. So we're looking for Lopper, but he's going to need... He's yeah, we're ready to run Miser if it's in the arena. So we had, I was told we had Miser and their opponent. So Cruncher, we're gonna run first here and then we'll run Lopper right after it. Jim, can you stop the BPBP? 
All right. It's good for music to uh, set up a vibe for here. Something like that. That's that's all. All right, so we've got Miser loading in on one side. We've got Cruncher loading in on the other side. We are very deep in the fairy bracket here. live to pop again we all right we've got cruncher in the arena we've got miser in the arena miser being carefully placed and i believe miser now has a googly eye we're going to see how that impacts functionality uh, i have real concerns because miser has not succumbed to the googly eye trend before this is going to change the cg of miser cool. and as you're aware sean is a consummate engineer he optimizes everything he does uh, he counts the grams of electrical tape that he uses. So I'm worried this is gonna, in fact, that, that Google guy is also not centered on the robot. So this could cause real difficulties for him in this match. I don't know, if he put it there, that means it probably needs to uh, be that's there. That's not been my experience. All right, Cruncher, are you ready? Miser, are you ready? All right, count us in, Pong. All right, on your mark, get set, and fight. Both robots spinning up. Miser going on a complete circle here. It looks like Miser's mobility is somewhat compromised by that googly eye. Mm, We're not seeing the same level of precision driving we're used to from Miser. I Clearly that googly eye, exactly as I predicted, has caused real problems with Miser. He might be trying to lure him into a false sense of security. You never know with Hopefully Miser. Hopefully that, that googly eye will bounce off at some point and we'll see Miser get back to its usual stable driving platform. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. 30 seconds until the pit drops. All right, a big hit by Miser on Cruncher. Another big hit by Miser on Cruncher. All right, Cruncher trying to hit the back side of Miser. And not the big spinny thing in the front. Don't aim for that, Andrew. All right. So there he goes. He's, he's, he's aiming the... Oh, and he goes to the side and is not able to connect with the side of Miser. That was a nice hit by Cruncher. I'm going to give Cruncher full credit for that one. As the door opens in three... Two, one, and the door is now open. Now we've seen Miser go out the door in this, in this, I believe we've seen Miser go out the door. I could be wrong. That was Haladi actually that went out the door. It was. Uh, a big hit and Miser, oh, and so Cruncher just hanging out by the door. I'm happy over here. I'm not afraid of going out. Oh, and a big hit delivered by Miser on the backside of Cruncher. Cruncher still showing full functionality as we come to the final 30 seconds. Uh, looks like the weapon on Cruncher has spun down. We're not sure if that's been damaged or he's just saving it for later in the match. As a treat. All right. Here comes Cruncher trying to line up and taking another hit from Miser as Miser spins around. All right. And a big hit by Miser on Cruncher again. It looks like Cruncher looking a little worse for wear. Well, this, this is going to pull into the station here in about seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, and that is the match. All right, so this is gonna go to a judge's decision. All right, the judges are deliberating. Dis discussaging, mathicating. Mathematizing. That's a, that's a better one. Mathematizing. Yeah. That other one's a little. Yeah. But they're gonna see what's going we on. We have here. a unanimous decision for Miser. There you go. Miser goes forward. All right. We're gonna get Lopper over here in the ant weight bracket. Lopper is going to be fighting their opponent, which is Sarian. 
And we're looking to see Obake and Night Force. Obake and Night Force. Following that is going to be Counterpunch and Cake Batter. So we need Sari and Lopper. Night Force Obake. And just in case you didn't recognize it, Counterpunch versus Cat Hacker. Is there a fight that they didn't mark off earlier? Because I still have Night Force and Counterpunch. Okay. You haven't marked it off. All right. That explains it. I knew it was something like that. You never know. But if you'd like to know. Oh, here. Let's get some like to know music going on here. There we go. It's a little better. But if you'd like, uh, if you like what you see, and you'd like to see a little bit more of it with a uh, lot drier weather, uh, <laughs> you can join us, uh, let's see, right there at uh, Arc Robo Rumble in about three weeks. Uh, that's going to be on June 15th in fabulous Tempe, Arizona. It's the uh, Arizona Robotic Combat. But Robo we are Rumble. loading in Saurian and Lopper. Right now we're loading in Saurian and Ro Ro so Lopper. So Lopper at the arena, Saurian walking towards the arena. The robot is here. The biological component is here. Hmm. Everything we need to make Saurian run is available. Lopper, the robot is here. The biological component is madly trying to repair one of the other seven robots he's running today. Mm. Or is it nine? Nine? Only five today. Nice. I'm sorry. It's 15 tomorrow then. All Good right. Grief. Tomorrow will be the big day. All right. So Lopper, ready to go. Saurian, almost ready to go. Now, Saurian just had a tough loss to Obake. Obake, thank you. And Lopper just defeated their opponent. Lopper versus Obake? Huh? Saurian. That's right, Saurian? Yeah. Lopper versus Saurian. Thinkamifying, carrying the two, uncarrying the two. Sorian, are you ready? Hey, there we go. Sorian is ready. All right. Pong, count us in. On your mark, get set, and fight. Here we go. All right, Sarian spun up. So is Lopper. Lopper getting a nice hit on the back of Sarian, sending Sarian flying, and Sarian's weapon is out. Sarian's weapon spinning back up, though, but not its usual strength. And Lopper really sending Sarian flying. Big hit by Lopper on Sarian. It looks like Sarian's weapon may have tanked out here. It wasn't working as well as would have liked at the beginning of the match, but. Lopper, therefore, just absolutely dominating Sarian this time. Sarian gets a chance to practice some defensive driving, though. And Sarian's got to decide which end of the robot he wants to absorb those hits with. 
All right, so Sarian gets a chance to practice that defensive driving. He's really showing some good mobility. And thrown up in the air again by Lopper. Lopper again into Sarian. We're going to see what happens. Lopper trying to line up. Popping Sarian up and over. Sarian now upside down, but Sarian driving just as well. And Sarian's weapon looks like they're back. So Sarian's weapon is back. So this could change the fight almost immediately. So Sarian's weapon is back, and Sarian's weapon is out again. So we had a brief resurgence of that weapon starting up. It looks like it got just enough of a kick to start it. But uh, weapon is out. Lopper continuing to hit Sarian over and over and over again. We're going to see if Sarian can get that weapon going or if they're just going to keep getting taken apart by Lopper. So that another big hit on the back and a double hit by Lopper. Lopper trying to get enough speed in to really get Sarian up in the air. Well, we've got more than half of the uh, of the match in the rear view mirror right now. We've only got a minute and 10 seconds remaining on the clock here. Sarian upside down again and getting a full arena tour as Lopper throws it up in the air over and over again. Now, we're not getting really good air from Lopper. Lopper is not a robot that uh, really roofs their opponents, but it does do respectable hits and definitely gets them going. We saw a brief spin by the, uh, by the weapon on Sarian, but uh, it wasn't able to keep going. That could have just been inertia from being into the walls. We've got a little bit of a pin by Lopper, and we've got a spin up. Sarian is spun up again, so Sarian is definitely spinning. Can they keep it going? So Sarian spinning up, and now things get a little more dangerous for Lopper. Lopper has had free reign. Will that keep up? Lopper says, I'm not sure I want to get into that, but I'm willing to chance it. I was able to take out their weapon once, and we've got big hits by Sarian. Will Sarian's weapon be able to keep going? Sarian's weapon is back. It looks like as long as he can keep it going, it'll stay going. So we suddenly are seeing a whole different match as we well, come down to our final seconds. Speaking of our final seconds, we've only got about six, five, four, Three, two, one, and that is the match. All right, we're going to go to a judge's decision. Fortunately, we've got Judge Cindy and Judge Zach here to help me out. All right, so it's going to a judge's decision. They're going to go and deliberate a little bit. We'll see what the results are. Do you know what the results are? You have no idea what the results are. We have Lopper a unanimous did. decision okay, for Lopper. And there it is. Lopper takes it. All right, we're going to run two more matches, and then we're going to have a special match. Oh, we've got a 12-pound fight right now. Okay. The 12-pound final. And after the 12-pound final, we're going to take about a 10-minute break oh, to let you. people repair and let the staff do some important things that they might need to do. Oh, oh please. All right, so we're going to our staff happy place. Oh, yes, All sir. right, thank you again to our photographer for taking pictures. I understand we got pictures of lots of bots. He's gonna be making those available on Discord. All right, so uh, you can always reach out to Coleman to find out more about that. All right, Coleman, are you ready? This is the final. The winner of this will be our 12 pound champion. Ooh. The loser will be the not champion, Aww. also known as second place. All right, full court, are you ready? Creature, are you ready? All right, Pong, count us in. On your mark, get set, and fight. Full court comes steaming across the arena towards the creature. Creature is locked in, 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 in in a bear hug there with uh, full court, pushing full court around, which is not an easy feat for a uh, for that much robot. That's a whole lot of whole lot of bot to push. Two minutes and forty remaining on the clock. We've got a long way to go. And nice creature, left creature. by creature. Creature getting full court up in the air, but now full court has got creature upside down. Full court trying to self ride, but creature taking advantage of the moment to get him pinned up on the rail. Will this be enough to pin him? He's going to back off in five. Four, three, two, one. Back off, back off. And Creature is back in it and has got his fork slammed back down. Another pin by Creature, but Full Court going up and over. Another one with Full Court jumping up and over Creature. Creature pushing into Full Court, but Full Court getting Creature up off the ground and limiting his mobility. Creature under Full Court. 
Oh. Four, three, two, one. Full court backing off. Here comes Creature, but Full court flips around for another pin for five, four, three, two, one. We've got a minute and 30 seconds remaining on the clock as of right now. And Creature holding full court up against We've the got wall. a pin by Creature mm -hmm. for five. Oh, and backing off, breaking the pin. Full court breaking the pin as the two spin around. Creature going for the pin again for five. Oh, and full court climbing out of the pin using their climbing arms. Creature going for the pin, but full court up and over. Creature, creature briefly pinned under the wall, but gets under full court, flipping up and over. Full court trying to get control. We've got a minute remaining on the clock. Full court going for the pin for five, four, three, two, one. Backing off. And Creature continuing to push around full court. Full court continuing to push around Creature. And we've got him slammed under the rail. We're going to see if that's a pin for five, four, three, two, one. One, backing off, but Creature right on Full Court. And Full Court pinning Creature again under the rail, but the two breaking free as we come down to our final seconds. That's right. We've got about, uh, about 15 seconds as of right now, and uh, this is going to be uh, almost certainly going the distance. I don't see anybody getting knocked out in the next 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3... three. Two, one. one. It'll go to a judge's decision, folks. And that is the match. All right, now that was your final for the 12 pound weight class. Will it be full court? Will it be creature? Let us know in the chat what you think, and we'll see what the judges are thinking here in just a second. And that was a very, very close fight, absolutely. Was it the uh, pins and occasional throwing up in the air by a creature? Was it the continuous smothering by full court? Of a split decision. Oh. The first judge voted for the current national champion, full court. The second judge voted for the upstart, Creature. The third judge voted for our winner, Creature! Hey. And Creature takes it. All right, congratulations to Creature. They are our 12 pound May Metal Massacre champion. Second place, we have Full Court. And third place, we have Known Avenger. All right, we're going to be getting trophies out to all those robots. We're going to take a very short 10-minute break right now. Then we're going to be coming back for the Antweight semifinals and the Fairyweight semifinals. You don't want to miss that, but we're going to have these arenas fully loaded to run when we come back. Um, all right, so we're going to have a grudge match here in just a second, and it's going to be Strike Point versus Sandstorm. But, 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 there's a, there's a difficulty level here. All right. Difficulty level is that it's a it's just a rubber wheel on Sandstorm, and Strike Point is not going to have his hammer saw turned on. All right, so we've got not Strike Point, and there was a name for the Beetleweight version of this one, wasn't there, Jeremy? Are, oh, are we doing that's Strike Point right there? It wasn't like Roll Storm or Sand Roll. Is that Cold Storm? Strike Out and Cold Storm. <laughs> oh, we just changed the names. Is it Strike Out? Is that the deal? Strike Out and Cold Sore. And Cold Sore? Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure where that one came from. I, well, I mean, if you don't know, then... I mean... All right. Let's go on over to here. All right. There you go. We got right, strike, strike Out. Strike Out and... Cold Sore. That's the, that's the name he gave us. All right. You guys ready? All right, so Strikeout. Strikeout is a, a version of our champion Beetleweight. Uh, it would be defending the uh, the Beetleweight belt tomorrow. 
But uh, it is the, Sean has decided that he wants to give someone else a chance. He's, he's, he's won so much that there needs to be someone else that can improve their skills to possibly challenge him again in the future at some point. Uh, and Jeremy is doing a little bit of arena hygiene. Okay, we recommend everyone do this occasionally, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Scrape the crusty, sticky things off of your arena. Good to know. All right. And Derek, we do have a vacuum right here. It's been here all event. Just waiting for you. It's been here the whole time. All right. Jeremy, are you ready? Sean, are you ready? All right. Folks, you aren't going to want to miss this match. It is a grudge match. It doesn't count for anything, but it is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to start. Count us in, Pong. All right. On your mark, get set, and fight. Oh, my goodness. Right out of the gate. Strikeout is a very quick robot. Absolutely. And sometimes people forget how quick it is. Oh, I don't. <laughs> but it's unfortunately, uh, Cold Sore are really having a hard time getting spun up. And... We hate to look like what's happening right now, but they're getting a tour of the arena. Let's just say it that way. Yeah. All right. Oof. And Strikeout letting go of um, Cold Sore and delivering some big hits to that top plate. Each one of those hits worth one point with the judges. Uh, out of a billion. All right. More hits from Strikeout. I believe Cold Sore brought a, a rubber wheel to a knife fight here at this point. <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes rubber wheels are just what you need. That's fair. That's fair. And it is, you know, he does have three wheels on his robot. Unfortunately, Strikeout has four. Yep. And that's really what is the deciding factor in this match. Oh, and there's a knife stuck into the back of one of them. So two minutes, a little bit under two minutes remaining on the clock. And Strike Point just putting on a clinic as usual. Running up uh, Cold Sore up against the wall. Again, with a knife into the back of Cold Sore. Oof, good. Oh my goodness. A minute and 40 remaining on the clock. And I'll bet Cold Sword's wishing there wasn't that much time on the clock. I, I think I would rather have seen this in the big arena, folks, to be honest. As fast as, <laughs> as, fast as this robot is. He, he is. He is. Absolutely. Minute and 27 seconds remaining on the clock. Oh, and uh, Cold Sore briefly getting around and looking like they're going to get something going. But uh, <laughs> Strikeout, yep. totally dominant. Minute and 10 remaining on the clock. Oh, and another hit by Strikeout. Yep. All right, just shy of a minute. And so far, if there's going to be any uh, any impressing the judges. Very nice. So it oh, looks man. like uh, Coats are actually trying to drive up the wall to escape. <laughs> it was either that or our, uh, our strike point holding up his trophy there. I'm not sure. Showing it to the audience. 40 seconds remaining. And it on looks like clock. Strike Point managing to break off one of the wedgelets on uh, Cold Sore. And we've got some smoke uh -oh. coming out of Cold Sore. All right. 30 so seconds. Cold Sore backing off a little bit on that weapon. He is a gentleman. We got 20 seconds remaining on the clock here. Is this going to go the distance? It is. Because we are coming up right now. On 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and that is the match. Well, folks, I'm looking forward to seeing these guys drive tomorrow. Uh, so if that's any preview of our Beetle fights tomorrow, this is really going to be a great day tomorrow. Absolutely. And both of those robots incredibly well driven. And we're trying to get uh, Jeremy trying to get his robot flipped back over, but he's just going to settle for... Uh, putting it over by the door so he can take the robots out because we've got to get our ant weights loaded back in and we've got Lopper. We've got... Hey! hey there he is. <laughs> All right, so while we're, work while we're waiting got, on that, uh, another quick uh, review of this here. We've got first and we've got cake As usual. Okay. All right, we've got all of our ant weights lined up. So we're going to run these matches in the order we want to. And the very first match we want to see right now is Cake Batter going up against their opponent. Carl. Counterpun. Dang it. So Counterpunch and Cake Batter. Sadly, Carl was not able to attend this event. Oh, well. Better luck next time. 
Right. We do have Carl tomorrow. Oh. Uh, so we will have Carl, Charles, and the infamous Martha. Oh. All right. But uh, but right now it is cake batter and counterpunch loading into the arena. Thank you guys for that master class in driving. And Absolutely. yeah, both two two fantastic drivers, two fantastic bot, bots. Jeremy and and Sean, absolutely amazing drivers, and it's so great to see them together to to have that grudge match and to be able to to see two experts in their field do their thing, and it's, it's just just fantastic. All right, we've got Cake Batter loaded into the arena. We've got Counter Punch loaded into the arena. I see him. Counter Punch comes to us from San Diego, California. Sunny San Diego. Cake Batter comes to us from somewhere, I believe, in New Mexico. Arizona. Arizona. Okay. All right, and in fact, they come from beautiful Prescott. Phoenix, that other one that begins with a P. All right. <laughs> one of those P places in Arizona. I stopped there, I think, on the way down. All right. Uh, all right, so Counterpunch is ready. Counterpunch waiting to redeem themselves from their very difficult last fight. Cake batter still in it. Fight after fight after fight. The winner of this, these are the top four robots left in the competition so far. We're gonna see who will move forward and who will be eliminated. The winner of this fight will move on to fight the loser of the next fight. The loser of this fight will get ready for the rumble. Counterpunch, are you ready? Yep. Counterpunch is ready. Cake batter, are you ready? Cake batter is ready. Pong, count us in. On your mark, get set, and fight. Three. Three minutes All right, on the Counter punch spun up and immediately getting cake batter into a bad situation. Cake batter up on their wheels. Uh oh. Are they stuck? We're going to see if we have to count them out in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Yes, she does. Two. Yes, she does. All right, and back at it. Well done. Excellent sportsmanship by Counterpunch. Absolutely. And Cake Batter showing why they're still in it with a giant hit up in the air. So Counterpunch delivering two great big hits and tearing the wheel off of Cake Batter. That is the first time we've seen those orange hubs of Cake Batter. That's right. All right, Cake so did a very durable lot this wheels. entire So we need to see Ooh. some motion from Cake Batter in 10. No, and we have a tap out. Our winner is oh, Counterpunch. No. With two minutes remaining on the clock, Counterpunch goes forward. And Cake Batter has been burned. It's been left in the oven a little too long. All right, so we're going to see Counterpunch face Lopper in. Oh, that was the first loss? But we've got Obake and Night Force first, so we're going to load that in. All right. Dino. So we had Dino Nuggies over Rainbow Connection already. So Dino Nuggies will be facing Mirage. But, and we had... We're looking in the fairy bracket for Mirage and Dino Nuggies. Mirage and Dino Nuggies, please report to the fairy arena. We are now loading. We've loaded Otake and Night Force. All right, Otake coming to us from Arizona somewhere. Phoenix, Arizona. The other P, not Prescott. All right. Is anyone from Prescott? Oh. All right, so we've got Night Force versus Otake. Otake coming all the way from Phoenix, Arizona. Night Force 
coming from Long Beach, California. All right, so we're gonna get let Night Force get lined up here. Night Force lined up on the purple square. Ataki lined up on the yellow square. Ataki, are you ready? Ataki is ready. Night Force, are you ready? All right, Pong, count us in. On your mark, get set, and fight. Otake versus Night Force. Both robots spinning up. Otake having a little bit of a rough spin up. And the two robots go flying. Night Force back on their feet. Ataki right back on their feet. This time. All right, Night Force sending Ataki flying a couple of times. Ataki. All right, Ataki briefly in a bad shape, but it looks like Ataki's got a wheel out. Night Force taking advantage of that and chewing away at that wheel. Chewing up that foam wheel, that foam wheel already disabled. We need to see some motion from Atake in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Our winner is Night Force. And that's the match. All right, we've got Mirage and Dino Nuggets uh, queued that up in the Fairy Weight Arena. Mirage and Dino Nuggets in the Fairy Weight Arena. Let's see those robots run. I see Mirage right there. I'm looking for the driver of Mirage. All right. We're looking for the driver of Mirage. I see him right there. We're looking for the driver of Dino Nuggies. The driver of Donut Dino Nuggies. I see Lauren right there. Okay. And the winner of this fight will move on to fight Titan. The loser of this fight will get ready for the Rumble. One day price, one day it will be Carl. And on that day, I will All right, so we've got Dino Nuggies and Mirage loaded in. All right, Mirage is loaded in the arena. Dino Nuggies is loaded in the arena. All right, we're gonna see which one of these robots will be moving forward. Will it be the tiny vertical spinner in the form of Mirage, or will it be the vicious horizontal in the form of Dino Nuggies? Dino Nuggies has won, has placed at our events in the past, as has Mirage. Dino Nuggies is, is, a, is a favorite of the people who has to face the winner of this fight. All right, <laughs> not sure what that means. But I know Logan, Logan is rooting for him. But I think Logan has to fight. Oh, Logan is, is who they will fight next. All right. Mirage, are you ready? Mirage is ready. Lauren, are you ready? All right. R Pong, count us in, please. All right. On your mark. Get set. And fight. Both robots spinning up. Mirage immediately to the center and delivering a hit to Dino Nuggies. Dino Nuggies unstable. Mirage trying to take advantage. Both robots incredibly quick and chewing away here. Dino Nuggies trying to get into Mirage, but Mirage not having any of it. Dino Nuggies swinging around, trying to deliver a hit to the side of Mirage, and the two robots go bouncing off. And a big hit by Dino Nuggies on Mirage, but that may have done in. So it looks like Mirage has got a wheel out. Dino Nuggies weapon briefly out, but back in it. Mirage without a wheel is definitely at a disadvantage, but it looks like one of Dino Nuggies wheels is also out. So both ro oh, Dino Nuggies has got just limited mobility, but both robots still going. And we're gonna come down to the pit opening in another eight seconds here. So Zach is gonna get ready to open that pit for us. And uh -oh. the weapon on Dino Nuggies has come off. Now this happens often as we come down to open the pit now. So the pit is now open with 58 seconds remaining in the match. All right, Dino Nuggies trying to push Mirage. Mirage trying to deliver big hits with his weapon. Mirage upside down and backwards. Dino Nuggies trying to push. Dino Nuggies also showing limited mobility. 
Both robots limping towards the pit. All right, one wheel is out on both robots. The weapon is out on Dino Nuggies. And Mirage has still got their weapon working. Trying yep. to get a pin in the corner here is Dino Nuggies, but Mirage working their way out. And we have got 20 seconds remaining on the clock. And it looks as though this is most likely going to go to the distance in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and this is going to the judges. All right, the judges are going to have to make a decision here, so we're going to go consult on the outcome of this match. It was a very close match. It'll go down to points for our judges. All right, the judges are discussing here. Take a quick look here, see what else we got coming up next. Now, Mirage and Dido Nuggies is what they're uh, deciding on now. We're going to have Counter Punch and Lopper. And that's going to decide who's going to face the uh, the rest in that list there. Come back over to here. All right, we have a split decision. The first judge voted for Mirage. The second judge voted for Dino Nuggies. The third judge voted for our winner, Mirage. And Mirage takes it. All right, so those Mirage is on a 20 minute timer to get back to the arena. But meanwhile, we've got an exciting ant weight fight. We are going to see Counterpunch and Lopper. Andrew, can you run Lopper? All right, we're going to load Lopper and Counterpunch into the arena, please. Lopper and Counterpunch into the arena. So he's one of the competitors, isn't he? He's he's one of the competitors, right? He's one of the, one of the next drivers, right? So the uh, gentleman with the uh, with the broom in his hand. Once he get done brooming, actually, once he didn't get done fighting, I have something for you. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever he gets done driving. I want to hold up the match, but but afterwards, I got something for you. Folks, there are still tacos to eat. So please, this is not there is no line at the taco station. And Alan is headed there, so you probably want to get there pretty quickly. Alright, so there is no no line at the taco station. This is your chance to eat a taco before they are gone. Or you could not miss this amazing fight that's about to happen between Lopper and Counterpunch. Or you could eat tacos while watching them fight. What could be better? Tacos and combat robots. Oh my gosh. What a combination. Lopper, are you ready? Yes. Lopper is ready. All right. Uh, Counterpunch, are you ready? Yes. Counterpunch is ready. All right. Pong, please count us in. All right. On your mark. Get set and fight. Both robots spinning up, and we're going to see if those wedgets on Counterpunch get right under Lopper. Sure enough, they do. And this time, Counterpunch is right under Lopper, pushing him to the wall, but not able to hook up on that back plate. So Lopper still spinning and getting pushed for a pin for five, four, three, two, one. Backing off. And Counterpunch 
Again, getting another hook up on Lopper that time. That time sending Lopper up into the air. And another hit on Lopper, so so far. And a big hit sending Lopper in the air. Lopper's gotta get something going here. Cause so far, Counterpunch has got it all over here. All right, the two lining up. And we're gonna see what happens. All right, some of the tape on Lopper starting to come off. And Counterpunch getting around and sending Lopper way up in the air. Now Lopper's durability. Oh, Lopper finally getting something to happen. Popping Counterpunch up into the air. Those little wedgelets on Counterpunch proving very effective against Lopper. We can see those wedgelets right under him. All right, Counterpunch pushing away. Lopper trying to get in there. Lopper getting a hit on Counterpunch, but pushing him away. Counterpunch around behind Lopper, trying to get him to the wall and a big hit, sending him up and over. All right, so Counterpunch driving Lopper into the wall. All right, Counterpunch lining up on Lopper, but it looks like one of Counterpunch's wheels looking a little worse for wear. Can Counterpunch show, can, can we get these robots out of the corner? Let's see, both robots kind of stuck in the corner. Ooh, only a minute left on the clock and only one wheel left on Counterpunch. All right, so one wheel pulled off a Counterpunch and it looks like one of Lopper's wheels is locked up. So both of these robots barely showing any motion. So they're, they're showing just enough to stay in it, but only that. All right, we're gonna see if Lopper can show us a little more motion because Counterpunch is, we might have to count Counterpunch out here if we don't see a lot more. We're, we need to see him move a full robot length in 10 seconds, but Lopper's not much better, so we're not gonna count either of them out here. Uh-oh, unless Lopper's totally dead. All right, Lopper's got something here. All right, Lopper's still going in the same circle. All right, one, a, a two robot size, oh, slightly bigger than two robot size circle. All right, Counterpunch just kind of precessing along under the power of their weapon. Pong, how much time have we got left here? We've only got 15 seconds remaining. All right. We're going to see if the, I don't think and anything's going to change. And that is 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that is the match. All right. This is going to go to a judge's decision where the judges will consider aggression, control, and damage. All right. I wouldn't want to be one of those judges right now. I think you are one of those judges. I wouldn't want to be me. Mm. That, that's for sure. All right. We're going to give our judges a few seconds to think carefully, consider aggression, control, and damage. Cindy, Don't forget Cindy, the dance have you contest. Made your decision? Cindy has made her decision. Zach, have you made your decision? Mason, have you made a decision? Not yet. music to make decisions by right here. They're thinking really hard. We have a split decision. The first judge voted for Lopper. The second judge voted for Counterpunch. The third judge voted for our winner, La Counterpunch. Yay! All right. Counterpunch. La Counterpunch. Congratulations, it's... La Counterpunch. It's French for the Counterpunch. Well said. Thank you. All right, folks, we have just a few fights left in both brackets. So, if you would like a taco, this is your taco time. Luis is ready to feed you tacos. He is excited to He's put pumped. tacos into your face. Mm. Please go get tacos in your face. In fact, Pong needs tacos in his I face. I do not need tacos in my face. I'm good. Pa Tong, where do you need tacos? It's not in your face. <laughs> not where on, do you need them? Not on the stream. That's against terms of service, man. Come on. All right. <laughs> this is a family so show. What are you doing? We're not going to talk about where Pong puts his tacos. Leave my tacos out of this. All right. So we just saw Counterpunch over Lopper. Uh -huh, uh -huh. At this point, we might have. I heard there were rumors of a grudge match that wanted oh, to happen. Could I get a counterpoint? What happened to that grudge match that was all planned here? Counterpoint. Counterpoint. Counterpoint? Counterpoint left. Counterpunch. Damn it. 
Ah, oh, well, he, he got away. All right, so we're loading in a grudge match between Python and Rami. These two robots faced off early in the competition. They're going to do a grudge match to see if the original decision was correct or a whole different competition could have happened if this had gone differently. It was the very first match of the day. We're going to run it again right now. All right. We're giving Obake and Counterpunch a few minutes to get ready for their next fight. We are also looking for our next fairyweight fight. And our next fairyweight fight consists of two amazing competitors. All right, just real quick, want to recognize. Hi, our next fairyweight fight is Mirage and Titan. I see Mirage is already here. We're going to see if we can get Titan to the arena. So as soon as Andrew has a spare moment, I think he's, we're going to get him over to the arena to run Mirage versus Titan. And we've got a match to run in between. So we've got Python and Rami. You guys are ready? All right, Pong, count them in. All right. On your mark, get set, and fight. There we go. So this is Python versus Rami with the grudge match. Two minutes and 40 seconds remaining on the clock. Looks like Python is pushing Rami into the wall there. Where are we at there? There we go. Here comes Python back. Now has Rami pinned against the wall. Rami reversing that pin and getting Python up against the wall. Two minutes and 18 seconds remaining on the clock. Looks as though this is going to be a, 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 a back and forth, pushing and or whooshing. Oh, but uh-oh, what's going on with Rami? Is Rami able to move it? That, is that it? We have two minutes left on the clock. The two drivers are conferring. Is Python gonna hit him again and get him freed off of that side of that wall? I'm gonna have to start counting here. And I think I'm gonna do it right now. That's gonna be a 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> I, you know what? It's a grudge match. We'll let it roll. As long as Python's cool with it, we'll let it roll. Minute and 10 seconds remaining on the clock. This is for absolutely none of the marbles. This is just for fun. There's no marbles here, right? There's no marble. I don't see any marbles. No marble. I've lost mine a long time ago. 54 seconds remaining on the clock. I traded them in for the pants. 45 seconds. Remaining on the clock, and here they go, continuing to push and or whoosh each other around the map. The, uh, the arena here. 30 seconds remaining on the clock. In a match filled with twists and turns, will they, won't they? like the fourth season of Moonlighting. This thing is mercifully going to come into the station in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And that is the match. All right, over in the Fairy Arena, we have Mirage and Titan. This is the semifinal match. The winner of this match will fight Cruncher the loser of this match. <laughs> the loser of this will take fourth place. The winner of this will continue on to see where they end up in the match. Mirage, are you ready? Mirage is ready. Titan, are you ready? Titan is ready. Pong, please count us in. Here we go. Mirage versus Titan. On your mark. Get set. 
And fight! Mirage is trying to get lined up. Mirage Ooh. popping Titan way up in the air. Trying to get into front, uh, to Mirage there. All right, and that time Titan wins the engagement, sending Mirage back. Two very fast robots here. Of course, when you start from the other nice side of the arena, it's always difficult to to uh, to get a, a hit on the other arena on the other opponent when they're just flying all over the place. We got right, a twenty Mirage seconds. Titan in the corner. Titan turning around and getting Mirage in the corner, but we've got some mobility issues, and we've got a big hit by Mirage on Titan. And, we've and also Zach is going to open that door up in just seconds here. That's right. In fact, that's going to be in six, five, four, three, two, one, and the pit goes down. All right, the pit is now open, and Mirage trying to like bond Titan. Titan, oh, Titan is uh, is in a stuck position. We have to count uh -oh. Titan out in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Our winner is Mirage! And that is the match. All right. Congratulations to Mirage. They will move on. And Titan is getting ready for the rumble. We're going to come on over and run our next ant weight fight. We've had those robots on a timer to get ready. So we are looking for Obake and Counterpunch. All right, we're going to load Obake and Counterpunch into the arena. Obake and Counterpunch into the arena. We're lucky to have a special guest judge with us right now, Matthew Vasquez. He stepped in as, as some of our judges have had to take care of other issues. So we're lucky to have him. But we're going to need a third judge for this match. So George, if we can get you to stop talking to Alon. All right. And please come wow. judge this match for us. All right. Atake and Counterpoint. Please load your robots into the arena. Looks like the first one here will win because we'll just DQ the other one. That'll be perfect. We know Atake, your timer has elapsed and Counterpunch has three minutes left on his timer. Well. All right, so Ataki and Counterpunch are going to take five minutes. That is going to leave the winner of this. Now, this is an important fight. The winner of this will move on to face Night Force in the finals. Mm. Night Force driven by a driver who has never driven a vert before. They appear to be a, doing it, well. It is Coleman, though. Oh, well, fair enough. So, <laughs> so this is for Coleman's first time driving a vert. It happens to be a vert that has won our competition a few times in the form of Night Force. Uh, Counterpoint Punch has been fighting their way through the, the loser's bracket. Obaka, Obake just getting knocked into the loser's bracket by Night Force. So we're going to see which one of these robots will move forward. We just saw the quarterfinals in the fairyweight bracket. We saw Titan, Titan getting knocked out by Mirage. So Mirage is on a 20 minute timer. Jeremy, how much time do you need to put Mirage together? Folks, we are going to have some rumbles today. We're going to have an ant weight rumble as soon as this match is over. So as soon as the counter punch and Otaki match is over, we're going to give those two builders 20 minutes to repair their robot, whichever one does not win, to face Night Force. And 
at that point, we're going to run our ant weight rumble. So if you have an ant weight that you would like to have participate in the rumble, please put it on the table right here next to the trash can. So please, if you would like to participate in the ant rumble, we have a trash can full of ants. And put your, well, put nice your ant weight on the table, getting ready for the ant weight rumble. I see Python. I see Saurian. Please get your robots on the table, getting ready for that. And I see Counterpunch has arrived. Well, that was way faster than five minutes. All right. So Counterpunch has arrived. Otake. If we're queuing folks for the ant weight rumble, we're going to put you on this table right here. Okay. So please queue yourself up there. We're going to get all the ant weights we can for the ant weight rumble. All right, and we've got Cruncher and Mirage are on a timer. They have nine minutes left on their timer. Jeremy has plenty of time to finish his taco. And then we're going to run Cruncher and Mirage, which will be the fairy weight semifinals. We're coming down to the end of the event here, finishing just on time. And they said it couldn't be done. So if you have an ant weight robot for the rumble, please bring it to the table. So far, we have Python, we have Saurian, we have... Neutrino. We're looking for more ant weights for the ant weight rumble. I see another one coming. Antide is coming. All right. Oh, we've even got the uh, we've even got Samson doing a little uh, little little fancy pageant walking there in the uh, 12 pound arena. There you go. Look at him go. Look at that little feller. Do you know if you want a shirt that looks exactly like that guy, you can get one at SinShopLivestream.com. I mean, you know, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. If you like that guy and you want him on a shirt, you know, there you go. IMAX ready for the rumble. Look at that guy. Look at that little feller. Come on. He's a cutie. The cutiest patootie that's on four wheels. I mean, come on. He is, by the way, a lover, not a fighter. So He will not be appearing in the rumble. Samson Tokyo Drift right there. He's a mover. Mover and a shaker. He's got things to do, you know? People to see, things to do. Oh, there you go. And he's gone. You gotta you gotta record him quick. I mean, like, who else has a logo in the form of a robot? I mean, come on. It's pretty cool. All right, we're looking for final calls for the Antweight Rumble. An Antweight robot. For instance, if you are Cake Peter. Cake batter, isn't it? I mean, how dare I forget, you know, to be the, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, he's All right. So... All right, we've got robots ready for this fight. So I understand Otake has come to the arena. Counterpoint already in the arena. So Counterpoint, Counterpoint, have you loaded into the arena? Let's get Counterpoint in the arena. Let's get Otake in the arena. And then we're gonna run the Antweight Rumble and everybody is excited to run that Antweight Rumble. I'm I see Magnitude, I see Python, Saurian, Antide, Neutron and Rami are all here for the Antweight Rumble. 
All right, but we're loading in Counterpoint and their opponent, Atake, right now, the winner of this fight, will advance to fight Night Force. Both of these robots were knocked into the loser's bracket by Night Force. All right, so the driver of Night Force eagerly watching this match to see who he will be facing. All right. Counterpoint has removed their weapon lock. And I do appreciate that they designed a we weapon lock holder into their uprights. That shows a level of intentionality we appreciate for safety and events. And we've got some different and unique uh, front forks on Counterpoint this time. They, they definitely have some geometry I'm not that familiar with, but we'll see how it works for them. Uh, and Otake is put back together. Otake had a full rebuild after that last match, as I understand. Drive motor rebuild, okay. All right, Otake, are you ready? Otake is ready. Counterpoint, are you ready? Yep. Crowd, are you ready? Woo! All right, Pong, please count us in. All right, on your mark, get set, and fight. Both robots spinning up, and Otake really spins up. And here comes Counterpoint getting right in there under Otake. Otake trying to get themselves planted and finally does, but those wedges working remarkably well against Otake. So he may be onto something here. Now Otake upside down, that might be more dangerous for, uh, for Counterpoint. Looks like one of the wedges was briefly bent, bent under for Otake and still bent under, uh -oh. but we've got a wheel has been removed by Counterpoint. So Otake down to one wheel, and we're gonna see if Otake can move. Otake still got their weapon, and that's giving them some limited mobility, but Counterpoint able to push them around at will. There's that one tasty, tasty wheel there. Now, we did have a discussion earlier about what type of sauce we like on our wheels. <laughs> there was a significant debate. I, I have decided it's actually mushroom sauce. Mushroom so, sauce? Uh, we're gonna see if he can move, and it looks like he can't move out of his square. Oh, he just bumped himself against the wall. And let's see, we're gonna see in 10, Nine, he's still bumping himself against the wall. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And our winner is Counterpoint. And that unique new wedge design. And sadly, no mushroom sauce for my wheels. All right, congratulations to Counterpoint. You have 20 minutes to get ready for your match. If you can be ready sooner, we would appreciate that. All right. All right, we're going to load, as soon as we unload these robots, we're going to load in all of the ant weights for the rumble. So we've got a lot of them. We've got Lopper, we've got Chopper, we've got Neutron, we've got Magnitude, we've got Python, Saurian, Antide, and Rami. All of those robots are going to load into the arena for a massive ant weight rumble. And Adios, Zephram... Zephram, if you can hear this, if you would get the Antweight Rumble trophy for us, mm. okay, it's called King of the Ring. If you would get the King of the Ring trophy out for us. And we're gonna need all the people we can for this to watch because the winger, winner of the Rumble is decided by crowd decision. All right. Mm. All right, and uh, we're also going to let the we'll have the Discord vote on this, don't you think? Sure. All right, or would it be the stream? Is that, is that the it, name of these things? It'd be on on Twitch. The Twitch. Yeah, All yeah. right, we're going to have the Twitch vote. Now, I don't usually like to talk about the Twitch that way. Well, um, I, it's the Twitch stream. It's the, the people Twitch in stream. chat. Our chatters. Our, our guests. Chatters. This sounds worse and worse. I, that, all right. That's, you know. So all these people that, that are watching extra. but not here, we're going to have them vote on the Rumble. And, and the way this works, folks, is... You know, we're gonna, you're gonna need to know the names of the robots. Good luck with that. Mm. Um, some of them have clearly labeled them, like say, Saurion. Um, so Saurion is coming into the arena right now. Uh, we're gonna get it. We've got uh, Lopper or Chopper, it looks like. There's Magnitude coming in. And you're gonna decide who you think won the Rumble. You're gonna vote. And uh, Pong, you wanna tell them how you want them to do that. Oh, just uh, let us know in chat after the uh, match is over and I'm, I'm checking chat right now. And All I've, right. I've just been told chatters is the proper term right there. Okay, now that, that, that's, what, uh, that's what chat told me. I understand. They would know. I, they may say that, but uh, uh, you know, I, 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 my doctor, when I, my doctor told me I had that, it wasn't good news. Oh, oh, well. All right. 
The Try cheddar's it. not oh. not good. That's okay. All right. I have a cream though. That costs cream. you extra in Pahrump. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, but the cream is working. Okay. Well, good news. All right, we're going to keep loading in robots. So far, we've got Magnitude. We've got Python. Python is the clear robot uh, with the polycarb that has scarred and battled and been repaired with gaffer tape. All right, Magnitude is the green robot. Sarian, the red horizontal. Rami. All right, we're going to get the... Uh, we've got a little vert named Neutron that's parked right by the front here. Let's move it out of the way because we've got a few more robots to load in. Robots, are there any more ant weights to load in? Wait, give me a give me a list one more time here. We got Sarian. Sarian is the red robot. We've got Neutron. Let's go around. We've got Sarian. And if we're looking from, let's see, from your view, let's see, what, what robot are you looking at right now, Upon? Oh, uh, take, take your pick. Just go around in a circle. All right. So I'm going to start closest to the camera over there. Okay. Okay. So the closest to the camera with the clear top is Python. Got it. And then Tim has gone to the next one. I think he's gone to Sarian over there. That's the red one with the red horizontal. Got it. Uh, the next one over is Rami. It's a wedge with two blue eyes on it. All right. The next one over has got a leather top. That's Antide. Next to Antide, we've got a white vert, which is Lopper. Next to Lopper, twitching eagerly, is Neutron or Neutrino. Oh, it looks like that's all the votes I have. Actually. Neutrino? I can only do five. Okay. Uh, after Neutrino, we've got Chopper. That's the black vert. Okay. And the green horizontal is Magnitude. All right, so we've got two, four, six, eight robots in here. I, I'm hearing nine now. Two, four, six, eight. There may be a hidden robot that I can't see, and it'll come out of stealth at the beginning of the match. Okay. All right, everybody ready? All right, Pong, please count us in. All right. On your mark, get set, and fight. My robots are spinning up. Anti trying to get their weapon going. Magnitude's weapon is going, though. Magnitude and Sarion going at it in the corner. The two big verts, and one of those verts, Sarion, delivering big hits to two robots. Magnitude and bullying Lopper. Chopper in there, though. Chopper's going for Magnitude. Chopper's going for Lopper. Chopper's going for everybody here. And a big hit by Sarian on the whole group. All right, Sarian delivering the damage. All right, Neutron, it looks like Anti up on their snout here. Ooh. And Magnitude, that is our first roofing of the day, I think. That is the first time the roof has been hit. All right, Anti back on its feet. Neutron still running. Magnitude heading towards Python. Rami still moving with their wheel guard slightly bent. Sarian bouncing around. And it looks like Python is out for the count. Antide is out for the count. It looks like Lopper is stuck under Antide. That's not a place you want to be. All right, Magnitude trying to line up on Sarian. Oh, and Python back moving again. A big hit on Rami by Magnitude. Magnitude delivering another hit, and Lopper's weapon has been totally destroyed. Chopper's weapon still going. All right, Chopper's drive is out. Sarian and Magnitude still going at it with Chopper. And we've got Python stuck in the middle again. And it looks like we've got, oh, Neutron still showing some sign of motion. Magnitude going for the inert chopper. He wants some revenge on that robot. He's lost it a few times. And Sarian, all right, Sarian running into the weapon on Lopper, but Sarian not sure who to go through next. It looks like Sarian's got a wheel out. And Pong, how much time have we got left on our three minute clock? Uh, we've got 50 seconds remaining on that clock. 50 seconds remaining. All right. Now down to 40. Magnitude still going. Sarian has lost the wheel. Magnitude still chewing up other robots here. And it looks like uh, a big hit on Chopper there by Magnitude. Magnitude's got a wheel out now. So we've got uh, 
Magnitude just tearing its way through the competition here. Magnitude trying to choose its next target. Magnitude really doesn't like Lopper over there and keeps bullying it. All right, so Magnitude with another big hit. And boy, Lopper is happy about all getting right. into Sarian like that. And this is all over in six, five, four, three, two, one. And that is it. All right. All right. We're going to get the Discord to vote, or so we're going to get who, the chatters. Who is still moving? Who's still moving? I believe Magnitude still has function. Magnitude. Okay. All right. And uh, let's see. Chopper. Does Chopper have weapons still? Chopper. Chopper still drives. I still and have no weapons. Yeah, together, Lopper and Chopper both have weapon and drive. Does that count? No. All right. And it looks like... So Magnitude is fully functional. What the? And... Lopper still has drive on top of Arnie. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Uh, and Neutron was working Sando until they drove themselves on top of Rami. So we've got two robots still running, Magnitude and Chopper. Let's put that out there. Let's All right. To the crowd here. Okay. How many of you think that our winner should be Chopper? Woo! All right, clearly the driver of Chopper and his parent. Well done. Mm. How many think our winner should be Magnitude? Woo! All right, what, is the what do the chatters think? Well, it is not even close. The winner, by unanimous chatter decision, is easily Magnitude. All right, congratulations to Magnitude. Zephram has a special trophy for the SCAR 2024 King of the Ring Antweight. Congratulations to Magnitude. It should be noted, though, one honorable mention, that Chopper started strong, according to Gen 2 Penguin. Chopper started strong, but Magnitude ended on top. Okay. Now, Gen 2 Penguin did survive the Penguin Clubber that was here earlier, well, I understand. Well, he did. He's, he's, he's resilient. There is a reason he's called Gen 2 Penguin. Gen 1 Penguin, not around anymore. All right. So, folks, we're going to clear the arena out. We're going to run our Antweight Finals, which is going to be Night Force versus Counterpunch. Counterpunch has been busy charging. He was on a timer. He's got seven minutes remaining on his timer. Counterpunch, is he distracting you from getting done? Coleman, are you ready to go? Like Velocip said, uh, by decree of the Democratic Union of Chatbots, <laughs> of chat, yeah, chatbots. That's right. All right, Pong, we've got some, we've got some awards to give out. You do. We do, and uh, in fact, we finished the twelve pounds. Okay. And uh, we have a first, second, and third place winner for the twelve pounds. Okay. And you know, our third place winner is a robot that is terrible. Oh, good. It has been terrible for a really long time, but mm -hmm. it keeps winning. Okay. And it needs to stop winning. It used to win first. Our third place winner today is Known Avenger. Someday David will build a better robot, and yeah. we will all live in fear of that day. All right. Second place. Second place went to a powerful competitor who is currently in the lead in the Antweights. Second place goes to Coleman with Full Court. First place in the 12 pounds. These guys have been steadily fighting their way up. Their first event, they were last and terrible. Their second event, they were not last, but still pretty terrible. Last event, they were pretty decent. And this event, they took first place in the 12 pounds. Congratulations to Caleb and his crew. All right, Matt, uh, with Creature. All right, congratulations, guys. All right, we are going to run a fairy weight match. We should have it all queued up here, hopefully. Mirage, are you ready? Mirage is ready. All right. We are looking for... Cruncher. This, I believe, is our fairy weight final. <gasps> Gasp. Loser's bracket final. I apologize. This is the loser's bracket final. Slightly less the excited. The loser Gasp. of this will take third place. The winner will go on to fight... Themselves but evil and with a mustache. 
All right, but we are looking for a fairy rumble. So if you have a fairy weight that is still together, we are gonna be running the fairy weight rumble right after this fight. So if you have a fairy weight that is still functioning, it has a wheel, it has a weapon, it has a body that can sacrifice itself to the rumble, please bring all of your working fairy weights to the rumble right next to the, the same place we did the ant weight rumble. Please bring your fairy weights for the fairy weight rumble. If we can get at least five fairy weights, we will run the fairy weight rumble in just three minutes. So please bring your fairy weights down for the rumble. My mind's on Carl. Carl's gonna take it. It's his time. All right, we've got the losers bracket final with Cruncher and Mirage in the field. That would be pretty awesome. The winner of this will go on to fight Miser, undefeated fairyweight. The loser will take third place. And maybe go straight into the rumble if we can get enough bots for it. Maybe. So far, we have no bots for the rumble. That's right. Even in chat, they know Carl has been underestimated for so underrated for so long. You know, one day it'll be Carl's day to shine. At least five. And they're supposed to be on this table. All right. So Mirage, are you ready? Cruncher, are you ready? Logan, are you in a safe place? All right. <laughs> We're going to start this fight in Pong. Count us in. All right. On your mark. Get set and fight. All right. Both robots spinning up. Both of these are very small two-wheel drivers. Both of them hit hard. Both of them drive fast. And both of them are incredibly well-driven. But so far, Mirage has got the advantage, popping Cruncher way up in the air. Mirage, again, popping Cruncher in the air. So, so far, Cruncher has got a lot of catching up to do, but Cruncher's come back before. And the pit will be opening in another 30 seconds, so anything can happen. Both Mirage and Cruncher have driven into the pit before. And a big hit in the middle with Mirage and Cruncher both taking back. No clear decide decision on that hit. Cruncher bullying Mirage in the corner, Mirage getting out of it, and Mirage delivering a little pop onto Cruncher. As we get ready to open up the pit, Zach is getting ready. He's gonna wait till Mirage is carefully lined up, and he's gonna open the pit. And down goes the pit. The pit is now open. All right, and Cruncher is trying to line up on Mirage. Now that the pit is open, it's a whole different game. The two robots trying to avoid the pit area. Mirage getting into Cruncher. Cruncher going for a pin for five, four, three, and backing away. Mirage trying to get into Cruncher and popping Cruncher up and over. Cruncher upside down now. Cruncher knows he doesn't have time to try to flip himself back over and has got to stay on it. Gets himself flipped back over on Mirage as Mirage pops him up. As we come down to 30 seconds, Ooh. Cruncher almost bounces out but manages to gain his feet and get away from the front of the pit. Two robots bouncing around in the middle. Here goes Cruncher, and another big hit by Mirage. Cruncher right in the middle, but this time Mirage bounces back. Cruncher with a lucky pop. And this thing and is all over in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And that is the match. All right, it's going to be a very difficult one to judge. The judges were all counting hits, mm -hmm. and each judge is going to have to make their own scoring decision. But this is going to be a very difficult match to score. Absolutely. Well, again, just like we were saying earlier, you've got two absolutely fantastic competitors, two great bots, two great drivers. You know, it, I, I'm really glad that I'm not one of the judges on this one. I would have to flip a coin, I think. I don't know. We have a unanimous decision oh, there you go. for Mirage. And there Mirage it is. Mirage will move forward to face Miser in the finals. Oof. Congratulations to Cruncher for a fantastic run through the event. We have one robot lined up for the Fairy Rumble. I need to see the robots on the table over here for the Rumble. All right, so we're going to get those robots loading in, but we have the Ant Wait final. I have been told that Counterpoint and Night Force are both ready. And folks, I do want to remind you the taco people still have tacos. They're sad. They don't they love to serve tacos and nobody is eating their tacos. Okay. 
All right. Folks, please eat some tacos. We don't want them to take food home. We want you to stuff yourselves and eat as much of that red sauce as you can. All right. It is good. Yeah, that, the red sauce really is delicious. Honestly, all the sauces are delicious. So folks, don't miss the tacos. I understand they put nine types of chilies in that red sauce. So they really worked hard at it. So if you haven't tried it, have another taco and enjoy. He's hardcore about these tacos, guys. Y'all don't eat some tacos. I think I think he might do something. I don't know. I'm not sure. All right. So we have our special celebrity judge, Matthew Vasquez, <gasps> for the finals. Yes. Along with highly experienced Zach and me. Murmur, murmur. All right. And I noticed Counterpoint left his wacky wedges on there. <gasps> We're going to see how well those work out for him. Whatever he did the first time didn't work, so why not try this? All right. Night Force looks the same as it has all event, pretty much. I don't know that he's faced a horizontal, so we'll we'll. Uh... You did you did change into a horizontal configuration, okay? All right, Night Force, are you ready? Night Force is ready. It's all on the line. Single elimination. The winner of this takes the whole thing. Counterpunch, are you ready? Count Counterpunch is born ready. I I think your mom might disagree with that for several years. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Pong, please count us in. You got it. On your mark, get set, and fight. Both robots spinning up. Here comes Counterpunch, but it looks like those forks on Night Force getting right under those forks on Counterpunch, but Counterpunch not slowing down. The two robots gyrating around in the corner, and we see a little bit of pop up by Night Force, but not getting a lot of bite. And that plastic plate on the front of Counterpunch doing a good job of soaking up the punishment from Night Force. Night Force getting a little bit of a pin, but Counterpunch pushing back. Counterpunch will remind you guys is two-wheel drive. So it does get to put a little more weight down, down force on those forks. Night Force four-wheel drive gives them a little more flexibility, a little more pushing power, but can't put the force on the wedge. We have a little bit of a pin by Night Force, but Counterpunch pushing out of it quickly. The two robots just pushing against each other around the arena here. And we're going to count that in five, four, three, two, one. Back off Night Force. So about Night Force backing off. Counterpunch going two. right at him as he backs off. Two minutes and remaining. He can certainly do that. Night Force again trying to line up for a pin. It looks like he's got another pin. Now I want to remind Coleman he's not driving full court. The idea isn't just to pin the other robot, though that is a winning strategy. All right, and there we go, up and over, planting him, and Counterpunch back on its feet. All right, so Counterpunch, it looks like his wedge is actually a little more effective now. And there we have a big hit. All right, and chewing up that front wedge. There's a big hole in it as far as I can tell from here. Maybe I'm imagining things. All right, so Counterpoint not slowing down, though. Both robots still highly functional. One of the wedges floating up onto Counterpoint, but those wedges largely getting under Counterpoint. So we see Counterpoint lifted off and pinned. And breaking the pin with more damage to the bottom plate on Counterpoint. That bottom plate on Counterpoint, I'm seeing wires. I'm seeing blue battery cover. All kinds of exciting things under there. We'll see if that pops up again. We have a minute left on the clock. The two robots pushing against the side. All right, and we hear that grinding going in for five, four, three, two, one. Backing off, so Night Force backing off again. 40 seconds. And there we have him popped up and over, so Counterpoint getting popped up and over. Twenty seconds remaining. Another big hit by Night Force, sending Counterpoint up in the air. That front wedge on Counterpoint still holding with us, but less and less of it after every engagement. That's right, but this is going to be going to the judges here in six, five, four, three, two, one, and that is the match. All right, folks, it's clear why these robots are in the finals. Both these robots very well driven, very mm -hmm. hard hitting, very, very robust. Yep. But this is going to have to go to a judge decision, and we're going to let our special guest judge, Matthew Vasquez, our other special guest judge and part of Team Bad Kitty and Team Dracula Flow, Dracula. side. 
What? We have a unanimous judge's decision for our winner, Night Force. And, and Night Force is your winner. All right, and Zephram has got some trophies for us to give out here. So Zephram is going to bring over our ant weight trophies. And we have an exciting set of winners. So in third place, in third place, we had Otake. All right, we understand he is officially changing the name to Otako. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, in second place, we had Counterpoint. And in first place, we had Night Force. All right, congratulations, guys. We're gonna get a quick picture of all of our Antweight winners. These guys have had a lot of fights all day long. Congratulations. We're gonna get everybody's attention over to the Fairyweight Rumble. We're gonna put all the Fairyweights in here. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna let the uh, let the chatties, or chatters, uh, have a put on this. So I'm looking in here, I only see two robots, guys. Where are all the rest of our rumblers? Let's get all the rumblers loaded into the arena. The rumblers. All right, I understand Attackums was supposed to compete in this and George was supposed to drive it. All right, let's get that to happen. All right, so we're gonna, do we have any more fairy weights for the rumble? Any more fairy weights for the rumble? Once we run the fairy weight rumble, we will move on. All right, so this is the Fairyweight Rumble. We have Obliterator. Obliterator, the fearsome troll bot. All right, we have Titan. We have Cruncher. All right, and we have attack them. So we have six robots. This is going to be a two minute rumble. We are gonna be opening the pit at the one minute point. Let's go around. And uh, what robot do you see in the screen right now, Pong? Uh, let's see, right now we got the one with the, uh, the white one with the little hooky deal on top. All right, of it. that is Super Pee Wee. Okay. So we got Super Pee Wee with the little uh -huh. powerful smashing sword. Ooh, smashy, smashy. All right, he's gonna turn around. I see he's focused on Obliterator and mm. we really appreciate that he's got the, the name written right on the top there. Thank That's you, That's very nice of him, yeah. All right, we're gonna go back over. We're gonna go over to Cruncher on the far side there. That's a black miniature vert. We're working on it. There we go. All right, there is another black miniature vert, totally different, called Titan. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you can recognize Titan because there's a different PLA insert on the weapon. Ah, um, hey, there he is, Titan. We've got there. Club Kid. Uh, I know Club, Club Kid is, is got smiley faces on top. There well, goes sure. Club Kid, coming a little tour. There you go. And we have Attackums, which may or may not do anything, I understand. Mm. Oh, Attackums does move. All right, Attackums is the blue one covered in white tape. There you go. All right. Pong, do you want to count us in? Boy, do I. All right. On your mark, get set, and fight. All right, Attackums spinning up. Club Kid, Club Kid looking for a target. Club Kid trying to find Super Pee Wee here. Attackums has got a wheel off of a Bladderator. So Bladderator's a one-legged robot now. All right. Well, it's uh, all right hopping up and down one leg, but yeah. And Attackums mixing it up with Super Pee Wee. Super Pee Wee pushing both of them into the corner. Super Pee Wee with a double pin. I think I'm going to give Titan some credit for that. All right, so Club Kid coming around to deliver some hits into that rumble. All right, and there's all, they're all tied up here. Now, we do see some wires sticking out of Attackums, but that's a normal state of affairs. All right, we're used to that. The balance lead, he tells me we don't need that. Uh, he's welded it to the floor before, and then he needed it. All right. So, In uh, we 10 gotta... seconds, the uh, pit will be dropping. 10 seconds. All right. So Zach is going to open the pit for us. Five, All right. four, three, two, All right. So go ahead one. and open that pit for us, Zach. 
Down goes the pit. All right, Attackums has broken free from Club Kid. Club Kid has had about enough of Attackums here. Oh, and we have one robot into the pit. It looks like uh, it was either Cruncher or Muncher. Oh. Super Pee Wee trying to get Club Kid into the pit. And Obliterator is working their way fiercely towards Super Pee Wee. And Cruncher is trying to push Attackums into the pit and making their way there. Almost, almost. We've got 30 seconds remaining. All right, so Super Pee Wee dueling it out with Club Kid over in the corner. Uh oh, uh -oh. and, and there so goes. far Attackums pushed into the uh, arena, into the pit by Cruncher. Yep. So Cruncher has pushed two robots into the pit so far. All right, it's going Cruncher. to the judges here in and, oh, what 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and that is the match. All right, folks, so we've got. We've got some function. It looks like Cruncher is out. Cruncher, so Cruncher is out. We've got um, Club Kid and Super Pee Wee. Super Pee Wee still being awfully fresh over in the corner here. All right, and pushing parts of Obliterator towards the pit. All right, so we've got three left. First, we've got Obliterator. Let's see what Obliterator can do. Let's hear it for Obliterator. Yay, all right. Okay, so there's two main contenders, folks. It's going to come down to the two robots that are left working. Super Pee Wee and Club Kid. Let's hear it for Super Pee Wee. All right. Let's hear it for Club Kid. All right. I'm Winner here is Club Kid. What does the uh, what does the what does the adder say? There, Ooh, Pong? Boy, that's very close because I believe. Let's see what, uh, who we got here. We have one for Super. We have two for Super Pee Wee, I believe. Oh no no. Okay, all right. It has swung over. It is now Club Kid. All right. So the Chatters have done it. Our winner is Club Kid. There it is. All right, Club Kid is our king of the ring fairy champion and we have a trophy about the same size as his robot for it all right <laughs> congratulations to club kid we are gonna run the fairy weight finals our final match of the day as soon as miser and mirage get to the arena mirage is already at the arena as soon as miser gets to the arena folks please eat some tacos we're going to do a couple more calls for tacos, and then we're going to wrap it up for the day. So if you want more tacos, come now and get some more tacos. There's still tacos left. They don't want to take this stuff off. There's tacos they can eat. Did I mention tacos? Did we mention tacos? If we didn't, there are tacos. What's wrong with these people? These are delicious. Actually, we've gotten a lot of compliments. People really like the red sauce. <laughs> There they are. There's the there's the source of all the tacos. Well, that that's not the source of all. I'm the gonna tacos. take three tacos. <laughs> what kind of taco? I tell you, what, I'm gonna have some of those carnitas tacos, boy. Those are good. Oh wow, look at all that, folks. Oh. oh. Thank you so much. Whoever's moving the camera, that would be pretty cool if you didn't. You have a Tim head your way. It was indeed, yeah, that was that's exactly what it was there, Press on a Forte there. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm gonna read that one aloud. <laughs> Let's see, do we got the uh, Is he back yet? He's not back yet. Okay. There was a uh, a bit of a devastating earthquake there, and I think uh, I think we're going to fix that right real quick. Looks like we got one more fight left in the day, and that's going to be the uh, the finals for the fairies. Yes, we do. 
we'll say a big thank you to uh, everybody in the chat who helped us uh, finish out that last match there. Really appreciate you sticking around and helping us score that bad boy. All right, final call for tacos. They're going to be cleaning up. So if you want tacos, this is the time. The man's got and I tacos. understand that Pong has not eaten any tacos yet. I have not. Anybody that wants me to do something that bad, I probably shouldn't do it. No, I do want to say a big thanks to everybody who joined us today on uh, not only on Twitch but on YouTube as well. Thank you so much for joining us over there and over here. Uh, absolutely fantastic day there and here. So uh, we, we thank you very much for your support. And again, if you want to see us uh, do this a little bit more, uh, we also do this every Monday and Friday night uh, at uh, 7.30 p.m. Pacific time at twitch.tv forward slash sinshop. Uh, by the way, also, if you're watching us on Twitch right now, all your bits, all your subs, everything that you do on that channel not only benefits this show here, but it also benefits a local makerspace in Las Vegas, Nevada called The Sin Shop. It's good stuff. Yeah. Oh, I also want to let you know uh, that we're going to be coming to uh, Arizona. We're going to be going to uh, Tempe, Arizona, June the 15th. So make sure you check that out. If, if, by the way, actually, I believe, well, I don't know if there's going to be one here. There might be one here as well. Uh, so if you're in the L.A. area, then, then you know, you have some deciding to do. But uh, but we're going to be out at uh, Arizona Robotic Combat Robo Rumble. That's June 15th in Tempe, Arizona. And you can watch it right here. Twitch.tv forward slash SinShop or YouTube.com forward slash SinShop. Taking a look at the crowd cam again. Oh, thanks for throwing the uh, link in there, Tim. I don't want, I don't want one. <laughs> I'm... Good. There you go. All right, we've got Miser, we've got Mirage. Folks, this is the Fairyweight Finals. You don't want to miss this. This is the epitome of tiny robots that you can barely see. So everybody, please bring your reading glasses over to the tiny arena and watch these little tiny robots while eating tacos. All right. All right, Mirage, are you ready? Mirage is ready. Miser, are you ready? Folks, we're gonna ask ourselves, why is Mirage facing the wrong direction? Is it really the wrong direction? Is Mirage upside down? The I'm answer. sorry, is Miser upside down? Can Mason not tell the two robots apart? The well, answer. Some of these things are true. All right, so Miser upside down and backwards. All right, that sounds like mu yeah, much of our lives. Miser, are you ready? All right, we've got Zach. We've got George, we've got Jim, we've got Matt Vasquez, we've got all kinds of refs here. We are over refed. We've got five refs in three. Count us in, Pong. On your mark, get set, and fight. Both robots spinning up, Miser all over the arena. Okay. Um, we're gonna huh? have to count Miser out. Well, we have to count him out in ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Tap out! Tap out! Oh, All wow. right. So undisputed, very quick victory. We've not seen Miser fall apart quite like that before, but that is the danger of single of, of uh, modified double elimination. Our winner and fairyweight champion is Mirage. Congratulations wow. to Mirage. All right. So in third place, we had Cruncher in second place. We had the powerful, the 
Indubitable, the loser of the last match, Miser. And in first place, we had a multi-time champion and current holder of the national championship with his other fairy weight ditto, Jeremy with Mirage! Congratulations. All right, Pong is going to say a few things to wrap up the stream and I say am. goodbye to all of our chatties. Chatties, is that right? All okay. right. All right, all right, there we go. All right, so thank you, everybody, so much for uh, for joining us on this day one, day one of uh, of this uh, this fantastic event, the uh, May Metal Massacre here, brought to you by South California Attack Robotics. And uh, also want to let you know that this uh, stream is being brought to you on behalf of, of course, the Sin Shop. It's right over there. Uh, you can check out sinshop.org forward slash discord if you happen to be in the uh, Las Vegas area and want to stop by and check out the shop. Uh, you can also check us out at uh, sinshop.org forward slash donate if you'd like to donate strictly to the uh, makerspace itself. Uh, on the other hand, everything we do here uh, does benefit uh, the show as well as the shop. So uh, all your bits, all your subs, all that kind of stuff uh, it does really, 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 really help. Uh, but at any rate, I uh, also want to let you know, we got another show coming up on uh, June the 15th in beautiful downtown Tempe, Arizona. And uh, that's going to be uh, Arizona Robot Combat's Robo Rumble. We're going to be there. And not only are we going to be there, we're going to be here tomorrow morning, bright and or oily. If you play your cards right. Uh, we'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> So we're gonna be back again tomorrow for one more day of this uh, of the fun-filled festivities. We got beetles, we got plants, we got 30 pounders. We got all kinds of fun stuff tomorrow. So make sure you check us out. Uh, you know, you got Monday off. What else are you gonna do? Come on, check it out.